Happy good Saturday. Hello, hello. Hello? Hello. Hi. How you doing? It's Saturday. Thank goodness. What you up to? Anything interesting? Huh? Man, I look pasty white this morning. My goodness. Just running around, doing some maintenance work. Uh, I realized that my my electrodes on my arc furnace were almost broken. So I'm just doing a quick replace of those uh, so that we can kind of keep on keeping on with that. And while I'm at it, I'm gonna put Unbreaking 3 on the electrodes so they last longer. Um, I don't know if I can put, can I put mending on them? I don't think I can put mending on them. No, just unbreaking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so we're just checking on breaking on it. I'm going to throw out these broken ones because it doesn't make sense to repair and enchant these because so it just makes it more expensive to, re to repair them later. Um, but I'm with the unbreakings that we got yesterday in the dungeon runs, I'm gonna make a printing press. Well, I've made a printing press and I'm just making a typesetting table, which is, this is a little expensive. Oops, I forgot the blood infused, blood infused glowstone. Grab that real quick. From down here. Um, but yeah, so I'm just, uh, Putting these together real quick so I can make sure that's up and running. I made the diamond anvil so I could repair my gloves. So we're all hooked in to unlimited repair power over there now, which is neat. Um, but, so we're gonna craft one of these. Was that it? Was that all the bits that I needed? Uh, two advanced components. Advanced components. A rune of mana. Hmm. Is that the only thing we're missing? Oh, leap table. My apologies. Uh, I need my mana still. Good morning, JC! How are you, my friend? How is your morning treating you? Okay, I need a rune of mana. I don't have any runes of mana. So I need mana steel. Do I have it? Yeah, I'm doing not too bad. Not too bad. Not too bad. Just doing a little bit of maintenance work around the base. Mana pearl, mana diamond, liquid starlight, furium, and mana string. Mana string. Do I need mana powder? Man, I'm already forgetful, and it's the first thing in the morning. No. I need ender pearl. Okay, so I'm going to trash these because they're broken. We're going to place this in the world. Um, over here for right now. We're, we're, we're duplicating the... Uh, the... Um, what's his names that we found? What is the word I'm looking for? Words are hard, you know? Nice, nice. For the words that are hard or for the duplicate? <laughs> uh, okay. Yes. Okay, cool. Yes. Duplicate the books. That's that's the word. That's the word. I my my graphite electrodes were basically broken in the arc furnace. So before I put the new ones in, I want to enchant them with unbreaking. And we got we actually got two unbreaking books yesterday. Um, which was kind of neat. We got two unbreaking three books. Um so I'm going to turn one of them into a print so I can print enough to make, to unbreak them all. Uh, but this typesetting table is kind of an expensive recipe. Um, but you know, we got it. We got it. Inferium. And I need a ender pearl and a diamond. Ooh, we is low on diamonds. I need to break these down. Um, and liquid starlight. Jeez. Liquid starlight. Perfect. 
<laughs> and then I need a living rock. Okay, let's go quickly go make this. And see what we got. And then once we've done this, we're going to get into automating all of Batania. We're going to open this Alfine portal. We're going to... There's going to be shenanigans and things. I'm going to sneak in here real quick to do that. Perfect. Okay. So, you, 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 you. How you doing, JC? Did you sleep well? I don't know if I slept well. No, that's a thing. You don't remember how you slept. I have a little bit of a sore back this morning. I don't know if that's because I slept on it funny or maybe I pulled a muscle yesterday or something. I didn't really do anything. Not long enough. Yeah, I know, right? Never long enough. I was up at six. So... Could use a nap. Could use a nap. Oh my goodness, this is really slow. We're going to need to put a lens on that mana spreader down there. Mm hmm. Kids. Kids, they do that. They do that. Yep. Kids and animals, <laughs> the, the things that wake you up before you're ready. Uh, they mean well, they mean well. They just don't know how much damage they're doing in the process. <laughs> okay. Yep, yep. Can't go back to sleep once you're awake. Nope. I really need to finish this greenhouse at some point. Man, there are so many half done projects. But to be fair, everything takes so long in this pack. That's why everything's kind of half finished. I made a concealment key. So look, I've got a buttery smooth 80, 90, 100 frames per second as it drops to 75, um, which is nice. Typesetting table. Oof, that was expensive. That used one of our precious, um, precious mana, um, ancient dusts that we got yesterday. Shenanigans. Okay. Uh, unbreaking. Grab you. Grab some books. And some ink. I assume I can put a whole stack of ink in there at once. I've never actually tried. But we're going to try today. Okay, so this one goes on the left. Hey, Nutty, how you doing? Have I got all the drawers connected to my system? So, I've got the drawer controller in the middle here. Drawer controller has a 25... Uh, block diameter for where it can attach to. So 12 blocks in each direction, 12 blocks up, 12 blocks down. So I've got framed trims. A little hard to see them because they look the same as everything else. But the frame trim goes around the outside and then connects to underneath the drawers. And then in each corner, I've got three trims that connect the different layers. Um, and then with those, it all connects back to the central drawer controller. Um, so I can put anything in this drawer controller and it will get automatically sorted into all the drawers. And then on the back, I've just got a external storage set up for uh, refined storage. So that sees everything that's in there. Um, so it all, all hooks up that way. It's a pretty neat system. Um, and 
I've got a few things. So you can see just by clicking on that one block, they all connected. I've also got two more floors below us. We just started filling up uh, I don't know where I've started filling up one of these sides. Yeah, so I started filling up that side down there. It's pretty nifty. Uh, the whole point of doing that though is because in the late game, there is a creative vending upgrade for the drawers. Um, so we will be able to, uh, I always forget how to do this. We'll be able to get unlimited everything. How do we so put away my books? The book that I want there is there. The printing chase is there. How do I? I always forget this. I have to look it up every time I use this thing. You are very welcome. Um, bibliograph type setting table. How does it work? How does it work again? Hold up. Once book is signed, it's placed in the bottom left corner. Yep. Player must hold sneak and right click with an empty hand on the book to save it. Right click, sneak, empty hand, book. There we go. Okay, whoa, that used a lot of levels. What was I, 100 and, was I 112? So that used 40 levels? No. Really? Maybe it was, I don't know. Okay, then we put you in there and we need the ink and the books back. <laughs> Okay, one, two, three, four. Because then we'll make one to replace the one we had, plus the three we need to enchant our electrodes. You put the ink back there. It does take a whole stack. Then you put the books that you want to print there. And it will print them and put them over here. No worries, JC. Hope work isn't too tedious for you. Oh, and there's a thunderstorm. But also, here's our Unbroken 3 books. So let's start enchanting these. Ah, oh, beautiful. So this will make these graphite electrodes last a lot longer. Gotta close off. Yep, yep. Get all those jobs in. Oh, interesting. The plates are good for three uses. So now we know. Uh, what I might do then is convert this other one. And make a couple more books. It's only good for three prints. Oh man, it's gonna use up a lot of, le a lot of levels. Oh, and another, another thingy. Yeah, totally not okay. Yeah, in some packs, there's no limit. Like, you can just print forever. But in this one, apparently, you can only use it for three. Which, I mean, that's fine, because it's one to replace, plus you get two extras. So really, though... Yeah, one to replace, plus two extras. Yeah, that's not bad. Um, I should probably teach you how to make the print frames, then. Teach how to make these, so it's easy to make them. Takes a hot second for that to register. Okay. And this is gonna use up like all of my levels, but that's okay. I'm very okay with that. Okay. Well, this is happening. Okay, so we're going to go work on Britannia. Um, and get all of this hooked up and automated. So what I'm really willing to do first is... Whoa! Jayco just resub for five months in a row! Thank you, Jayco. How you doing, my friend? 
Oh, and and I got I got I got um brain. I got I got. <laughs> Anybody else find it as funny as I do? Come on. That's hilarious. And, and, Keiko, you're the first person to get your, your name on the Christmas tree. I got baubles. I'm writing people's names on them. Hang on. This is going to be a thing that I have to work out how to do. Okay. It's Deco 2020. Oh, these are all full of freaking glitter. Make sure I get my capitalization right and my terrible handwriting. You're not going to be able to see this, but it has your name. It's there's too much. Trying trying to block the light from a ring light with your hand. Let me get just just so you know, it doesn't work. OK. It's Taiko, first person on the tree. Put you up over here. Oh yeah. Thank you, my friend. I appreciate your support and all the fun times. Makes it worthwhile. How, uh, so uh, what are you building at the moment, Taiko? And how are you doing, Jody? You having a good day, my friend? Okay, let's put these books there. Let's put these back in here. Okay, that will last much longer now with the Unbreaking 3 on them. Because it burns through those. Oh, put in the building Discord. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Let me have a look. Let me have a look. Okay. Um, Britannia. First thing we need, we're going to need a lot of cables. We need cables to run our network up there. Oh my goodness. Oh, wow. That, um, that mod really does not mod the i guess it is kind of a mod um but the mod and the texture pack really gives you some amazing options on on your build palette doesn't it that looks so neat so neat got some yeezys jody <laughs> You're just gonna resell them. Oh my goodness. <laughs> hey, I mean, you do you. Like, it makes you gotta gotta make the most of of 2020, right? Uh, okay, so we've got a network that runs up here. I think I can take this up. There can be, yeah. Sneaker Freakers are, uh, very dedicated to the cause. My brother, um, used to work in a sneaker shop, so. And his collection of sneakers is significant. Okay, so I'm gonna run, so this floor here is gonna be a maintenance floor between up there and down here. So let's run. Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna run this cable up. Ooh, double jump. Can I? Okay, so I can't jump sound on top of it while I'm placing it. That's fine. Run this network up here. 
I do love that um, refined storage doesn't have the concept of channels. It makes this so much easier. Just to confirm, we're going this direction, we are going that direction. Okay. And we should hit power over here as well. It's very dark. We should probably put some lights down. So we don't have the mobs all spawning. Yep, this is the exterior of the farm. And then we should hit powers right there. Uh-huh, uh-huh. actually feel I'm not going to have enough cable, but we'll see. Uh, how far out do I have to go? I just don't want to dig up into the lava. Because there is lava above us in the in the farm. Um, what am I looking for? I guess I could just do it this way. Okay, let's pop up to the Britannia area and see what our X and Y is. Or X and Z, sorry. Oh my goodness, clickety clickety. That's a long way down. Put something there. So that we're not falling down there. And I'm gonna block off that. Not that I, I don't think anything can spawn in a one block high. Hey, cat. How are you this morning, cat? Good morning, good morning. Okay, Um. so where is the rain? The rain could go away. Let's let's sleep the rain away. No one likes rain. Look at those look at the compression. Oh my goodness. Okay. Um so where we want to come up is like here-ish. It's like X120. Z oh, I guess the Z's not gonna change. So about 120, I think is where we want to go up. Cause that's in behind this. Why are you all using lava? That's rude. Um. Oh no, we're at 117. Hang on. Yeah, no, 120 is probably right. Cause 120. So 117, 118, 119, 121. So, so we probably want to come up 121, actually. Okay, 121. Because I don't want to dig into the lava. Although I could come up underneath it. Hmm. We'll see, we'll see. Okay. So let's do this. This is why I made the floors of the base so far apart is so I could have room between each level to run networks and power and anything else I was going to need uh, just to make things easier in the long run. So we're going to go up here. We're going to go up here. I think we're going to go up here at 122. Because then there will at least be a little bit of a gap between us. And I probably should do this and then dig down. Okay. So 122, this block or this block? 
this block. Here we go. Okay. How am I going to do this? How am I going to do this? The painful way, because apparently I can't. Am I placing them or am I not? I am placing them. It's just not very effective. I guess when you're standing on this, you're not a full block up, so when you jump, you're still in the block and you can't place it. Oops, I gotta eat. I'm guessing? I don't know. It's being a butt. Six. We're probably high enough that I can reach it from up here now. So then I gotta work out where where that connection is. We're gonna replace all this grey wackle with a different block eventually. Um, it's just a placeholder for the time being. Now let's not get ourselves burnt. Oh, okay. Oh. We're that close? We are that close. That's unfortunate. Okay, so we gotta like dig straight out this way. The question is, am I gonna hit uh, uh, those stairs? Those are stairs. Okay, this is gonna be a little janky. But you know what? It'll be fine. And I guess we are gonna dig out that one. Put that there. Dig out that one and put that there. Yep, super jank. But you know what? It's okay. We'll cover, cover it all up with facades later. And it'll look just beautiful. Oop. I did not jump directly up. Which meant I did not get out the hole. There we go. I really need to make an elevator. We should look to see if we can make elevators now. Because we were not able to make elevators in the past. But maybe we can now. Okay. Ah! Whew. Thought I was gonna have lava fall on my head for a second there. We did not, so it's all good. Okay, yep, we're online. We got power up here. Cool, 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 cool. Okay, so then the next thing we wanna run is we wanna run this line. I need more cables. I've been trying to think of how I'm going to automate um, Terra Steel. Because, like, we've got to make sure that we've got enough uh, mana before we craft Terra Steel. And we can only craft one Terra Steel at a time. So... Not exactly sure how that's going to work. I'm going to cut straight across the top here. Perfect. Okay. And that's going to be for our Alfheim gateway. Oops. Oh, got it. Can't use multi-jump when you are hungry, folks. Doesn't work. So yeah, so this will come up and run the automation for our portal. Neat. Oh, not realize that there were dark spots out there. Okay, so what are we going to do? Um, so first things first, we need to automate um, 
living stone and living wood. That's the first thing I want to automate because those don't require mana. Um, and I think they're going to be relatively straightforward for us to do. I think. Cat with a post check. That is a good idea. We are definitely going to need more. More cabling. Okay, and that worked. Cool, cool, cool. I, uh, I did some rejigs on my... On my layout and now I have the requests panel up, which is nice. So everyone should stretch, engage your core, make sure you're sitting up straight and get some liquids into you, preferably water, caffeine, alcohol. I don't know, whatever time of the day it is for you, you do you. But you should drink something because it's a good reminder to drink something. For me, it's my caffeine addiction. Um, anyway, okay, so what do we need for this? So I've already crafted constructors, um, and, oh, they can drop blocks. Oh, okay. Good to know. So these constructors will output an item, um, that you put in the filter, right? Um, so we need to make some crafting cards. Uh, so we need eight, we need 16 crafting cards and I'm going to need some existing living rock and some living stone, but I also need deconstructors. So let's go craft those. Now, when you're doing applied logistics, this is a little bit harder to do. Um, just because you can't filter what the annihilation planes break. Um, but the, I believe you can with the deconstructor. Uh, what's it called? Refined. What are they called? Destructor. So I need 16 of these. Do I have the things? I do not. What am I missing? Oh, Solarium pickaxe heads. And a whole lot of mana steel. 16 times 6. I need 96 solarium to do that. Okay. Okay. I think that's right. I think that's right. <laughs> right? Uh, yeah, 6 ingots. Okay. 96 solarium. So I've got 7. 96 minus 7. So I need another 89. Let's see how badly we don't have the ingredients for this. 89. So I'm missing 55 Valerium and 16 Uru. Aww. Really should have checked this before I started, eh? Uru, not so terrible to get. Valerium, not so easy to get. Okay. Uh, how do we... Mm, okay, so... Uru we can get in the end. That's fine. I would love... How much... How bad is an air charm? Not air charm. Air... Sigil? Air sigil. Ooh, that's not cheap. That's not cheap at all. Oh, that's very expensive, in fact. Reinforced slates. Oh, a whole lot of ghasts. Huh. Okay, we're just gonna have to hold on for dear life. Uh, let's grab some blocks. I really dislike, um, oh, ender pearls go to 64. Okay. I just want like a, a few. Um, I really dislike mining over the void, but how many did we, did it say we needed? Solarium. If I just say, let's make the 96. Uh, 
so we need 20, so that means we need five more because we've got all, no, we've got all tripling. So we need 15, okay. We'll look at the Valerium in a second. Uru is easy. So let's go grab the Uru. Man, that's a lot of Solarium. Like a lot, a lot. Uh, what I need to do is go and mine those things. Um, so I think what we'll do is we'll go over to... Oh, this is not chunk loaded. Okay, good to know. Uh, I think we'll go over to the... Um, up there. To the outer areas. Because I feel like it'll be easier to get what we're looking for there. Gives me the EBGBs walking up here. Should really put stairs here so it's easier to walk up. I don't know what happens when you fall into the void in this pack. I assume that my gravestone will be down at the void, which would be terrible. Okay, uh, let's see if we can't find some easier to get to. I think I've already mined this one. Yes, yes, I hear. Uh, looks like I've already mined that one. Even if I had like a lighter or something, this would be easier. I wonder if that, I wonder how close that is. Ooh, what's that? I am not here for exploring the end. I just want the Uru. That one's relatively close. We can get to that. Okay. Gives me the heap of jeepies working over the void. Do, 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 do. Don't let go of shift. Don't let go. Oh, makes me sick. Makes me sick. I hate the void. Please. Okay, let's, let's make some. Okay. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Oh, really? Where's the ur? Shouldn't be more than... Oh, really? Okay, there we go. We got some. One? No. Huh. Them there are shenanigans. Am I really only going to get one for the whole block? That's just rude. That's such a big block. I expected there to be so much inside. There's a lot down there. It's a little hard to get to. Where is it? Down there. It's actually very hard to get to. Upsets me greatly. I hate the point. Actually, no. How? No. That's no. That seems like a terrible, terrible idea. Nope. <laughs> nope. Not happening. Okay. Let's try another. Let's find. Let's find another one. I'm intrigued by these. Is that obsidian underneath? Huh. Oh, there's one that's overland. We like the ones that are overland. If we can have more overland, that would be great. Because I can just build up to this guy. Oh, he's probably only going to have one inside of him, if any.
Not quite sure what happened there. There's a tree over there. So we get one of them. Let's leave that pillar there so I know I've done that. I'm gonna grab these bone blocks because bone blocks are useful. Oop, some palladium. I will take that. We probably should also look at how hard it is to make a, um, how hard it might be to make a, ooh, tungsten ore as well. How hard it might be to make a digital miner? I think we're at the point where maybe we could make one of those. Sheldonite ore, we'll grab that. Not here for the end, but like while I'm here, you know, gotta do what you gotta do. Some more palladium, which we'll need for, for making all of the uh, solarium. To make sure I don't look at the Enderman because heaven forbid they teleport me somewhere in this dimension and then I have to find a way to get back to my where I was. Oh, there's a spot. Is that above land? I hope that's above land. That'd be nice. Might be above land. That one feels like it is as well. Oh, that's a structure of some kind. Okay. Not above land. Grabbing that shell knight. I don't remember what I need it for, but it's good for something. What's this one? Soda light. That's the other one that I don't remember what I need that for, but it was good for something. I will take the peridot. Uh, that looks like a really big one. Oh, and that's an also another re really big one as well. I almost looked at the enderman. More palladium. I'm hoping that that's got like quite a lot inside of it. Cause that's a big one, right? It's a big one. Okay. I don't think we can get Uru from the Void Ore Miner until tier five. Tier four, okay. That's the other reason I'm trying to work towards getting those upgraded, but we're still only on tier two. But once the uh, digital, once the void miners are upgraded to a higher tier, then some of this stuff we're just gonna get passively, which will be great. Okay, yep, we got we got a supply. It was only two deep. Oh. But not solid. Interesting. I wonder if... Because normally like... There we go. Yeah, normally the center is like solid. But I wonder if there's maybe like pockets. Like I wonder if, if I dug out the rest, maybe I'd find single pieces. This is this will be enough. This will cover us. Which is great. Like, yeah, I wonder if, like, I dug through the rest of this, if there's a chance we would find others, or if it is... Whoop, lava. The other dangerous thing with this, this stuff. Sometimes it explodes, sometimes it turns into lava, sometimes it turns into cobblestone. See, like that. It's very rude. Yeah, so I'm guessing whatever I hit was all of it. Which is fine, because I mean, yeah, yeah, because that's the other side. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Um, do I want to go get the, the other, that, this one here while we're here, just because it's right next to us. Oh, we fell a fair distance there.
Ooh. I wonder what that is. Interesting. Double jump for the danger. Okay. So this will get us the Uru that we need to make our destructors. Then we need Valerium. Valerium is a little harder to come by. I mean, this stuff isn't super easy to come by, but it's like, it's easy to see, right? So like, even though the amount in each of these meteors is random, like I can see where the meteors are, we can go and mine them, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Valerium, on the other hand, is deep underground in the nether. And that kind of sucks. Okay. I'm intrigued by what that is. I'm assuming that's a spawner of some sort. Very interesting. Okay, we got plenty of Uru. Let's go home. Takes a hot second for it to load in, my goodness. Um, what do I use the cobble for? I think obsidiorite. I think this goes straight into the casting, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Melt that down. Melt that down, yeah. So we'll chuck the obsidian right in here to turn into ingots. And then we will grab the Oro and the Palladium. Not the others though. Okay, cool. So then that'll cover off that stuff. Oh, pulverized aluminium, okay. Is pulverized aluminium not in the... In the wall? Oh, it's not because it's craftable. Okay, let's put it in the wall. I really need to finish this bottom floor. Okay. You can live in the wall up here. Let's look at that elevator recipe as well, because my goodness, that's tedious. Elevator. Oh, it's totally doable. Block of luminescence. Luminescence is kind of expensive because I don't have any. Um... Oh, it's not expensive. We got plenty of glowstone, gunpowder, and redstone, right? Gunpowder. Eh, I got a little bit. Oh, but four sulfur makes two gunpowder. I think we're good. Seventeen and a half thousand sulfur. I think we're good. Uh, okay, gunpowder. Let's teach you how to make gunpowder. Not the most efficient recipe, but we've got plenty, so it's fine. And we will teach it how to make luminescence. I assume it doesn't know how to make luminescence. It does not. Hang on. No, loom. Block of luminescence. Oh, it does know how to make luminescence. It just doesn't know how to make a block of luminescence. Let's teach you how to make that. I'm going to have to upgrade my crafting core soon. Okay. Um, so. Elevators. Hey, Mo. Uh, we just started. We've only been going for like 40 minutes. So I realized I needed a lot of solarium to do the automation that we're doing. So just popped back from the, back from the, uh, end where we were getting some more Uru and then we're going to head over to the nether to collect some valerium. Um, 
but hopefully it won't be too terrible. Okay, let's teach it how to make that. We've got wool. Okay, so then I just need bronze plate. So I need five, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, and that makes one? Sorry, 14 makes one. Ooh, that's expensive. That's very expensive. Bronze. So 14 makes one. And what we ideally want is like one, two, three, four at least. So we just make it like a stack. Let's <laughs> make a stack. Ugh, rude. Okay, and then, so we'll make luminescence. We'll grab four of these. Oh, I'm certainly not an expert. I'm certainly not an expert. I just have a really high tolerance level for shenanigans. <laughs> but I am, I am enjoying this pack. <laughs> no worries, Mo. It's, uh, yeah, this is definitely, um, this has definitely been a journey, this pack. It's not... If I wasn't enjoying it, I don't think I'd still be playing it. Put it that way. I think I would have given up a long time ago. Um, but, you know, it's it's like, yeah, it, it's keeping me on my toes. I've, I've had to put a lot more time into this pack than I have any, like, expert mode pack before. Um, which I don't know how I feel about that. Um, but once you get past like the early grind and into some of the automation, then yes, there's a lot to do in this pack, but I find that fun, you know? Can't spell wool to save my life. Um, so yeah, I'm enjoying it. That's for sure. Let's get these started. Oh, sweet, sweet elevators. Why didn't I make these a lot sooner? Hmm? Hmm? Okay. Here's the last of those. Sweet, sweet elevators. My goodness. Staircase just became useless. Um, not entirely. This is only going to get me through. Uh. Happy days. We need to uh, run this line all the way up to the ceiling though. I don't even know if I can do that. I've built things in places. But this will certainly help us in getting around the, the mob farm. The, not the mob farm, the storeroom. Okay, so. Um, Valerium. Let's have a look. Let's look at what... Uh, Valerium. So we're looking for this block, I think. Because it's the only way I can make this, right? Hey, Alf. How you doing? How is Saturday treating you? Yeah, I believe this is the only way I can get Valeria. I don't think there is any other way. And it looks like my best bet for producing extra is to use some rich slag or cinnabar to get three from my crafts. I am doing okay as well. We're just doing some automation for Britannia. Realized that I was missing a couple of resources, so we've got to do a little bit of mining first. Uh, but hopefully it won't take us too long. See, this is another one that we'll get once we get to Void or Miner Tier 4. But the best place to mine this is, like, less than Y15. Now, I've only found it at, like, Y3. Work got cancelled for today? Well, that means you can put your feet up and relax. I mean, it sucks that work was cancelled, but you can put your feet up and relax. Um, 
So yeah, so I think our best bet is going to be just to head to the nether real quick and do some shenanigans mining. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Let's do that. How much do I need? 55? So I'm, so if we can all triple, let's see, do we have any Simba or... I can get... So Gelid Cryotheum gives me four from the ore. But if I just put Destabilize Redstone in the Pulverize, I've got a chance. Yeah, let's just go put a couple of stacks of that in the Pulverizer for right now. So let's assume that we can all triple this. So 55. So we need like... Ugh, we need like 20. We need like 18. But like... <laughs> no money, but more sleep and twitch. I, exactly. That is very true. <laughs> Rude. Clearly there's some darkness underneath my base here. And above my base, apparently. Oh, that was a cow. I killed a cow. That was unfortunate. Okay. So let's head over to the nether real quick. Really should use the other exit from the base. Would have been a lot easier to get to the bridge. There we go. I know for next time, use the other exit. 20 Valerium, eh? It's a lot of Valerium. We really need to get our Void Ore Miner up to tier 4, so we're just passively getting these resources. Oh, no, I'm trying to jump forward, not up. Game. Game. You're killing me. You're killing me, Smalls. Here we go. Okay, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go! Okay. So, where I've had luck finding this stuff is literally at Bedrock. Um... Which is not great, but it's where I found most of it. In my mind down here. So yeah, most of the Valerium I found, I found like literally on the bedrock here. So... Let's... Now that's not Valerium, that's Vulcanite. It's not what we're after. Uh, mm. Sodalite's not, that's not Sodalite. Benetite is not what we're after either. The other problem is this goes through durability on tools really fast. I guess I don't need to dig three blocks. I can just dig two. Nope, Vulcanite. This is a little frustrating. 
but I probably uh, I guess I could set up this automation in a smaller scale to begin with and then when I have the resources I can expand it to the rest I mean that is an option Yeah, these mods are a little, uh, a little crazy elf. I'm enjoying this pack, but there is a lot of, um, a lot of grind involved. Um, and none of the recipes are like normal recipes. Most of the crafting requires using the advanced crafting table or elite crafting table. Um, which definitely has its challenges. And there's also artisan crafting tables for a lot of stuff. But, uh, but I've definitely been enjoying it. Like, it's as, as challenging as it's been. It's, I mean, like, what, we're up to 300 and something hours? 390 something hours already? So, we're not, uh, it certainly hasn't beaten us yet, you know? Okay. Ultra undying slime of something withered me. Rude. Not the ores that we're looking for. Now I know it says there's a higher chance at Y15. But like, so far I haven't found any at Y15. I've only found it at Bedrock. This mod pack is Dungeons, Dragons, and Space Shuttles. It's, uh, it's an expert mode mod pack. Um, 1,780 quests, I believe. Pretty much everything is customized uh, recipe-wise. Um, all the mobs are more dangerous than normal. So skeletons fire weakness arrows. Uh, spiders web you to the ground. Zombies inflict hunger and jump at you from a distance. Blazes make you explode and set you on fire even when you're not near them. So whenever you hit them. Um, and that's just some of the shenanigans. <laughs> uh, but I'm enjoying it, right? Like, it's definitely kept my attention for a long period of time. And even though it's super grindy, like, I've spent more hours than I care to recall mining, right? Like, shenanigans. Like, to give you a concept, this pick or this this hammer has already broken over 300,000 blocks just for this 9x9 hammer sorry 3x3 hammer uh my inventory is full and we didn't get a single one see this is this is a problem vulcanite 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 i want valerium Vulcanite, dimensional shards, yeah, hmm, 300,000, yeah, yeah, that's it, okay, let's slash home real quick, because our inventory is a full, let's see if we've got enough to do, how much, how much do we have, um, I've got seven. Uh, how many can I make? Can I make another 10? I've got five. Okay, so I can make another, what, four? Yes. So it's gonna give me 11 solarium. Can I make four of these? No, because 11 is not enough. I need 12 to make two. So I do need at least a little bit of Vul Valerium. And I don't have any, right? No. Hmm. Okay, I don't really want to spend my day digging. This is not my plan. 
I didn't realize I needed quite so much. I guess these I don't have in the wall. We will just break them down. And same for the dimension shards. Okay. Uh, okay, so we can get one. I don't think I can get two. Solarium. Oh, I can get two. No, I can get two. Okay, so, okay. So we're gonna just make two to begin with. I will have to go mining, we'll make the rest later, but two will get us started. Um, so let's make our pickaxe head. And our solarium. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna need to... I wonder how close we are to leveling up our void miner. Should check that as well. Because if we can get that to level three, then we're one step closer to getting to level four, which is what we need for passive generation of these ores. It's not going to be super fast doing it that way, but at least it will be like a constant thing happening in the background. Wow, Solarium is really slow on the. Uh, on the uh, production. No, what's the word I'm looking for? Like heat cooling? What am I grinding for right now? So right now we are setting up um, automation for Britannia. So the first thing I was gonna work on was automating um, living wood and living rock production. Uh, so I need the destructors to do that. I mean, there's definitely other ways we can do that. Um, it's just easy to do it with the destructors um, for refined storage. So, so that was kind of the plan. Um, so we'll just set up, we'll set up one for now. So we'll set up, yeah, we'll set up one of each for now. Um, and then we'll, we'll kind of take it from there. It'll be fine. Okay, so while that's casting, actually I want to put this back. One second. Come on, so slow. Uh, and I wish this pack doesn't have time in a bottle or anything like that. There's no, there's no tick acceleration that makes life easy. Everything is the grind. Okay, so now we should be able to make two destructors. Two of you, beautiful. Um, and then the other thing we're gonna need is, uh, what's it called? Refined. Okay, it does not like that. Oh, it's red find. Refined. Refined. I cannot type today. Okay, there's our two destructors. What I want is this detector. Uh, cool, that's an easy recipe. Teach the system how to make those. So what I would like is two detectors, please. And what this is going to do is basically we're going to set this up to auto craft living wood or living rock whenever we don't have a full draw. So at the moment, a full draw is going to be 4096 that's probably all we're ever going to need of this because it's just going to passively run in the background um and we definitely have an unlimited supply of oops of wood yeah pretty sure we're good for oak wood and we can teach this them how to make oak wood because i have wood essence so let's do that and then the same for stone i mean i've got 99,000, but let's teach it how to make stone as well, just in case. Okay. 
So then we're going to want some stone with us. We're going to want some wood with us. And then we're going to want some living stone, living rock. And some living wood. And then we need our detectors. Uh, okay, we're probably going to need some redstone as well. Let's just do that. And we'll grab some stone bricks just so we're not putting redstone on the ground. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So let's go hook this up. It is nighttime. We should probably sleep. Uh, it'll be fine. Oh, it's raining. Let's sleep. Yoink. Okay, so the way this works is we tell the constructors to output oak logs, right? So they're just gonna, oh, we didn't make crafting cards. That's okay. We can still, we'll make crafting cards later. So basically we tell the constructors to place oak wood, right? And then the floating Pure Daisy will turn that into, um, we'll turn that into living wood. Skeleton running a cow was funny as hell. I know, I don't know, I've never seen that before. I was very confused, um, but I appreciated it greatly. <laughs> Um, so that's going to do its thing. And then we're going to use one deconstructor, destructor, oops, one. And we're going to configure this to pick up living wood, right? So what this will do, hook this up. Hey. You know work. Why you know it? Oh, whitelist. Change it to whitelist, folks. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Whitelist. Shenanigans. Okay. Now it's set to whitelist. That won't break it. I hear you, Mr. Skeleton. Where are you? Be gone. Uh, I should really claim those. More spaghetti. Oh, I need to go get some food. So this should, when it converts in a second, because I broke it, pick it up and put it in the system. Now these ones won't break because I don't have enough destructors to put on top of them. But I mean, so your option could be like, you could use a block breaker. Could use the, the block miner or the controlled miner. Controlled miner is probably, there you go. It did it. Control mine is probably the best option um, in this case, because then you can whitelist it to say only break living wood. So I could do that, put the control miner here and it'll break the blocks around it. That is an option, um, but I like this option. I like using the destructor. That's the whole point. Um, but if we let this run forever and ever and ever and ever, it's going to just continue to make, um, it's just going to continue to make the, I don't want to do this. No, I'm going to break that again. Um, it's just going to continue to make the uh living items forever and we don't want that we only want to make it when we need it right so white white list so the next part of this let's get all these in here okay so they're going to produce so then, ah, oh, we should have made more elevators for here. Oh, 
So then you were in here? How did you get in here? There is no light in here. There's no dark spots. Oh, I, oop, I made a hole in the wall. That's how he got in there to hide when the, Never mind. Um, so then, yeah, so the next thing is we only want to run this when we need it. So I'm going to do that with a detector. Uh, so this mod pack, uh, we're using, I guess, so it was running on the, um, it was on the Twitch launcher. Um, so I'm, I guess I'm now using Overwolf because Switch Launcher is, is kaput. Um, so yeah. Uh, actually no, there's gotta be one block down. So yeah, this is on the, the Overwolf Launcher. Okay, so what we're gonna do here, Redstone. And then we're going to configure... Ooh, is that going to work? I guess we're going to find out. So if I put this detector here... And say... Oh, you didn't connect? Okay. I need some more cable. Um, We're going to detect living wood. And we're going to say... 4,096. And we want to say... Mit signal when amount is under. Oh, it did connect? Oh, it did connect. Yeah, yeah. So when when it's under 4096, output a redstone signal. And then we want to set these to only work on a redstone signal, right? I just don't know if that's going to be close enough. Because that is one block, right? So that should be... I guess we can... Do this. So let's put it when it's above to begin with. Let's do this. This is tedious to do from underneath. So if I mine these. Okay. Urgh. Reds only work with the redstone signal. And you work the redstone signal. Oop. Redstone signal and redstone signal. Should have done that before I configure them. Okay, so now if I change this to output when below. Dang it, that's not close enough. That was my worry. Okay. That's fine. Um, how do we want to go about that? I have an idea. I have an idea. What if we do... this let's do sticky piston let's do uh, uh redstone block this may not work and if it doesn't we'll go to plan c or plan B, because this is plan A and a half. Is that a thing? <laughs> Let's try this. So... So if we break this block... We put sticky piston... There. We put redstone... Oh no, sticky piston, we'll have to go down one. Sticky piston goes there. Yeah. 
So let's turn this off. Make sure it goes down. Oh, that's not going to work because a redstone block is going to cause a redstone signal. And it only does the corners. Nope. That's not going to work either. Okay. Hmm. No, is the elf, you have a good one. Catch you later. Okay, so then I guess we're going to use red alloy wire like we have in other parts of the base. Let's make some red alloy wire. And we need to make some framed stuff as well. Did I? I didn't set that up to auto craft. Let's get framed red alloy wire. Do I have red alloy wire on auto craft? Nope. Let's also get that on auto craft. Okay. Okay, so let's get like, I guess let's just make it a stack of that. Uh, because we're gonna need, we're gonna need a fair amount because it's gotta go up and around. Um, Cause I think it's gonna have to go around the outside for this to work. I don't think you can frame these either. Like I don't think there's any facades for these. Project red facades. There is these frames, but I don't seem to be able to texture those frames. Um, so I'm not sure how you meant to hide. Does anyone know Project Red? Does anyone know how to hide um, cables in Project Red? Because I haven't found anything that that allows me to disguise them. Actually, while we're here, let's make two elevators real quick. Uh, Ender pearls. Hey, Sharawia. Sharawia. Yes, hello. How are you? Apologies if I butchered your name. <laughs> I hope you're having a good Saturday. Um, I need bronze. Let's make another batch of those wireless craft up two of these. No, I'm not. This is, this is solo. This particular mod pack is running by myself. Because it's shenanigans. Come on, need a few more. Uh, what else do I need? I need wool. And... Luminescence. Grab another pile of those. Okay. Uh, do I want to make different colored elevators? Uh, no white ones will make sense. Okay. That's that, that. Elevators. Two of them. Beautiful. Put away all those things that didn't work the way I wanted it to. Uh, I probably keep some redstone with me just in case. Okay, put away that wool and those ender pearls. Okay, let's try this again have other another thing to try because I only want this to run when we don't already have like lots right because if it runs all the time then we're just going to waste resources okay let's mine up these guys let's put in our elevators Ah, 
beautiful elevator goodness. Okay, let's try this again. Let's uh Let's get rid of this. Put a block back underneath you. So Yeah, let's break that. I'm gonna do this differently. Probably should have brought some cable with me just in case I needed extra. Uh, but we're gonna break all of those and all of these. Yeah, and as soon as I said should have brought some cable with me in case I needed extra, I'm gonna need extra for this spot here. Let's make some cables. I've got three. <laughs> make some more. Just wait a second to get a couple. Hello? Need glass, I guess. Okay, there's a couple of extras so we can run some wires as we need to. Okay, let's try this again. So, can I do... I wonder if this is gonna work. I guess we're gonna find out, eh? Right, and then this is gonna have to like go around. Which is janky, but you know, we can cover some of this stuff up. Okay, so then I probably want to connect these in the corners, I reckon. Let's just give this a redstone signal first. Which, of course I don't have a lever with me, but I can make a lever. No, I can't. Yes, I can. Oh my goodness. Cobblestone. Why can't I just use normal stone if I've got it? Normal stone should work for cobblestone. Uh, I guess I need to... How's that gonna work? Why is that all sparkly all of a sudden? Oh, does it work just because it works better at night, maybe? I don't know. Is this because it's framed? Oh, I didn't grab... Yeah, it's because it's framed. It doesn't connect. <sighs> we'll get there eventually, folks. We'll get there eventually. Make a quick stack of this stuff. Okay, now we can connect. Take 375. This is why we do this together on stream, because we learn what does and doesn't work. <laughs> Oof. Okay. So. Let's do this first. Okay, that does work. Perfect. Cool. Yeah, so like I was saying, is there a way that we can forge multi-part CBE? Yeah, is there a way that we can 
recover these? Or is there another form of redstone? Because like if I had redstone conduits, that'd be freaking amazing. We don't have conduits. So is there another form of redstone? Because this is the only other form of like cable type redstone that I know about. Um, that we can use. So is there a way of covering that stuff, right? Okay, so... Now we probably want to do this. Oh, okay, that has to face that way. Cool. So living wood... Less than... 4096 outputting a redstone signal so if I do that that connects cool so it's gonna take a very long time to fill that up because we only have one running but that should be good let's make sure it does place another one We can probably do something. We could do something with stairs, maybe to or half slabs to make it not look so terrible. I just want to see if this works. I mean, it should, but you know, just in case. Yep. Okay. Cool. Yeah, that's real janky. It is what it is. Okay, I'm gonna do the same on this side. Uh, you, you. Janky, janky, janky. We will make it look pretty though, so it's okay. Because we can't have shenanigans afoot. Okay. Just need to configure all these to be redstone only. Oh, I had to fit in underneath there. Hello, clicky clicky. Okay, and then we'll do the same for this detector on the underside. Uh, where did we end up putting that? In the middle there. Then we needed to do one of those there. And then this one is living rock less than 4096. Okay. And then I just need to hook that breaker back up. <sighs> Elevators are so good. Okay. I'm gonna do this this way. Like so, and can I, can I, can I, I can't, I can't see under there. It's fine. Do that. And that one. We'll put that one on a living rock as well. Cool. Okay. So this should now constantly produce for us living rock and living wood. So that's the first part of our Batania setup automated. I would like more destructors, but 
as noted, that's a whole lot of processing that we don't have the ability to do just yet. But let's make some uh, blocks to cover up this jankiness with. Let's get some... Um, we'll use some of the living rock and we'll make uh, some, some stone bricks. Make it look pretty. I'm not too worried about what it looks like underneath. Um, oh, I've already got some stone bricks. Cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do this. Uh, 12. That's not enough. Take this with us. We'll make some of the fancy bricks. Some chiseled ones. You know, keep it, keep it looking fancy. Cool. Okay. So I think most of this platform will be made out of living stone eventually. Uh, but for right now. Oh, nope. Don't want to do that. I would like to do that. So that'll cover it. It doesn't look super good, but you know, it's fine. And it's, this isn't like a spot that I'm going to be walking in, so I'm not too worried. Actually, that looks, doesn't look bad at all. Uh, and then we could make this side look a little, a little bit more intentional. Maybe. I don't know if that'll be weird. Kind of like that and then have... Uh, do I have a crafting bench up here? I think I do. I do not have a crafting bench up here. Uh, do I have one down at the farm? I think there's one down here at the farm. I mean, there's a starlight crafting table. That'll do. Nope, that won't do. Apparently you can't use that as a normal crafting table. Huh. How did I not know that? Make a crafting bench so we can put up in the botany area just in case we need it. Okay, cool, 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 cool. So this, that is, that is our, uh, our first little bit of automation done here. Yeah, I think that'll look okay. Because we're also going to, like, we'll, we'll, we're going to put leaves all over all this once it's all built. Um, so we'll put this here. Oh, I need way more. I'm just going to. Do that. Something like that, maybe. Or actually like that, maybe. I don't know. That looks like it's got some form to it. That'll do me. And then the same on this side. This looks a little bit funny with it, the white on white. Maybe we should use... Ah, uh, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Uh, I'm going to need some more... Uh, bricks, though. Well, I guess I could... Do 
Like something like that. And I still need some more, but that's fine. That is fine. We can get some. I gotta eat, I gotta eat. Yeah, I think that looks okay. Yeah, it looks okay. And then, you guys like a so? Because most of the time, there won't... Well, I mean, once we finish crafting them, most of the time, there won't actually be anything there. So hopefully it looks okay. We might need to make some... Some facades for... The bottom. But I think that... I think that looks okay. Okay, so that's the first bit of automation done. The next bit of automation... We need to get this portal open so that we can set up automation for um, Dragonstone, Pixie Dust, Elementium, and what's the other thing? Elf Glass. Um, yeah. So those are the things we need next. Uh, so to do that, we need a portal core and we need pylons. So let us get that happening. So what is involved in that? Probably some mining. I really hope not. I think we're good. I think we're good on resources. Oops, one down. Let's see just how good we are. Okay, let's put all this away. All this can go away. All this can go away. All this can go away. Okay, so. Elven Gateway Core. This is where we needed the ancient dust, folks. Uh, we also need to make two star metal, which will be interesting because I haven't made that yet. And teleportation cores. Oof. Okay. Cool. Um, tell, okay, let's teach us how to make some bits. So, teleportation core. That's an expensive recipe. Um, star metal ingots is an empowering recipe. So, let's teach this how to make that. I don't think I've already done it, have I? I have already taught it how to make it. Cool, never mind. Um, and then... Ooh, empowered emeratic crystal block. Okay. Do we have... Empowered emeratic... Oop. Not that. Crystal block. Missing seven dust and four terra steel. That is okay. Uh, mana. One, two, three, four. Uh, Ender Eyes. Two, three, four. Diamonds. Three? That's not a good sign. Um, I don't have Tectonic yet, so I guess mining is still going to be my best bet. How we run out of diamonds. So much shenanigans. Let's get some diamonds back. We'll also get some levels back because we used a whole lot of levels um, making those unbreaking books. 
and enchanting the the electrodes for the arc furnace. So from one stack of diamond ore, how many diamonds do you reckon we got? I'm going to guess like two and a half stacks, maybe, maybe closer to two stacks. Ugh. Oh no, I already had some here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So just over two stacks. That's pretty good. I'll take it. Just over two stacks. It's not bad. Okay, let's go make this Terra Steel. Oh, that doesn't go high enough. Elevators. I need more elevators. Oop. Sure. We will automate Terra Steel. I mean, maybe we won't automate Terra Steel. Maybe Terra Steel is one of those things that will, um, we'll just make enough that we can get it from seeds. Right? Terra Steel. Oof. There's a lot of Terra Steel. T6. I can't get Adamant yet. And that requires Terra Steel. Yeah, we're a little ways off that one. A little ways, a little ways. Um, okay, so what I need is... Oh, these need to be upgraded first. I'm using those pools because I need these pools for this. Thank you. Yeah, see, I don't know how, I don't know how I would automate this. I could do it. The problem would be it would only be able to run when there is enough mana. I don't know how exactly I would measure that. Like to say, hey, do we have over a certain amount of mana? I guess we can use some integrated dynamics to like read the mana pools and say, hey, how much mana is there total? If there's mana, run a dropper that only runs when there's a redstone signal. Maybe. Um, and that dropper would have to have a delay. So there's enough time for the craft to happen. Because if it dropped it before it finished crafting, it wouldn't work. Hmm, it'd be interesting. It would be interesting. Uh, so now this is using... This is using our... Um, lava... Ritual from the blood altar to make lava for all this. So this is going to now start draining from our life network. It's still full at the moment. When we start to drop below... Full, we'll need to go refill the bauble. Uh, okay, so that is our Terra Steel. Let's slash home. And what was the other thing I needed? Oh, the glowstone blood. Glowstone. In fact, it's going to, yeah. Okay, let's put this glowstone in here. Take this out of here. We are going to need to refill this. Because that's also going to be taking from our network now. Because we don't have... We don't have the the blood orb on the altar. It's not absorbing from here, so it's gonna start taking it from my network. And if the so if the network goes below zero, the ritual will still run, but 
it will be taking my hunger. Um, like it, it, it takes your, it like it directly takes the life essence from you because that's who it's connected to. Um, so ideally, you don't want that happening because you also get nausea as a debuff. Um, so it's kind of how you know, hey, you, your blood network's empty. You better go fix it. Uh, <laughs> so yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a thing. Be aware of it. Uh, don't let it happen to you. Not speaking from experience at all. I literally spent like an hour and a half trying to get enough blood in, enough, enough life essence into the network because I'd started that ritual. Bad idea. But it's only, I mean, it's 500 life essence per bucket of lava. And the setup we've got up there uses eight buckets of lava at a time. So it's 2,000... 4,000, sorry. 4,000 life points every 7,000 ticks, which isn't terrible, but it did take a very long time to uh, stabilize because I've got a big, this, a big tank plus the pipes had to fill. And by the time the backlog happened, it was all a thing. We need to get some speed runes to make these infusion things faster. How bad speed runes? Uh, wow, not terrible at all. How bad are those? Those are kind of terrible. Uh, not terrible, terrible though. Liquid crystalline. Eh, not great. Doable, doable. I'm gonna make some speed runes. Uh, but we're just gonna. We'll suffer forward for just a few more moments. This won't take long. And we should... I was looking at the drop of evil. This was what I was looking for that needed the evil infused plates. Um, I think we can do this. I think we can make a drop of evil, folks. Because I can make all this stuff. I can make all this stuff. I can make all this stuff, so I can make the Rune of Pride. Diamond Promise Acceptors would be the only thing I'd have to work on. The rest I've got. I can make Essence of the Gods. I can make Proxy Ingots. So we could do a Drop of Evil to automate this here. I'd need to make a Dusk. Hang on, let's look at the Dusk. How, what's these ones? Tier four, we got tier four, block of coal, we can do that. And that just needs two demonic slates. We could do that. Okay, okay. Hmm, maybe, maybe later after we've got some Britannia stuff set up, we might set up a mob farm and a well, a well of suffering to auto feed this. That could be a thing. Oh my goodness. 400 hours in and finally building a mob farm. <laughs> what is even going on? Oh, uh, that's ridiculous. That would be ridiculous though. 400 hours in and we build a mob farm. Shenanigans. Uh, is this enough? Do I have enough? I think I've got enough here now. I can just let this one finish. So you can see here, my life essence has gone down because we don't have the orb in there. Swap this out in a second. Yeah, I definitely need some speed runes. This is such a slow process to infuse these. Here we go. Okay. Thank you very much. Refill that. Recharge my blade real quick And my network's refilling It's back to full again Okay, cool Put those away Okay So now we should have enough to make the emeratic block Emeratic. 
one of you. Stop. Uh, while that's going, let's teach this how to make teleportation claws, and we will get two. Two of you. Mmm, this needs a whole lot of things. Cool, cool, cool. Um. Teleportation core requires block of ender pearls. Needs block of lumium, which is going to be have to be factorized. Going to need a block of platinum, which also needs to be factorized. And it needs empowered amaretic plates, which need to be compressed. Question is, do we have room in our machines for these recipes? We do. Just compress. Yep. And... Into pearls. Cool. Okay. Teleportation cores. Two of you. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Start. We got our amaretic crystal. Okay. Then what do we need? Um. I'm gonna need two ancient dust. So let's put this in here. Ancient dust, very expensive. Living wood. Ah, oops. Yeah, and we need our platinum plates. Two platinum plates. And our teleportation cores. And then I just need, oops, put them in the wrong spot. I need the starlight. Okay, so starlight, craft two of these. I have all the things. Freaking amazing. Is it going to know what to do with it? I don't think it is, so we'll go teach it. Pretty sure I have not configured any of this. Okay, knew where to put that one, but that's probably it, right? That'd be my guess. My guess would be that's the only thing it knows where to put. Uh-huh. Okay, so Nori Crystal goes into this filter. Um, then, so if that's the top, so let's put you guys, so let's put in this one, you're gonna request Starlight Compound. You're going to request into medium and you're going to request the abyssum. Put these all back in here. Dun, 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 dun. It's a little bit slow. I don't have impulse cables. Cool. Oh, there's no laser. That's fine. Oh, you can see it just barely. Okay, so this is gonna this is gonna make our star metal. This is the first star metal we've made as well. Um, so then this is going to request star metal and put them in there. 
hold on to this star metal because I'm going to go put it in a wall. Which is super easy to do now because we've got an elevator. Boom. You are now in a wall. Okay. And our two star metal. There is our Elven Gateway core. That is awesome. That wasn't a quest? Oh man. Hang on. Before we go placing this and opening this portal, let's take a second to do some quests because I have this awful feeling as per usual, as we found with this pack, I go do a whole lot of stuff and then I need to go do it again for the quest. So let's make a mana band. <laughs> A uh, rune of mana, mana tablet, aquamarine, a diluted mana pool, a whole lot of mana steel, and molten inferium. Okay. 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 This is interesting. Um, okay. Mana steel. Uh, we need to make another mana rune though. So we need inferium, starlight, string... Let's grab that. And a pearl. Diamond. Living. Um, starlight. We need to automate liquid starlight as well. It's another thing we're going to have to work on. Oh, done that one. What am I doing? Uh, mana, 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 mana. Uh, inferior ingot is the other one I needed. And then, so what did it need? It needed... Band of mana. So I need 3024. 3024 divided by 144. Another 21. Please make those. Okay, let's go make this real quick. We'll also set up the automation for making the mana pearls and stuff. The only concern I have with that though is, I guess it's the same concern I have with, um, with like making Terra Steel is the um, making sure there's enough mana. Uh, I would like to get a Guilty Pool. This guy, Everlasting Guilty Pool. But that is a lot of Terra Steel, which we don't have. It is also Nether Star Blocks. It is also Singularities for Constantan, Redstone, and Manulin. It is also Valerian Blocks, Vibranium Blocks, and Adamant Blocks, as well as Majestic Catalysts, which is a whole lot of Majestic Ingots, as well as Ancient Draconian Blocks, as well as Ancient Blocks of Dust, as well as Infinity Plates. Uh, yeah. Little outside of our budget for resources for right now. Uh, but maybe in the future. Maybe in the future. Um, but it would be nice to, to have a guaranteed supply of, of, um, mana. Once we get this door open though, we can make the, um, the sigils or the, the runes for the sparks. So what we can do is we can have a much bigger battery of mana pools that we can fill. Um, so that's kind of like the goal is to get like a crazy supply of mana although i did notice mana diamonds take up a lot of like like they take up almost a an eighth of a pool maybe like a tenth of a pool it's maybe 10 percent um which is kind of crazy in the scheme of things um so that's something we're gonna have to be aware of um because if we make too many of those at once, then we're going to just use up all of our mana. 
so hopefully with a big enough buffer, we'll be okay. Maybe. I guess we'll find out. Okay, and this is our... Uh, okay, so then what am I making? I'm making the Band of Mana. Band of Mana. Uh, aquamarine Mana Tablet. Diluted Mana Pool. Okay, that's a thing I can do. Looted mana pool. And then aquamarine. We got a few of them in our dungeon diving yesterday, which is great because they're kind of expensive to make. And then we need the inferium that we're going to melt down. And what was the other thing? Uh, mana tablet, which I've already got a mana tablet. And the ring will essentially work as a mana tablet, so I'm not too worried about using the mana tablet that I got here. I think that was one of the earlier quests. I want to say it was back in tier one. Maybe. No? I guess not. Was it in tier two? Oh, yeah, it was in tier two. Mana tablet. Okay, let's melt down this Inferium. And Jeweler's Workshop. I need an anthem mine, which is there. Okay. Cool. Wait for this stuff to melt down. I really should upgrade this so it does melting faster. I don't think I've set up automation for making kits yet, so it's probably a thing that we need to do. At some point in the near future. Let's harvest our ender pearl farm. Oh, so slow, so slow. I'm so impatient. Uh, I guess while that's happening, what's the next thing that it's gonna want us to be? Cirrus amulet, Cirrus amulet, Cirrus. Oh, okay. I mean, sure. A rune of autumn and a rune of air. Yeah. That's not terrible. That's not terrible. Okay. Oh, is that going to let me fly? Because that is a cloud. If that lets me fly, I'm going to be so happy. I don't just want slow fall. I want flight. Like, actual flight. Okay. Band of mana. Let's go fill this with... Actually, before we fill this with mana... Okay, this is... May, uh, maybe the portal's on this line? Double jump, jumping in midair will nullify all four damage and downwards momentum. Okay, this doesn't really do a thing that I want it to do. Huh. Do we think the portal's off the brewing line, maybe? Or maybe it is just past these things? Are you, are, we can do it, we can do it. Uh, okay, mana steel. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, this we're gonna wear. This is gonna be a thing that we just wear. Um. Okay, so... I guess I need some more string. Glad I've got one. <laughs> uh, that plus that. So we need four for the... And then I'm going to need a couple of runes. What runes do I need? 
I need air and autumn. And autumn needs... What does autumn need? Autumn needs fire and air. Fire. Okay, so... I only need to make autumn and air. So I need some leaves, some aquamarine, and some spider eyes. Spider eyes. Aquamarines. Just grab the whole pile of them. Uh, some leaves. And then we need a mesh. It's more string. I need a feather. What else do I need for air? A uh, dilithium and a snowball. Snowball and dilith dilithium. Cool. And then for our cloud ring. Um, what was it called? What was it called? Cirrus. Just, yep, cool. And then 216 Prudentium. I need 14 Prudentium. Fourteen of you. Okay, let's go make these runes. I don't know if we're gonna automate rune production. It's one of those things that you don't need like heaps of, um, but you will use a fair number of them, right? Um, you don't. They're not generally used in like. Oh, I needed stream. Dang it. I can get that when I get back down there. Uh, no, because I, I need to turn it into mana string first. Shenanigans. Um, yeah, like runes, you you definitely use while you're crafting, but they're not generally used in things that need to be auto crafted. Um, so I'm okay with like manually crafting runes for right now. I may change my tune later. But for right now, I think we're okay. Um, okay, one of you, 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 one of you. We don't have any living wood on me, but that's okay because we got living wood, living stone here. And then we'll use this air rune to make the autumn rune. And we'll get the air rune back then. So you gotta remember when you're making runes on the altar, any runes you use, you get back. I don't know if that's a mod specific thing or if it's a Britannia specific thing. Like, I don't know if they could overwrite that per mod, but I've it's always been the case for me. Okay, so then we wanna put air rune, fire rune, three oak leaves, two spider eyes. What am I missing? Air, fire, three leaves. Oh, two aquamarines. And then I'll just get another one of these. Thank you. Like even that's just nice having that there. Maybe we'll leave one of them not picking up. So we'll pick up like seven and leave one so that if I need to Either of them, I could just grab them real quickly from up here. Or maybe we'll have like a chest here somewhere that's just that we export them to, so it's always full of both. Okay, so we got back our air and our autumn rune. So then let's go turn this into 
into a cloud necklace. Really intrigued where the open the portal to Alfheim quest is. That is that is the I think to to this day, I think that's the one thing that I don't like about this pack is not being able to see kind of the whole quest tree um, to be able to plan ahead, right? I think that's the... I think that's been the biggest downfall. Because if I could plan ahead just a little bit better, I think it would be... It'd be better, right? It'd be more... Um, like it'd just be more sustainable because like I could go, okay, I need to do this line of quests to get to the, the portal of Alphine, right? Because like, what if I also need to do the starlight quests to open the portal? I know I can just go and open the portal, but then I'd have to break it. I guess we could just reopen it again. Probably wouldn't be the end of the world. It would depend on what the quest requires for that to hand in for that quest. We'll, we'll do this for a little bit. If it doesn't look like it's gonna give us the portal, then we'll, we'll just craft it and get all the automation set up for it so that at least we can use it. Um, and we'll kind of go from there. That's fine. Got my magnet turned off because working around Things that require mana just makes it a little bit easier. Okay, so the Cirrus Amulet. If we had mana. I like that the gloves can go anywhere. Oh, that even shows up on your body? Huh. I got a little cloud on my neck. That's weird, but cool. Uh, okay, quest complete. Oh, that gave me a rune of mana back. Nice. Okay. I'm very intrigued by the direction this is taking us in. Molten Platinum? Ooh, that's expensive. Rune of Summer, Rune of Fire. I think I got both of these things. I need some string. Uh, rune of summer, rune of fire. I need some string. That's a lot of platinum. Uh, what was it? How much platinum was it? This slot, it will extinguish fire from them if they are not standing in a block that causes burns. I mean, that's not a terrible thing. How much platinum? 3024? 3024 divided by 144? 21 platinum? My goodness. Okay, I guess I'll get that melting down. I'm going to get the string turned into mana string. We gotta, we gotta automate the portal. We gotta open the portal before we can automate making mana string and stuff. Just because at the moment it's not practical. Don't know why this stuff goes into the mining as well. Okay. Whoop. I don't know why sometimes I use slash home, sometimes I run through the base. I don't know. It's much of a muchness. Uh, nope. That was it. I've got all the bits I need. I think. Pyro. Something or other. Pyro. This thing. Oh no, I'm missing gold. It's a 
Okay, we've got plenty of gold. No debt, no worries there. Okay. Platinum's almost finished running. craft para class pendant cool okay <sighs> yep that's unfortunate that dead ends consent to clay yeah I mean that's not really a thing that I need but we'll make it you know because we can Clay, one, two, three, what was it? Three clay, three light gray, Inferium and Earth. Earth, Inferium. Seed and light. Oops. Light gray. I think that's still here. Yeah, I haven't moved this up yet. Okay. Uh, Earth, Inferium. Three of you. Three of you. One of you. I guess it think. I guess there's a, a serious requirement for clay. Now, the fact that it didn't unlock anything else means it's either tied to this or tied to both of these, right? So, let's, um, because they, they can't not be a quest for this, right? Like, it's not possible that there is no quest for, for the opening the portal, right? Hmm. Remember there's a lot of food we suck into the system yesterday. Oh, those plates were not in the system? Oh, they were. Uh, okay. I don't think I'm going to use the... I mean, I don't think I'm going to use either of these baubles, to be honest. I'm now going to take that off. Put them away for now. Put that away. I think we just open the portal. Because... When one so generous... Mana and stores it in a mana tablet in the place of inventory. You can be upgraded to greater band of aura, which greatly. Oh, that's pretty neat. It just automatically creates mana. Oh, okay. Okay, I feel like. Do you think it's going to connect off both? I feel like it's going to connect off both, right? Similar to what this did. Similar to what this did. Similar to what this did. Because like I've got a tier... See, this is what I'm worried about. I've already got a tier 4 altar, but I have to now go and craft 28 blank runes. I, well, I guess I don't. I've got 28 blank runes. I just break it down. But yeah, I fear that this is going to connect to both sides. How bad's this recipe? We got a rune of mana. I need five buckets of liquid starlight. How much illumination powder do I have? Two. How do I make more? 
that way still. Yeah, see this is this is where having bees. So lime bees and refined boosting mixture for elimination powder. I mean it'd be better to do it with essence, but T T5. I think I've got basalt, but I don't have elementium or aquamarine. Okay, we're just gonna open the portal. We're just gonna open the portal. So we need pylons. Let us look at this recipe. Surprisingly not terrible. Also not terrible. So the only thing is I need to make two glass lenses. Everything else I can do, right? Okay, cool, cool, cool. Let's do that. Um, so that makes one. So I need eight aquamarine, some living rock, and some panes. Cool. And aquamarines. Nice, nice. Okay, we can do that. Mm, we're going to need to make another minus spreader as well. But I think I'm going to wait until I've got um, the portal open because then I can make the higher tier minus spreaders. Just to make it all a little bit easier. Mm, there. It's like, where is my resonating wand? One thing with this pack, there's so many things that are connected together that it's never as simple as just making the thing that you wanted to make. <laughs> Tell you right now, that is true. Okay, so for the pylons, we require... Um, I probably have to go make mana steel and I need to make mana diamonds, damn it. One, two, three, four. Yep, definitely need to make mana steel. Iron. After we automate the portal, we'll automate mana steel, mana diamonds, mana pearls, and mana string. I think. I think that should be doable. Okay, mm, this one. Yeah, see that just drains that pool. Um, yes, we'll steal some from there and some from here. Oh, we can also hook up those, um, I wonder how much coal we've got. We can hook up the other, the endo flames to pick up coal as well now, because we've now got the, the network up there, so we could export directly into the placer. That might be a good idea as well, now that I think about it. Um, what's the thing I'm doing? Pylons. So, mana steel, let's get, oh. so I need six mana steel. No, I need 12, I'm making two. And I need four Triberium and a whole lot of gold blocks. Four of you. And gold blocks. How many do I need? Three, six. So 12 gold blocks. Got two, I need another 10. Remember when we didn't have any gold? 
Those are the good old days. They were not the good old days. It was terrible. It was terrible. And there's our Triberium. There's our Mana Steel. We need Eyes of Ender. How many do I need? I need... 12 of those, so I need another 10 of them. I remember there is a better recipe for making those now. I just haven't set it up, but it's fine. It's not the end of the world. Okay, those guys. And two blocks of Electrotene. Oh, okay. I haven't taught you how to make that yet. That's fine. Make a whole stack of Electrotene. Electrotene is really easy to make because it's just essence. Okay. Let's make these into blocks. Because I need to put another crafter on this so I can teach this how to make those. Okay. I think that's everything. So if we do two of these, one, two, and then we do, oh, Jackson, Jackson. <gasps> oh, it's okay. We've got it. I just can't spell it. Two of those. I've got one of those. Where'd the other one go? Oh, I need more electricity. Dang. I mapped that wrong. Needed four, not two. Okay. Try this again. Uh... You guys, you guys, boom. Okay, and we should grab, no, that's really like, that's the main part. This should be enough to get us open and then we'll hook up some better stuff. Next. Okay, open the portal. Uh, We should make another book of Britannia. Cause I don't want to put the hound can you can you take a book out of the akashic tone like if i wanted if i want to get my lexical britannia out of the akashic tone can i do that geordie That's just rude. You got to get up early in the morning to get that one past me, my friend. <laughs> Remove <laughs> book from a cash tone. It's right, you swear. is wrong. <laughs> it's such a weird, okay. So to do it, change it to the book and then sneak. It's, uh, it's sneak throw. Okay. Control, right. Technically you are correct if you have a sneak bound to control. Why would you bound sneak to control though? Okay. Cause control Q is quit. <laughs> Right? It's like old F4. <laughs> like, why would you find anything to control Q? <laughs> uh, that's funny. Okay, let's do this. Portal core. Pylon, pylon. So for me, it's shift. Because sneaker shift. Control is not, is not sneak. Um, 
So this should open? Here you go. Sorry. It, technically, it probably doesn't because this is Windows. I'm just used to a Mac. Control Q or out, Command Q quits. New book. Elven guard. Thank you, the council, high council of Elven guard. We have a portal. Okay, so now we can get access to all of the things in Alfheim, including Dreamwood, including Elementium, including Pixie Dust, and Dragonstone. As well as quartz, which I don't know why we need, but alpha class we do need. Oh, elven lapis and mana lap. Why is it raining so much today? I've never. These are things I've never seen before. Let's put this in here. Elven lapis. Huh. Didn't know that was a thing. Uh, anything else in here? Dream rock and elven wood. Also things I've never used before. Dream rock. Oh, a dreaming mana pool? Oh, okay. The pool is twice as large as a normal pool. Okay. Huh. How terrible is that to make? Pretty terrible. Terra steel. And obsidian right blocks. Oh. Okay. But probably worth it. And what other mana pools do we have? Oh, that is the only extra one. How much does a fabulous mana pool hold compared to the others? Uh, run and references in this room. Hang on. The holder. Okay. While this item. Hang on. The world in the realm of the gods. While this item, the rod of the Bifrost, doesn't exactly do that, it allows the holder via right click. And at the cost of some mana to create a rainbow bridge in the direction he or she is looking at. Yes. But this is the rod of the Bifrost. This has got nothing to do with the... Make Shimmer Rock. Fabulous mana pool. Mana. Where's the full? Oh, okay. So they don't have a... It's only the mana pool and the dreaming mana pool. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, okay. So we have a portal open. Ooh, nice. Did you make like the full one? <sighs> this rain. So terrible for the, the pixels and the bits. Did you make a tier eight? Cause that's some shenanigans right there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think, isn't there a quest to make a tier eight though? Or has everyone just made a tier eight for the sake of making a tier eight? Maybe they just made it for the sake of making it. Um, okay. So we want a precision dropper. Okay. Hang on. Two steps back. So the things that can be made with the portal. We're going to want Dreamwood. We're going to want Elementium. Uh, we're going to want Pixie Dust. We're going to want Dragonstone. We're going to want Alf Glass. I don't know if we need Elven Quartz for anything in particular. Does make three special infused, but we have that on 
production with um, essence now, so it's fine. Uh, Dreaming Rock, so six. Oops. Uh, do I need this elven wood for anything? Oh, I can do that. But other than that, do I need it for anything? Doesn't look like it. So let's not worry about the elven wood. Do I need elven lapis for anything? For the Gaia agglomeration plate. Don't know what that's for. So let's not worry about that one for right now. Alfheim drones. What do they produce? Dilithium combs? Shenanigans. Huh. Okay, they could be useful. Uh, don't need to worry about gears or the plates. Okay, so we need to, this is gonna have to produce six different things. Cool. So let us grab a precision dropper. Precision dropper, this guy. Uh, we need some silicone plates, some palace dropper, and coil. Okay. Oh, my butt's falling asleep. Gotta remember to move, folks. It's one of the problems with sitting at a computer for as long as I do, is you forget to move. Which you gotta do. Stretch, change the way you're sitting so your butt doesn't fall to sleep, all those kind of shenanigans. Run out of caffeine. Okay. What are we making? I've already forgotten what I'm making. What was I making? It's another problem with stretching. Clears your brain. Um, automatic dropper. <laughs> uh, okay, I need a coil, copper gears. Two of you. Coil. Is this the one that busts? This is the one that doesn't work, right? No, this one works. It's the advanced coil that doesn't work. Right? Or does this one not work as well? Oh, let's cancel that because it did craft. It just... I think this one doesn't work either. Oh no, it did. It just took some time. Right? Yeah. I was just being impatient. Gotta be patient. Uh, lapis. Uh, not lapis. What's it called? Oh, I did a dropper as well. Uh, palace. Right. Palace. Three of you. And then I need some silicone. Four of that. And then I need a couple. Okay. So. Precision dropper. Oh, I needed six of them and I need smooth stone, not cobblestone. My apologies, smooth stone. And six of these, not four, if I can count correctly. Beautiful. So, dropper. Boom. And then we are gonna need a crafter. So let's grab special infuse times eight. 
steel times eight, which you've already got. Um, what am I looking for? Uh, advanced. One of you, two of you, some cores. One of you. Oh, interesting. I use up on my construction cores. I guess I'll make some more. Uh, and then a base. Some electro team. Um, my special infused. I'm just making, just missing the construction core. Oh, and I need an alloy. One of you. And one of you. Okay, crafter. Grab some cable. And then I need a collector to pick up the things that gets dropped. Uh, we've been using the range collector. We could also use an item collector. I mean, the range collector has been doing what we needed. Let's make another one of these. Cup of gear. Some void. gonna bookmark that um 12 and plates which is exactly what I've got perfect uh some stone and the reason for using this is we can whitelist it we can configure the can we configure the range I think we can configure the range Oops, I need more than that. Um, and then I need a seismic sensor. Cool. Oh, ender pearl and another nori. Did not count my nori correctly, nor did I remember I needed ender pearls. Range collector got. Uh, and then I guess I need an importer on that because that's the way this works. Okay, uh, let's set up all the recipes as well. So, it's gonna be easiest if I just do this. So we're gonna say that one. Plus, yeah, I'm gonna make that one. And then Pixie Dust. Dragonstone. Elf Glass. And Dream Rock. They're the ones we're gonna teach it. If we need more later, we can. That's not a problem. Uh, hang on. I need to take all these things with me so that I can set the whitelist. Uh, so let's take some living stone with us. The inventory is going to be full. some stuff away real quick. Okay, yeah, that'll cover us. So living stone, I need um yeah, mana steel. Grab two of those. Grab uh, an ender pearl. So we can make that. We'll grab a diamond. So we can get that one. 
Do I have any mana glass? I don't. So let's make some let's grab some glass. One, two, three, four, five. What's the thing I don't have? Living rock, mana glass, mana pearl, mana diamond, mana steel, living wood. Living wood. Cool. Okay. So now we can make the whitelist for all of the crafting to collect. And it'll work a treat. Mr. Zombie. I don't have time for your shenanigans. You're going to just chase me, so be gone. I know your type. Okay. You plus you. Okay, so. Dreamwood. No, I just threw the glass in. It wasn't mana glass. It doesn't work if it's not mana glass. Hot tip, don't throw anything in the portal that the elves are not expecting because they'll just keep it. They think it's a gift. If it's not something that they've said that they're going to trade, which is all in the book, read the book, uh, they'll just keep it, which is great. It's not great. It's terrible. Um... Mana glass. Cool. Mana glass. Elf glass. Uh, two mana steel. One endearium. That did go in here. It's just because it's doing weird stuff. And then... Mana pearl. Pixie dust. And mana diamond. Dragonstone. Okay, so that should be all the bits that we got to set our whitelist for. Oh, no, we need Dreamstone as well. Living Rock, Dream Rock. Cool. Okay, so now let's hook all this up. Um, so we're going to want Crafter facing up. And then we're going to want the automatic, automatic Precision Dropper facing that way. Put all of our recipes in here. Sure, we can organize them a little bit. Um, and then we're going to put the range collector behind here with a white list for these items. I don't know what the distance is on the range collector. This is the only thing with doing this is it may pick up i just don't know if like if i set up automation down here if that's going to be too close i guess it's only going to pick up these items and these items i don't think are used in any of the other automation that we're going to do so i think it should be fine uh and then we want our importer on the bottom of this can i no? Cool. <laughs> Do I have any blocks on me? I got some. I got some. Okay. Importer. So it imports anything that it picks up. My goodness. Shenanigans. Okay. Uh, <laughs> it's a little bit of a little bit of a derp there, eh, Pyro? Okay, so this should now be good, right? This should now do all the things. I want to say. I guess we'd go test it and see if it works. Um, actually, no. So we're gonna need. I need to make. I need to make some things first. Yeah, just a little bit of a derp. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. It was intentional, right? Uh, yeah, no, it wasn't. 
Uh, and I want uh, Ender Pearl. So we'll we'll set up the automation to make these mana items next. I just want to be able to. I need the pixie dust to be, to be able to make the um, the runes for the sparks to make this easier. This is true. This is true. The uh, the one the one time my feather falling four boots actually helped me because usually that is not the case. Okay. So now we should be able to test to see if this automation works. And we probably want to put all these things in the walls as well, so that we eventually can have an unlimited amount of them when we get our vending upgrades. Eventually being the, the word. <laughs> uh, okay, so it looks like only a couple of things don't have spots on the wall. So let's put these in the wall. Dreamwood, Dream Rock, Dragonstone, and Pixie Dust. And then a friggin' ad. Ugh. Sorry about that. Um yeah, I, I was saying the, uh, the, the, the only time my feather falling four boots actually helped me. I have, I have multi jump plus feather falling four. And every time I multi jump, I take four damage. Um, which is dumb, even though I have feather falling four boots, like what the actual. Yeah, I wish. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. It'd make a huge difference if Twitch had, you know, the banner ads on the bottom of YouTube videos. That would be the best way for Twitch to do ads. Or even sidebar, put like an, an MREC ad above the chat, you know? Like that would also totally be acceptable. Um, the pre-roll ads can be a little bit naff sometimes. And I'm really intrigued to see what they do around like the auto mid roll ads. Cause I know they were testing some stuff and there was a whole lot of blowback, but like whether or not we're going to have to run like a minute of ads once an hour or whatever to stop the auto run ads that would kind of suck. But at the same time, it'd be a good excuse for people to stand up, go stretch their legs, that kind of thing. So maybe not terrible. Um, as long as we can control it to kind of like prevent it from happening. And I know I can do that for the pre-roll ads as well. Like if I run ads, it stops pre-roll ads from happening. Um, so maybe we should run ads once an hour anyway. I don't know. It's weird. It's weird. Yes, exactly. Right. And like someone like, like exactly what just happened to you is like, if you reload the page, or you may be browsing a couple of different streamers trying to work out who you want to watch and you get an ad and some of those ads are really loud. Like I've been getting the Cold War um, Doritos ad. Like that's really loud. If you're wearing headphones, not fun. Um, anyway, let's see if this works. So dream, dream rock. Can I get like 10 dream rock? Sure. Seems like I can. Cool. Okay, so that's working. So dream wood should be the should be the same. The other thing is this is using mana, and we're not yet like replenishing the mana, but that's okay. Uh, cool. Pixie dust. I need quite a few of these. Um, I think I've only got two. Oh, mana pearls. Try that again. Pixie dust. Two of those. Yep, that's working. Uh, Elementium. One of those. Mm -hmm, that works. Uh, mana glass. No, elf glass. Elf glass. Uh, how do I feel about the quest line? The only thing 
Mm, I mean, there's a, probably a couple of things. The main thing I don't like about the quest line is hid the fact that everything's hidden until you do the quest before it. Uh, it's made it really difficult to... Um, it's made it really difficult to plan and kind of know what's coming next. So like what we're doing now, we open the portal to Alfheim. Guarantee you there's a quest to open the portal to Alfheim, which means at some point I'm going to have to break my portal and reopen it because I will probably need the three glowing living root plus the core in my inventory to hand that in. So it would be really nice to know, oh yeah, the portal alpha is here, but I have to finish both this line and this line, or maybe I just have to finish this line. Something like that, that'd be useful. Um, and there's a lot of stuff that takes you in two different directions to achieve the same goal, which is fine. But I think some of those should be optional quests. Uh, I'm trying to think of a good example. And I can't think of one off the top of my head. But like there's somewhere it's like, hey, go do this to make this resource. But then here's another way to make this resource. Um, which again, like it would make sense if they were on the optional lines and not the progression lines. Um, again, can't think of off the top of my head what it was. It was mainly earlier in the pack, I feel. I'm trying to find one that was a good example. I mean, it's not important, um, but overall I am enjoying it. I am enjoying it. I just wish I could see the whole quest. Like I wish I could see beyond like what's after here. This doesn't unlock until I finish this one. And I finish this one, then this one will go red and then the next one will go gray. Um, and I like, I can't click on the gray ones either. It'd be nice if I could click on it to see what I need for that quest. Um, just so I can plan ahead, you know? Like, if I need to produce... Like, we just automated Elementium. Maybe I need 30 Elementium for the next two quests. But I can only see the next quest, so I make 10. And then I have to go make another 20 later. Again, minor gripes. Overall, pretty happy with it. There's a couple of branches that I think they could do more with. Like, the Blacksmith's Workshop. Um only takes you as far as steel armor. What armor should I make next? You know, that'd be really cool if it took you down the line of uh, like whatever the next one is. I think it's a shortcoming of the way that the mods configured because this um, questing book is the same one that's used in Enigmatica Expert 2 and that shows you everything. Um, the same as a couple of other packs. So I think it's the way they've got it configured. Um, so I mean, if I wanted to, I could override it. Uh, but it's, I guess it's part of, it's part of what makes this an expert pack is like, you've got to plan for everything because you don't know what's coming. <laughs> but it does make it a little bit difficult when like I, like, like I made the Blood Altar tier four before I even saw this quest. So, yeah. Oh. Oh, yeah. Actually, I don't, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if that's a, if that's a global setting or if you'd have to go into edit mode and like edit every single one to say show even if the prerequisites are not complete kind of thing. Yeah, that's a point. I don't know. And then, yeah. Hmm. And I get if it's, like, to prevent spoilers. Like, that's cool. And I don't mind if things are hidden for spoilers, but, like, maybe there's another way of doing it. Like, maybe it's a whole chapter that unlocks, you know? Like, like, like I don't, like, like, these, I can't, this whole quest line is locked. And that's okay. I don't mind a quest line being locked as long as the things within it are like out of my reach for right now. I think that's okay. But I do wish once you unlocked a quest cha a chapter, it would like show you all of the bits. Um, but you know, not the end of the world. 
you work you work around it. Uh, okay, so I think I tested all those bits. Did I test all those bits? Uh, Dragonstone. Dragonstone was the only other one. Let's confirm that that works. Yeah, okay, cool. So those are all working. So then what I want to do is we want to create recessive, we want to make one of these. Recessive augment. Beautiful. Couldn't make those before. And I probably want to make some more sparks. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Have you played um, Enigmatica Expert 2? Because um, that one has advanced rocketry in it. And to my memory, it does a good job of kind of leading you through the different planets because you go to different planets to collect different resources to kind of progress through the path. Uh, it's late game stuff. It's not like the main focus. Um, but I remember that did it, did it, did it well. Um, Advanced Rocketry is also used in MC Eternal, but that was more with custom planets and the custom planets were buggy. Um, I don't know if that was because of the way advanced rocketry works or because of the way the planets were, were, were programmed. Um, but yeah, that, that was not a fun time. I didn't have fun with that. <laughs> the number of times that it would crash to the point that I could not use my game anymore. My, like my save was corrupt and I would have to restore a backup. Not fun times. Um, okay, and then we want to get mana spreaders. How bad's the upgrade? Ooh, that's an expensive upgrade. Yeah, it, Enemy Expert 2, or Enemy Expert 2 Expert Mode, um, is good fun. I enjoyed that. Uh, that I, to the point that I would say it would, it, it's my favorite mod pack at the moment. This one comes in in the top five, definitely. Um, but it's really trolly <laughs> because it's like a combination of like, you don't know what's coming up. Um, the amount of resources that you need to gather, the incredibly low spawn rates of those resources and the craziness of some of the recipes like this, for example, crazy recipe. Requires iron promise acceptors, elementium, ignis ingots. I don't know if... Uh, yeah, I got the stuff to make those. Yeah. Yeah, that's the thing. It's like... If the... If resource spawning in this pack was significantly higher, like 10 times higher, then I think it would be fine. Like, for example, gold. Uh... You can get it from Void All Miner. Cool. But World Gen? 0 0.02. 0 0.16. Like, like these World Gens are so ridiculously low. It does also doesn't help that underground biomes, so like all the different types of biomes. But like the, the highest place is in the twilight, point 11. Mining at Y5. So like my, my hammer, I've mined over 300,000 blocks in this pack for resource generation. Let that sink in. <laughs> um, and yes, there are other ways you can do it. Like when I eventually got enough power generation, um, I did the, I've used excavators, which has been great. That's meant I haven't had to do as much mining because now I have all the gold that I need, right? Cause I, I happened to find a gold vein. Um, but this needs 8,000 RF a tick to run. And if you're following the quest chain, um, like it's quite late in the pack where you generate that much power. Uh, it wasn't until here, tier three, 
when I made the reactor controller. And like that's like that's quite late. No it's ready. Um and like to make quadruple reactors, uh, quadruple batteries is quite expensive. But again, here's here's another example. The reactor controller was behind the Lapatron Crystal quest. Lapatron Crystal required ancient dust and six quadruple batteries. Quadruple batteries require a whole lot of shenanigans plus level three batteries, which is a whole lot of shenanigans plus level two batteries, which is a whole lot of shenanigans plus level one batteries, which is, I mean, that's totally fine. So, a little crazy. Fronting is going to lean towards more casual stance. Okay. Make skills, but getting machine. Yeah. Okay. 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 See, and and that's what I like about E two E is like the the way most of the recipes are the normal recipes with like one thing swapped out. Um. So like you'd have to do another mod to unlock that thing to combine it with this thing to then craft, right? And that was fine because like you can auto craft still most things. Um, there's because basically everything in this pack requires you to use the advanced crafting table or the elite crafting table. Like the advanced crafting table, it's 261 pages of recipes because all of the stuff, every machine is an advanced crafting. Like it's crazy, but it's also been a lot of fun. That's what I mean. Like there's, there's parts of it that are like, this is trolley, but at the same time, like I'm now at the point where I can make harvesters because all the individual components are automated. So I just request all these items from the system and then I handcraft the final piece. It took a long time to get to that point because like we're pushing 400 hours in this pack so far. Um, and I, most people are not going to play for 400 hours, but I think we completed E2E, including like all of the infinity ingots and, and all the singularities and stuff in just over 320 hours. Um, I think I'm still in the mid game for this pack. Like I haven't been to the moon yet. <laughs> this, I need to get it to Mars to to get to the next um, uh, the next level of ores. So to get vibranium, I need Mars Mars rig, Rigolith Rigolith, which is a tier or, a tier five or minor or level ninety five on Mars. I mean, there's a fair amount of it on Mars. But like we gotta get to Mars. <laughs> so <laughs> So I'm like that's a gate that is I'm like that's a hard gate. Cause Mars, I'm pretty sure I have to go to the moon first, then I need to find the pattern, then I need to make a tier two a tier two um rocket. Uh tier two rocket? Where's the tier two rocket? Rocket. Rocket. So a tier tier two rocket. Like even that is crazy. Shock absorbers. So I need to automate Mirren before I can make those. I have not automated Mirren. T2 access card. So I actually need to find the, the pattern and then that turns into eight, which is, that's okay. It's not terrible. Uh, heavy duty plates require Naquita alloy. So Naquita, you've got to mine on the moon, I'm guessing, because I have not found Naquita yet. Heavy duty plates, compressed titanium, compressed aluminium, and compressed meteoric iron. Wow, for one? Oh. See, this, that's trolly to me. <laughs> will we do it? Absolutely, we will get there. But like I said, I think, I, I think we've got a long way to go. 
but I am enjoying it, you know, like, I don't know how many people finish Dungeon Dragons and Spaceships. I know a lot of people start it and get overwhelmed and then bail, um, which I completely understand, you know, but you see stuff like this and it's like, oh, okay, this is a better recipe. Okay, so once we, once we make the first ones and we can get to the moon so that we can make the master assembly, then we get four rather than just two. Uh, but that still requires boosting mixture. So we get two. Yeah, it's going to be a process. There's definitely going to be a process. That's the normal recipe. So some recipes are normal. That's normal. Steel, aluminium, and bronze for the heavy duty plates. That's cool. Sin gas is going to be a whole thing though. Because to make sin gas, we need a gas purifier. We need raw sin gas, which is from coal and water, plus sulfur. No, that's produces sulfur and tar. Yeah, so coal and water to make raw sin gas. Coal slurry. There's water and cracked coal. Cracked coal is blocks of coal with crushing gears. Like, so that's going to be like a six or seven machine kind of process to make cracked coal or to make Syngas so that we can run the master assembler. But we can't make the master assembler yet because that requires... Um, requires a block of Naquita, which I'm guessing I can get in the moon. Oh, and it also needs solid meteoric iron, which I can get on the moon. Mm-hmm. 100%. 100%. This pack, not for the faint of heart. Uh, <laughs> uh dear. <laughs> uh, but I think that's, I th that's what I mean. Like, it's, it's, this has given me a very long-term challenging thing to pass the time while we're all locked in our houses. You know, that's, it hasn't all been terrible. Um, and like I said, because we've got to the point where we've got a lot of stuff automated, um, we can, we can, uh, we can get there, you know? Would, would I still be playing this pack if maybe leaving the house a little bit more often was a thing? Eh, probably, but it would probably, I probably wouldn't be as far as I am, you know? Um, it's definitely been a journey. That is for sure. Uh, okay. So what I want to do, spark, 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 and then we want to set this spark to be recessive. So that it does exactly that. That is exactly what I wanted it to do. Cool. And then I just need to make another mana spreader to refill that mana pool. Okay, cool. And then we can put sparks on these. So that these all fill up, but that's now empty, I guess. Okay, so I don't actually need this mana spreader anymore because that's now gonna fill up with that. So then I can use this minus spreader here. Uh, which is then going to hook that one up to there. Perfect. Okay. So now that's mana automated for our portal. So what that's doing is mana coming into this particular mana pool will spread between this one, this one, and this one. Well, it actually will spread between anything with a spark on it. So we'll now build a bigger mana pool base here. Um, and then these mana spreaders are sending up to the mana pool above, which will keep these full. Okay, so now we need to automate the mana glass and the mana diamonds and the mana pearls and anything else that I need to throw mana. But it's quarter past 12, so we're gonna take a short break for some lunch. Normally we break for like 15 minutes or so. Um, 
so that we can eat, stretch our legs, go tell our loved ones that we're still alive and that we love them. Um, and get some food in your bellies and all that kind of jazz. So we'll be back in like 15 minutes, maybe 20. Depends on how long I need to stretch my legs for and what I find in the cupboard for lunch. Um, and then we will uh, continue with automating our Batania. We'll probably get um, some more endo flames set up and hook these up so they're always running. Um, and then we will probably want to upgrade all this stuff to use Dreamwood and stuff. Because uh, that will just run that little bit faster. Um, but we will grab some lunch and we will be back in about 15 minutes. Talk to you soon.
Yo, yo, yo. Okay. I got food in my belly. I stretched. I have more caffeine. I mean, really, what more could I ask for? Also, I didn't die. It's always a positive. Never know. Never know when you walk away from your computer. Especially because... Sure. Uh, I guess those quests reset. Um, especially because... I set this up and walked away. Which is probably a terrible idea. Uh, okay, let's make ourselves... I want to do some more mana pools first. So, let's go... Let's go one, two, three, four... Yeah, see, those are feeding automatically, which is what I want. It's exactly what I want it to do. Actually, that's a question. Do Sparks have a loss? Because I know the Mana Spreaders have a loss. But do Sparks have a loss? Like, is that, like, at its maximum range kind of thing? Hmm. Interesting. Uh, okay, so if we want to do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine... 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 14 more mana pools, I think is what I want. Because I want this whole middle section to be full. And then all of these kind of feed into this one. And we'll put recessives on all four of these. It's kind of the plan. Yeah, okay, so let's make another 14 mana pools. 15, because we need one for the automation for the, um, all the bits. Cool. Let's do it. Also, I believe I saw something in the Discord. Oh my goodness. Taiko. Crazy build looks freaking amazing. Love it. Absolutely love it. That is so cool. So cool. Don't know what I'm talking about. Check out the uh, Minecraft channel on the Discord. Teko is posting the work that they are working on, and it is amazing. Amazing. Very, very talented builder. And the first sub to get on the Christmas tree this year, which is awesome. Okay, so let's make 15 mana pools. How bad is that going to be? We've got one, so let's make 14 mana pools. Uh, oh, super easy. Super, super easy. Uh, what am I doing? Living wood. Living rock, even. Silicone. Let's craft up. So, what, 14 times 3? Really wish that worked. 42. 42 of those suckers. And then... Uh, brick. I need like half of that. 28. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Waiting for these to craft. And then we're going to want a whole lot of sparks. So the whole thing kind of keeps itself balanced. Uh, mana pool. Do I have you here anywhere? Doesn't look like I do. Mana pool. Perfect. 15. That's what I wanted. Uh, okay, so then sparks. What do I have the most petals of? Do I have those? I don't have those set to auto craft. Can I make them auto craft? I think I can if we do this. Let's go. Processing off. So you become that. And I can make you from that. I have lots of essence. Lots of essence. Where's our mystical? 
three and a half thousand. So yeah, I think we're I think we're good. So let's make some white petals. It's like two stacks. Sure. Um, okay, and then what we want is do, 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 do. spark. Uh, I need blaze. Make like two stacks of blaze as well. Okay, so I said I wanted, well, I want at least 15. Because I think all the, um, actually, I don't think the one, let's make like 24. And can I make some more recessives? I can make one. How bad is another? Uh, no, one will do for now. We'll do that for now. Okay, so... Mm, yeah, no, one thing at a time. I know it's going to be a bit of running and backs and forwards, but, like, it's fine. I want to get the actual mana production happening first, and then we will upgrade that to automatically producing the items we need. Okay, so... Basically, the plan is to have, like, a giant mana battery here. Capable of storing a very large amount of mana. Good morning, Potox! How are you? How are you? I hope you're well. And then we're going to hook up all of these to Sparks so that they fill. How goes the um, tank grind event? Are you getting all the bits? Do all of these have... How am I going to tell? Stuck at work? Oh no. That's not fun. Okay, it looks like they're all got a spark on them. I think they've all got a spark on them. And then I'm going to chuck another org on this one. And then when we get a third one, we'll stick it there. Okay, this is going to make for a lot. Uh, maybe 50%. I mean, that's not terrible. How much, but how much is that going to cost then? Is that going to cost you like 20 bucks or something? Or like $8? Or like $60? Hopefully it's not like $60. Okay. That works. <laughs> you get that episode for me. Yep. I get it. I understand. I understand. Totally makes sense. How much will it cost you then? Like if you can get it at 50% off. Isn't it still going to set you back like big bucks or 60 full price? I mean, that's pretty expensive. But I guess in the scheme of things, it's probably probably okay but I understand why you'd wanted to get it as cheap as you possibly can because it's only one tank right but I guess if it's a really good tank totally worth it um okay so yep yep this works uh, okay so what we want to do we want to hook these guys in You'll add it to your collection. <laughs> uh, could it be a dud? Has anyone got it? Oh, I guess you said people were buying it like straight up. So like surely it's not terrible, right? Right? <laughs> Hope. Uh, one. I wonder if I can connect that to there. Hmm. Okay, we need to produce a lot more mana. So let's uh, grab some cable, some exporters. I want to grab some more endo flames. And we're going to want some more spreaders. Now, do I need... 
I, okay, so I don't need the existing spreader to make the, the Dreamwood spreader. Ooh, that's an expensive recipe. Okay. Um, so the Elven spreader. I might just make these. Magenta laser lens. That's fine. Okay. 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 I think we can do this. New tanks every year. Is it just like, so, so I'm, is the new tanks release like the D, like a DLC or is it new? Um, is it new? Um, like new maps as well, or are the tanks kind of the focus? And PC's running great with the, with the new GPU and more RAM. Oh, yeah, 32 gigs RAM. Like that is absolutely thing. That's the first thing I did. So I bought like a, a pre-made computer. Uh, the first thing I did though, was I put a second NVMe drive in it for recording to, because um, I also record while I'm live streaming. So I've got all the footage backed up. Um, and I upgraded to 30, 32 gig of RAM. Uh, and I got faster RAM because the RAM I had in the pre-built, I think was only, is it 2440 or something? And I upped it to 3200, um, which is a big jump. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. Oh, I forgot it was a free game. I wouldn't be any good at it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not very good at those kinds of games. Um, okay. Yeah, let's do this. Let's let's get some some automation happening. So let us get. We got elevators, Potox. We got elevators. So very exciting. Oh. Shenanigans. How oh, he poisoned me. Rude. Okay, let's uh let's get let's get some stuff happening. So if I want to make another 16 endo flames, I want some exporters. Let's look at our coal production uh levels. Let's put that away, let's put that away, let's put that away. Ooh, nice. All right, you were saying that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that's gonna be sweet. Yeah, yeah, you know what? If I, well, I, I think if I, if I had the ability to buy like a better PC, which I'm, I'm like, I'm okay with mine. What have I got? I've got, an i7-97K uh, and I'm running a RTX 2060 Super and I've got 32 gig of it doesn't really show doesn't show the RAM I've got 10 gig assigned to Minecraft but I'm running 32 gig of RAM um, but if I if I if I was able to buy a second computer I don't know if I'd go to like a two PC setup um, like, like one for streaming, one for the gaming, just so there's n none of that shenanigans. Um, that comes with other complexities, so maybe not. Um, but yeah, I would, I'd probably give my old computer to my nephew or my, all my nephews, actually, they have to fight over it, uh, <laughs> before, before they, uh, before doing anything else with it. Cause it's a good little computer. I mean, it's, it's lasted us a whole year now. Cause like, this is about when I got it. Actually, I think it was this weekend last year was when I got this computer. Yeah. Yeah. I'm using, I'm using an old laptop to run the server for this, but it's only running like command line. That's true. Cause you've already got two pieces in the computer, in the office. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think I would need two PCs. I think if even if I just got a gruntier, like, main PC, it would be fine. I know there are definitely some advantages of having two PCs, but, um... 
yeah, that would just require more effort. More effort. Coal. So I got 16,000 coal. Before I... How many coal... Coal do we have? Three desktops? Well, that's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Coal seeds. Okay, we have a full row of coal seeds. Okay. So let's see. I think you don't get a lot of coal from coal essence. But I've already got that automated. Have I? Yes. Okay. So... Oh my goodness. Yeah, actually, that's true. That's true. Yeah, that's good enough reason to stick with one. <laughs> okay. So. The most an endo flame can take is four times a block of coal. So, the block of Prudentium is the best we could do. In terms of, like, efficiency, it's also probably the best we can do. But Prudentium... Let's have a look at, at Mystical Essence. Hmm. So, I need to set up some auto-crafting so that Supremium automatically crafts from the Inferium so the rest can be done because we're about to run out of Supremium again. What does a crafter look at like? Uh, I think I need a tier 3. 8 recipes, 4 recipes. Yeah, I think I need a tier 3. That's totally doable. Ooh, yeah. I mean, can I make an EX2000? I've got an EX2000. I can make a, a tier three crafter. Can I make a tier two crafter? Yeah. Yeah. I feel like this is a good investment. And then what we can do is we can export all the Inferium. Uh, if we export all the Inferium, maybe we can do like a, if more than yeah, we can we will we can make a, another monitor, and we can say if you got more than like ten thousand Inferium, export it and turn it into Supremium. So that way we will always have a buffer of Inferium in the system, but then we'll have plenty of the others. That's what we'll do. We'll do that, and then we will use the Prudentium blocks as our um, fuel source for the endo flames. Yes, that'll work. That'll work a charm. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. These are the plans. Uh, okay, so let's do. Uh, let's do another monitor. I should really. Really should no, not monitor. What was it called? Uh, at refined, what was it called? It was this thing, detector. Let's bookmark that. Let's craft another one of these. Oh, no, I don't need to craft it. Detector, because it can auto craft it. One of you, please. And then... Okay, that'll craft. So let's make a crafter. Let's bookmark all of these. Just make this a little bit easier. Okay, T1. Inva, motor and circuit. Circuit. Whoops, wrong one. I only need one. Never mind. Cancel. One crafting bench to a U glass 
and a chest, a motor and bronze gears. I need the invar plates. 16 of you. Bronze. I said bronze gears, didn't I? Bronze gears. Interesting. Okay. And then a motor. What's holding up? Oh, how many eggs do I have? 142. Sweet. I can make some food. I've been, I bet I, I set up, um, I guess it's something I forgot to show this morning. I set up. So this, this little, where we didn't have room to fit a whole room. I'm actually going to do this as a staircase down and do a second floor underneath this, I think. But I set up, um, ground traps where I'm exporting, um, grain bait to, which apparently we seem to be low on something. Um, and using that to collect eggs and meat. Um, so I'm, I'm getting up to being able to automate making the footlong sandwiches so that we've got a better source of food than our terrible baked potatoes because I know you all are sick of the baked potatoes because I know I'm sick of the baked potatoes. <laughs> Ugh, so terrible. Okay, two bronze gears. Inva, let's grab all you. Is that all of it? Nope, a chest. Missing a chest. Uh, but yeah, so that'll be happening. That'll be happening in the near future. Okay, crafter T1. Is that a quest? It's not, but that's okay. Crafter T2. Alumite plates. Microchip T2 and S1000. Okay. So two circuits. S100, thousand even. Uh, oh, you might, how many do I need? Need eight and eight steel. Eight steel. And then glass, Osram, and a tier two microchip. Micro tier two. Got the glass. What was the other thing I said? Oh god. Osram. Oof. We are low on Osram. Uh, okay, so I just need the plates. That's it. Tier two. Tier two crafter. Boom. Then tier three. You require Osgo glass plates and elite control circuits and a microchip tier three and my EX2000 and hardened glass. Okay, this is a little expensive, but it's going to be worth it. Right? Right? EX. Uh, elite. Because I've got, I've got the automation of Iridium done. So yeah, no, it's totally fine. I mean, it's expensive, but it's totally fine. We did automate Iridium, didn't we? I think we did. I want to say we did. Right, that's what this is making. This is making Iridium. No. Yes. Yes. Okay, yeah, we've automated Iridium. That's fine. We can make as many elite circuits as we require. Okay. Um, oh, we need Osgo glass. Make eight of these. And I guess I need another eight steel. Yeah. Should have seen that one coming and done that before, but it's fine. Uh, 
I'll cancel that. Okay. I think that I think that got stuck because I used the string. Because now, see, it's flickering, so it's, it just runs faster. I think it got busted because I used up the string. Yeah, because, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, so, let's go glass. Let's go make this into plates. And we'll grab our steel plates. Plates. Uh, is it just that that I'm missing, the Oscar glass? No, all the things. I also need Trishonite ingots and a microchip tier 3. Tier 3 microchip. The other hardened glass. The circuits. The Tritonite. And the Osgo glass. And that is our tier three crafter. Boom. Okay, cool. So let's grab our master infusion crystal. And we probably want an exporter. And we want the detector that we crafted. We're gonna want some cable and some power. Nope. Hard and flux duct. And then I guess importer? For the final product? Yeah. Uh, where are we going to stick this? RF tools. I don't really have room for RF tools stuff. I might stick it over here though. Because it's like an automated thing that's just going to run. And like I've got this one here in the wall. I might stick this one here in the wall. I think that'll work. Yeah. Okay. Cables. Boom, boom. Put the crafter at like eye level. Need a shovel. Okay, so we're going to export uh, I don't know if that's gonna do weird things. Is there I don't know if there's a need to disconnect that or if you can disconnect that. I need inferium. Inferium. Okay, so you're gonna live there. You're gonna live there. I need. So we're gonna say if this is greater than ten thousand, sure. Greater than 10,000, we got a redstone signal. And I say this is export Inferium when it's got a redstone signal. Cool. I say first recipe is gonna be Prudentium. We're gonna do this. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna say use that. And this is going to be. Uh, all results will go into the input buffer. Apply. And this next one is going to be intermedium. Again, use the master. All internal apply. Then super superium. This one, 
master stone, all internal apply. So basically we, we're just gonna upscale anything that we get in the system, right? Um, and then Supremium, we're only gonna go as high as Supremium. If we need Insanium, we'll craft that manually. And so that's gonna go to external, but the Infusion Crystal will go back to internal. Apply. Oh, sorry, I really only needed a four? <sighs> is what it is, doesn't matter. Um, Okay, so then I need this to be on to activate for a second. We need to put some power in place. Oh, this way. Hello? I need to turn my magnet back on, but where we're working with mana. Let's we'll do this, so I'm on this side of this. Okay, so you're now got power. Cool. So what I would like to do... Yeah, no, I think I'm just gonna turn this on. This is premium, intermedium. That one, and that one. Let's do that. If I only put one in a stack, does it only allow me to, does it only allow it to hold one or does it hold as many as in the... And then we'll just say the rest of this is... this right remember turn you on no okay so it holds as many as it will fit sweet 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 okay so we can make this run faster by putting um stack or speed upgrades on the on the um what's his name brain stopped working Exporter, which we might do, uh, but let's just hook that in so it imports the Supremium. It's such a weird block. Uh, okay, cool. And that should now be importing. Perfect. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, so let's put some upgrades on that so it runs a little bit faster. Uh, stack. Let's grab a stack upgrade so it does stacks at a time. And then speed as well, I think is probably a good idea. Just make it go all in. Because we certainly have the power throughput for it. And that'll just mean that as much as possible, our, um, our Inferium gets turned into Supremium. And then from there, we can turn it back to what we need for the automation for the fuel for the endo flames perfect that'll work well um speed and stack hello why are you so slow what is it crafting oh yeah that's what it's crafting i really i need to increase the um the speed at which i cook things that is the slow part of this. One more. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I don't know if I need stack and speed on the importers. Maybe. Hmm. I guess we'll find out. The, the return for the investment is so... Like, yeah, we're only getting one. Put it in fast mode. We seem to be able to keep up with the power. If 
Okay. That works. Oops, I put away the bricks. Now, I will warn you that some of those, sometimes the crafter can cause a bit of lag. But it's, pro it's not going to be running all the time, so I guess we'll see. And we'll get some, we'll get some facades for all this stuff later. Uh, actually, uh, maybe I will. I don't know. But that seems to be keeping up. And it should stop running when we get down to 10,000 inferior. Which should be great. Okay, so now let's grab some of these Prudentium blocks. We'll grab some exporters. Grab two of these. And then we want to make endo flames. Uh, how bad's this recipe? Totally not terrible. Okay, 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 okay. Um, do we want to build... I feel like I want to do... The mana spreaders though, as well. So iron promise acceptors, we can probably do a few of these. Okay, let's grab enough to make, let's see if we can make four. I don't know if we'll be able to make four. We might not have enough blood. But we'll try it, we'll try it. I don't know, actually I think we do, because I think it's 10,000 for each. We should also make the, the next tier of this. Okay, that's going to take a hot second, so I'll let that run. Get our food in our belly. And then we're going to need... So we'll need Inferium. Is it Inferium Coal for Endo Flames? Or was it just blocks of Inferium? Inferium Essence and Inferium Coal. Okay. So both. Um, so we needed... Let's run up there for a second and let's rejig this. Make sure we're making the right numbers. Because as much as the lava definitely helps, it's not super fast because of the like, the slow tick between runs, whereas these will run constantly. So if I rejig this, where's the, can I make the eyeglass? I sure can. Let's make the eyeglass because Hello? Hello. Nope. What's it called? Monocle? Monocle? This is what we want. We want one of these. Mana Seer Monocle. This will allow us to see... Uh, there. This will allow us to see the range of things. This is very helpful when planning your... Britannia builds. I guess I could look it up to find out the ranges, but like this will just give us a nice little overlay in the world. So I think this would be good. Okay. So, oh, okay. They pick up from quite a range, three blocks away. Cool. So I don't need two of these here. I could get away with just one. Okay. So let's, uh, let's rejig this. Let's, Pick these up. Apologies for the flickering. Maybe I should take that off. 
Okay, so we're going to do this. We're going to move this so that he's there. And you on top. And then this one we'll put on the other side. So then, so with the range on that, I should have brought dirt with me. So essentially we could go like this whole area could be dirt. I should really turn back on my magnet. Hey Coco, how you doing? How is Saturday treating you? I hope it is well, and thank you for the follow. Welcome to the pack. How's your Saturday going? Is it Saturday or is it Sunday? It could still, it could be Sunday. We're starting to get to that time of the day where it could be the next day for you. Depending on what part of the world you're in. Still Saturday? Nice. I love that. Even when JC's lurking, because he's working, he's able to jump in and still say hi. Feels like a Monday Botox. No! <laughs> Just after 12? Oh, nice. East Coast. I like it. I like it. It's just after 1 for me. So, we've been going. That's for sure. Okay, so... If we do this... Then I guess we could go one more out because they go three blocks. I just don't know if that's going to be... I guess it'll depend. Okay, so let's go grab a whole lot of dirt. We'll do the same on this side. Did we make dark spots? I guess we can't tell. Yeah, we definitely made dark spots. Uh, nope, not that far. Not that far. We went too far. I'll get some more. Um, yes. 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 Yes, this is all makes sense to my head. Let's grab some resources. Dirt. We'll grab some eco just to fill in the holes we made. And then, did I get my exporters? I did. Grab the cables. See how many dark spots we made in here now the sun's actually going down. Because I don't want dark spots in here, because that would be terrible. Yeah, okay. So let's start off by filling in what we're going to fill in with dirt. So we know where the actual dark spots are. No, that was too far, right? We're not coming across this far. Yeah, because that would be out of range. That would be out of range. So we'll fill in that one and that one. This one will be dirt. Nice. I enjoy a good chill Saturday. It's definitely my preference. I mean, I enjoy a chill day every day. <laughs> like, <laughs> if we can have a chill day every day, that would be a good thing. Okay, so we have definitely got some lighting problems. Guess I can solve that just with some torches for now. I 
And if need be, we can put um, some glow set in the walls. Yeah. Okay, so with our endo flame stack, how many are we going to need to make? Uh, let's break that for a second. Let's break this and this. And we'll stick... So I think we can go six blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So I think we can do this, right? We can put that one there. And that will still pick up. Everyone must have a very chill day on the December 18th. I will do my best to have a chill day on the 18th. What day of the week is the 18th? Because depending on what day of the week it is, will dictate how chill I can be. What day of the week is December the 18th? Calendar. Oh, it's a Friday. It will be a very chill day. Fridays are always chill days. Because it's the end of the week. And that's a great thing. Okay, you go on there, and you need to face the right direction, because that is not the right direction. Okay. So you are going to point to... Well, that's the best day of the week to have a birthday, isn't it? Okay, let's see if all of these reach. Do you reach? I hope you reach. It does reach. Okay. Does this one reach? Yep. Okay. Mm, I'm confused, Coco. Okay, I think this will be okay. So we're going to need to make like a lot more. And we're going to need to upgrade these because these are not going to reach. Like they're not going to be able to keep up with this many endo flames. Like not even close. But that's okay. We'll upgrade to the, uh, oops, the higher tier one and it'll be okay. That one's hooked up, that one's hooked up, and that one's hooked up. Okay. Cool. So then if we go, let's go here and we'll run a line down underneath. Oh, I mean, that seems very not cool. And that's something that's very out of your control, unfortunately, as well. Ah! Almost fell down. Well, hopefully that doesn't happen this year. We've had enough uh, loss of loved ones this year, that's for sure. Okay. Hook that up there. And this is where I need to shut off my magnet again. This is why I had the magnet turned off. Because... You just... Pick up all the things you don't want to. Okay. Cool. So that is now running. Let's see how badly that's not keeping up. Yeah, let's keep it up for now. See at what point it chokes. Or if it's able to keep up with all those endo flames. Keeping up so far. Let's 
starting to struggle a little. Nope, can't keep up now. So, I mean, that's not terrible, but we definitely need to go to the higher tier mana spreader. But that's okay. Okay, we'll do the same thing on this side. Um, and hopefully, oops, too far. And then we'll work out how many endo flames we need to make, which is a lot by the looks of it. Uh, I'm not going to hook that up just yet. Also, I did not program that. Dang it. Can I reach? I can reach. Uh, I'm going to need a crafting card in there. Damn. Okay. We'll have to break that anyway. Uh, let's not replace that yet. So, I need... Um, what? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, 15, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34. And then on this side... 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43. Oof, I maybe I'm overdoing this. 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52. And another 52 endo flames? Ooh. Oh, really? I uh, don't know what the version numbers are on Minecraft for PS4. I don't play it on the PS4. I only play this one. Okay. 52 endo flames. Um, that's a lot of endo flames, folks. So. Oh, it's the same. Okay, so it's the same numbers as the PC. And then they were probably lying. People tend to do that. Shenanigans and all that jazz. Make two crafting cards while we're here. So then it will auto craft the Inferium as it needs it. Okay. And then, sorry, Prudentium. Uh, coal. I need the coal. Okay. So I've got 32. I need to get this to 52. And then we're gonna need essence. Yeah, I think they're I think they're all the same on um on bedrock. I think they're all the same version. And PlayStation plays the, the bedrock version. Okay, so we've got less than ten thousand. Did our automation stop? Let's double check. Looks like it. Cool, cool. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay, so we got that. We've got our Inferium. We've got our 52 of those. Then. Yeah. Java's 116.4, I think, uh, but I'm playing an older version because modded Minecraft needs a slightly older version. 116, the mods are not quite updated for yet, so we're not quite there. But one day, one day we'll get to 116. Endo flame. So I need 52 prosperity shards, 52 brown, 52 red, and 52 light gray. I've definitely got 52 of those. Light gray. I don't have 52 light gray, but we can make 52 light gray. Depending on how you want to spell gray. My goodness. Oops, no, just normal ones, please. And what I say, brown. 
Juicy Drew Brown. No, not total mystical, normal mystical. Convert those into petals. Okay, Fuji Brown, and then I needed Prudentium. No, I need Prosperity Shards. And Seeds. Just a little bit of crafting required here. Mm -hmm. That seems pretty reasonable. Okay, let's put that away for now. Put them away. Put them away. I need that. Okay, uh, I need a bucket. Bucket. Let's make endo flames. A lot of endo flames. At least we can. Uh, let's take that off there. So one, 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 one. Yes, one. So we can do this. We can go like that, like that, like that. And we should put that there. So we can do that. That, 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 that. Little bit of a process, but it's totally fine. We can do it. This won't take long at all. Right? Right? Okay, if I put these in like a sequence, maybe that'll be easier. Oh, that's exactly the same sequence, just backwards. Oh, you know what? I put that in the middle. That'll make more sense. So then we go boom, boom, boom. 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 Right? Boom. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. Kind of. Maybe. I don't know anymore. <laughs> it's fine. Everything's fine. Everything is just fine. Ah, wrong button. This is requires way too much concentration for a Saturday afternoon. I'm just saying. Nope, wrong thing. That one, that one, that one. That one, that one, that one, that one. That one. That one. Oh man. There's clicking and scrolling and dropping and Miss. I think that's, I think that's probably tied to the relevant stores. Cause like to play on Xbox Live, you have to have an Xbox Live account to play on the PlayStation network. You've got to have a a, P a PlayStation Plus account, that kind of stuff. But I thought, didn't Minecraft um, get whitelisted for that? Because I think Fortnite's whitelisted for that. I thought Minecraft was as well. But I guess it just depends on if you're playing online or not. If you're not playing online, then you don't have to pay extra. Almost there, folks. We need all of the mana, and this is the simplest way of getting it. Not the most efficient, but definitely the simplest. Oh yeah, you gotta have a Microsoft account to play Minecraft. 
that is still a thing. Yeah. Okay. Almost there. Wrong button. Five more to go. Four. No. Three. Two. One. Features your endo flames. Beautiful. Um, I just remembered that there was stuff here that I probably should take out of here and put in the main system. Because there it's not useful to anybody. And I'll forget that it's there. I'm going to leave that petal of peckle theory there for now. Just because this is the only main source of water I've got. We'll get back, Pyro. One pack loaded and a hot pocket later. Hot pocket? I like it. I like it. Um... Let's put these in here for now. Let's go hook all of these endo flames up. And now we will have more mana than we know what to do with, but that is okay. Because we will find a use. Okay. So, ooh, hmm, how do I feel about the grass? Um, we'll keep it, we'll keep it. In fact, we will transplant it over to the other side, so we got grass on both sides. You go there. Dirt goes back here okay let's hook up this first so uh we'll put our crafting card in there uh i didn't bring the cables hang on we need cables try that again Now this, the, I will say one thing about um, this automation is this is not as efficient as the the lava because when the lava is full, it stops running. Whereas this will stop running, but it will still also um, output a a like a prudentium that will sit there right and that'll despawn after five minutes then another one will be output and so on and so on so there'll be a little bit of waste doing it this way but i think we have enough throughput between our farms that i'm not really gonna notice it too much i hope mm, we might it might it might become a thing and if it does become a thing then we'll we'll address it then Okay, so you're going to there. Okay, now we just need endo flames for days. And we need to hook them all up to the right spreader. Which we're going to have to replace these spreaders as well. But we'll get to that a little bit later. Um, do I care if those are connected up there? I don't... Mm, for right now, I don't think I care. So let's put these ones over here. Cool. I can count correctly, at least. Uh, we need to pop down here for a second. And... Get this one set up. Whoop. 
put the crafting card in there so it auto crafts that. Okay, and then we need to fill in these holes. We want to put a proper floor material in here eventually, but for right now, it's fine. Okay, that should be a lot of mana production happening, right? Is there... Ooh. Oh no, they're still lighting up. Some of these are not lit up. Why aren't these ones lit up? Oh, because you're full of mana still. Okay. Yeah, so this is where I need to upgrade these two mana spreaders to the higher tier. Okay. That's cool. But now we have a lot of mana production happening. So, while that's happening, let's make the Dreamwood mana spreaders because they'll be able to keep up better with what's going on around here. So, uh, actually, before we do that, let's quickly go and check how much blood we've got left. Otherwise, we may not have enough to run mana, uh, run lava production. Pretty sure we're going to be running low. Oh yeah, we're running low. How low are we running? Like, are we about to start taking damage low? Is that how low we got? Uh, not too bad. Not too bad. Let's get that sorted. Yeah, Batania is a really... I, between Batania and Astral Sorcery, I really enjoy the mechanics and the animations and all of the models and, and particle effects are really cool. Refill our life network. Hmm. Yeah. Yep. My nephew's the same. He would rather play modded Minecraft, but you don't get that on Bedrock. And to be fair, modded Minecraft's pretty complicated in most cases. So he's probably got a couple more years before he gets too far into it. Okay, how... Okay, it's going up, but it's still going to take a little while. Pyro, what kind of hot pocket did you have? Because it's been a long time since I've had a hot pocket. If I remember right, you get different fillings for Hot Pockets, right? These are important questions for important times. <laughs> okay. So this is... So we're using the Blood Altar to produce the lava that the... Um, the Endo Flames... Not the Endo Flames, the Thermal Lilies in the Batania setup are using to make mana. So I'm just making sure we've got enough buffer here for a little bit. Um, so we can finish setting up that automation up there. Because we're not quite ready to automate the blood production for the... For the blood altar just yet. Meatballs in it? Nice. Mm, yep. Twilight... Twilight Forest is one of my favorite mods. I mean, I've got a lot of favorite mods. Let's be real. Pretty much all the mods are cool. Um, because the people have just put in so much effort to make something interesting and custom. And yeah, I appreciate all the work that goes into modern Minecraft. Full show. 10 years since you had Hot Pocket? Man, I don't... Yeah, it's probably been the same. It's probably since I was in college, right? 
I would say it's probably been since I was in college that I've had a hot pocket. Don't get me wrong. I still eat plenty of hot pocket like items. Uh, maybe not. But like those instant convenient chuck it in the oven type foods. Like I'm a sucker for tater tots. I can eat so many tater tots. Like so many. <laughs> uh, definitely one of my guilty pleasures. Uh, what? Coco, that sounds terrible. Terrible. I don't know what I could do with if I didn't eat pizza. Ooh, that reminds me. What are we having for supper, folks? It feels like a pizza kind of day. Because it's cold and wet and miserable outside. So it's definitely the kind of day where we should eat takeaway for supper. Which, Potox, by the way, barbecue looked amazing. What even was happening there? So many layers of delicious. Oh, you can't have the red sauce? Okay. You allergic to tomatoes or something? I know a lot of people who can't eat uh, tomatoes. Ham and cheese? Oh, ham and cheese hot pockets? See that? I would be down with that. I love like a ham and cheese toasted sandwich and imagine a ham and cheese Hot Pocket would be very similar. It was a great... Uh, I love that that barbecue looked amazing, Potox. Looked amazing. Something you're allergic to? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yep. I know people who definitely cannot eat. Um, like, tomatoes and onions don't agree with them. And, like, peppers don't agree with them. So, like, most red sauces just make them feel quite unwell. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I, 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 like, looking at the spread of different meat on that barbecue products, I was like, this man knows how to barbecue. You know, like, he's not messing around. I appreciate these things. <laughs> okay, so there we go. We've got blood back at our network. So we're good for a while there. Uh, we've got our endo flame set up, but we want to do... We want to do... Okay, so we want to do a... Dreamwood Mana Spreader, right? So let's get this happening. Mana Spreader. We want two of these. Two... Uh, oops. <sighs> Fine storage. Why are you going to do me like that? Mana Spreader. Hey. I'd be pretty sad if I couldn't eat tomatoes. I'd be pretty sad. Uh, okay, so we need eight Elementium. Elementium, we've got three. Let's grab another five. So I've dinner night with friends and watch Mandalorian. I love it. Okay, okay. I can see how that would work. I think that's something as well. Like, pizza can work in so many different ways. Because really, it's it's like, it's bread and toppings, right? So, like, you can mix it up in all kinds of different ways. And it just works. And I love that. Love it. Okay, let's put these in the wall real quick. And pull them back out again. Okay, so then I need... Oh, the Iron Promise Acceptors. Right, we were making those. I hope that they stack. <laughs> really hope that they stack. They did! And we got all the eight. Oh, we're gonna make eight? Okay, I mean, I can do that. I think. Maybe. Oh, was that barbecue at, at your... Oh, sorry, that, so that was for you. Oh, okay, that was for you guys. And then they're doing next week. Cool, 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 cool. That makes sense, that makes sense. 
Uh, I want another eight elementium. So you've set the bar like really high then, Protox. Is that so that you can get like a good return next time? <laughs> Okay, that makes sense. Okay, let's make some lenses. Do I have... I don't, but I do have... Plenty of these. So let's grab these. Uh, lens. Let's teach it how to make just the basic lens that we can then color. Do you know how to make white stained glass? I mean, I've got 62, that's fine. I'm not gonna teach you how to make white stained glass. We can craft more when we need to later. You've been doing it for months? Oh, okay, sweet, sweet, sweet. So what, so, so is it normally like barbecue and stuff or does it sometimes take away, sometimes like other stuff? Ooh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. How are the teeth? Is it all feeling better? Did you, did you get, um, the numbness, is that gone away or, or is that still an issue? Hopefully it's getting better. Because three weeks of no stick is heartbreaking. <laughs> nice, nice, Coco. Okay. Okay. Okay, so then I need four lenses. Four lenses. And eight Ignis ingots. Lens. Hello? Lens? There we go. Let's get eight lenses. And Ignis. Oh, I haven't taught the system how to make Ignis ingots? Okay. Ignites. Sorry, Ignites. Ignites this recipe. Thank you. And then tacos, lasagna, enchiladas. Ah, oh, man. I want a friend like that. Everybody, the only thing you should be eating. Ah, <laughs> uh, Podox. Okay, eight of those. Okay, oops. Uh, that and that and that and that. I need a hollow dream wood. So how much dream wood do we need? If we're gonna make four of these. Uh, 16, so I need a stack. Hello? One stack, please. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Oh, yeah, that's definitely not what Potox would be after. Nope. Nope, not at all. Oops, I need to turn these into magenta lenses. Uh, magenta dye, please. From this one. Then we do this one. One, two, three, four. And then we do this. One. Oops. Two. Three. It's a little bit expensive, but doable. Four. Okay, cool. So this should make our... This should make our uh, throughput a lot better. 
on the production side. Okay, so let's swap out these. How do I want to do this? Yeah, we're just gonna we're just gonna do it. Oops. Boom. Game, are you really gonna do me dirty like that? No, you didn't. Okay, sweet. I was about to get real, real not happy about it. Okay, so you're now going to there. And then we'll put this on you so you do things faster. See if you can keep up. Okay. It's not really keeping up. Which surprises me, to be honest. But I guess I am throwing a lot at it. So maybe we do need both? Hmm. Okay, so then my backup plan. I was always going to have these up here. So let's put the extra ones up here. I was going to replace these ones, but these seem to keep up. So then let's put that there. We'll put that up there and we will you to there. And then we will link half of these to this one. Just because I think that'll that'll make sense. Oh, that one's just going to go up there. That one to there. Depending on how much throughput you've got available, you may need to like adjust where things are connected to because they will automatically connect. Okay. Let's see if that's, there we go. So now we're getting the maximum throughput because this one's no longer full and this one's not ever filling up completely. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, and we'll do the same on this side. Pick out some fast food on the way home. <laughs> I mean, like I said, I'm definitely getting takeaway tonight. There is definitely going to be I'm feeling pizza in my future. I'm feeling pizza. I may get something else. I may get a burger, but I got a burger last week. So I feel like pizza might be the go for a Friday, for a Saturday. Okay. So let's chuck you there. Chuck you on there. And then point you to, did you point to there? Oops, hang on. You to there and you to there and then we link all these ones up to here. Grab a chick fig and nuggets, yep. Oh, I could do that too. I could get chicken fingers and fries. That'd be good. I'm, nah, I'm in the mood for burger. I'm Not burger, pizza. I'm in the mood for pizza. It's gonna be pizza night. Okay. And then this one should eventually catch up because these are all carrying the load. Not yet. Chili cheese fries again. Mm, 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 mm. Cookout? I've never heard of cookout. What kind of pizza will I get? Mm, good question. Good question. I mean... It's probably going to be like just the meat lovers. You know, nothing simple. Nothing too crazy. I feel like... 
Or, hmm. Yeah, it's probably just going to be meat lovers. Or it could be pepperoni. Sometimes simple, just simple pepperoni pizza, pizza hits the spot. Okay, let's make sure all these are connected. Uh, the cool thing as well with mana spreaders, if you replace the mana spreader with another mana spreader, you don't have to relink it because it actually links the the flower to the block. So if I upgrade that, I don't have to relink it. I can just pull that one out and replace it with a better one. Okay. So now I have... Oh, that doesn't have a lens on it. That's why it's not keeping up. I was like, what is going on? So I've got the these velocity potency lenses. So it transfers faster and it transfers more at once. Beef, black olive, garlic, parmesan sauce, thin crust. That sounds amazing. That does sound amazing. There we go. We caught up now. Okay. So that is mana production pretty automated. We're using coal and inferium. Well, we're using prudentium coal blocks with endo flames. And we're using thermal lilies with lava from... Um, Yeah. Um, lava from our blood magic ritual to do the thermal lilies. So our mana production is pretty solid now. So now it's just going to be a matter of filling up this backlog worth of pools and kind of going from there. It'd be probably good to get another, uh, another two disbursement. So I need to make another two, um, Another two earth runes. Make another two earth runes so we can get another two recessive um, upgrades for our sparks. And then we will set up the automation to make mana diamonds and mana pearls and mana steel. Maybe mana string. We're not going to use a lot of it, but probably wouldn't hurt to have it. Um, okay. So, what am I doing? I need... What did I come down here for? Dang it! My memory is garbage. I'm getting old. What was I just saying we were going to make? Um, earth runes. Earth runes. That's what it was. Okay, mana powder, mana steel. Mana powder, mana steel. I need two of these, so... Keep them on me. Put that stuff away now. How much coal do we have left after all that? Okay. Okay. Yeah, I don't think we're making enough Inferium. Should really go plant these extra seeds that we got. Let me just go chuck these up in the system. These were the seeds we collected yesterday when we were out and about. These are all tier twos. And some tier ones. We'll upgrade these at a later point in time. Cool. Okay. So then, earth runes. I need to eat. I need to eat. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, out of food. We're out of food. That's a problem. 
I don't really want to eat this meat because I want to use it for uh, footlong sandwiches. Actually, could I make some footlongs? Maybe I can make some footlongs. Did I bookmark that? I didn't. Mayo, because I've got the eggs now. I can make the the mayo. Yeah, let's do this. Now we got a hold of dough. We got flour. So that all makes just one. How? Can make dough real quick in one of those. Okay, water. Oops. No, salt. Grab a stack of salt. Grab some flour from here. Do I have a carpenter spare that's next to water? I don't think we do. Pretty sure the only one that's next to water is in use. It is, but we can replace this for just a second. Nothing to see here, folks. Oh wow, that's a really slow craft. Huh. I mean, sure. Okay, you make dough. While you're making dough, I will get some lettuce and tomato and eggs. Eggs, lettuce, tomato. Do we have any baguettes in here? No. Oh, I got a, a patient bag. Eventually it will open. Terrible. And then we've got, we can use cooked chicken. Cool. Okay, let's cook those up. And then boom, plus you, plus you, plus you. Oops, I need to make mayo first, hang on. Did I, where did I put the empty parts? We sure do. Which it should have come up. Oh, I guess you gotta say it when it's not part of a sentence. There you go. Um, pots. I made a whole stack of these. Okay. Let's do that and that. Really, do you need to? Oh, hang on. You probably need thingies. That. Okay. Mayo, chicken, lettuce, tomato. Baguette. Oop. Buffering. Buffering? I'm not getting drop frames, so I think it was just some weirdness. Cool, cool. Welcome, welcome. Bag it. Okay. Let's go repair these real quick so we don't break them. And get some real food. Real food. Oh, look at that. Eat one and it completely fills everything up. Folks, no longer do we need to suffer the indignity that is baked potatoes. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This has been easy to do baked potatoes. Now that we've got a constant supply of eggs, I can make, well, eggs and meat, we can make footlong sandwiches. Although I probably need to automate making the dough. So that's a little bit easier. Mm-hmm. 
it kind of goes with the icon. A little wolf pack. Okay. Uh, baguettes. I need the baguettes. Uh, dough. Man, that's such a slow process. Oh, you're a year of the wolf? Nice. Uh, oops, I gotta cook these. Gotta cook these first. Okay. This... Oh, have I not eaten a baguette yet? I should probably eat just a baguette on its own as well then. Let's do that. Okay, cool. Oops. So let's put those in there for now. And I'll put just the baguette on its own. Okay, so there's our food cover for the moment. So, we are going to... I need to remember that that dough is running, because that's going to take a little while. Uh, do we just make another carpenter so we can have dough happening all the time? I think that's probably a good idea. Um, yeah, yeah, let's do that. 30k. Slight detour from our automation, but... What's new? We do that kind of thing all the time. Um, I need... Oops, wrong button. Copper tank. Restonia gear, servo, motor. Advanced. Two of you. Servo. Motor. Restonia. Empowered Restonia gear, please. And then I need steel. I assume I need steel. Hang on, mental blanking for a second. Steel and empowered, yeah. So I actually want 16 of these. And then... Empowered Inori plates. Another six of those. <sighs> fine. Fine. I see how it is. It's fine. I do love the fur babies. I would love to get a dog myself. We will get there eventually. Not quite yet, but eventually. Maybe when, maybe when the world's a little less crazy and there's a little bit, ooh, it's a solar eclipse. World's a little less crazy and there's a little bit more money in the bank account. Uh, we'll definitely be getting a dog. Doggo. Hmm, cool. Welcome back, Jordy. You had a little nap? <laughs> uh, that was a little more than 20 minutes, dude. Like, what's up? <laughs> I be feeling better. I be feeling better. Just a little nap. I need two of those. So now let's try that again. Feeling refreshed? Nice. So we needed Empowered Denori, so I need another six of these. One more. One more. Come on! Oh, 
Oh man, I'm impatient. Have I finished the TB yet? No, no. TB, we still, I feel like we're still in the mid game. We haven't even been to space yet. Oh man, steel. We need special infuse as well. Get those crafting, because we need a crafter. Yeah, no, I, I feel like we're still in the in the mid game, TB. It's still a long way off. Uh, I need to make a tank. Copper. Glass. And I need hardened glass. I feel like I need one more hardened glass. Normal glass. I'm doing okay. You know, I'm doing okay. I got no complaints. You know, it's Saturday. We're playing some Minecraft, hanging out with a whole bunch of people. I mean... Really, what more could I ask for? Um, how about yourself? Are you doing well? You've been keeping busy? This pack is still kicking our butt, but we're slowly taking control. We're in the process of automating Britannia stuff to make things a little bit easier. Okay, is that all the bits? What am I missing? The 30Ks. Grab those. Okay. Hook you up. And then I need a crafter. So I need special infused. I need advanced. One of you. Two of you. Core. One of you, one of you, alloy, one of you, two of you, and what am I missing? Base. One of you. Crafter. Boom. Okay, let's get a pattern for dough. With that, and then we need to remove the water. Salt, flour, perfect. Ooh. Which Assassin's Creed are you playing? Or did you get the new Valhalla or are you playing Odyssey or... What's the other one that starts with O? Odyssey and I don't remember. Odyssey? Nice, nice, nice. Odyssey is the Origins. Right. So so Origins is Egypt. Odyssey was ancient Greece. Yeah? Right? I think that's right. Do I have a flour recipe? Don't. Let's make a flour recipe with potatoes. Sure. Right, yes, right. <laughs> it's tough. It's tough to keep them all organized because they're all... Okay, flour. Uh, because they're... Like, I don't know what... What, what, why, blah, 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 blah. what world did they think it made sense to name two sequential um, releases with an O, right? People's brains, they don't work well like that. Okay. So this is gonna be our dough maker. I need an importer. And then I need to put this recipe back. This was magic compound. Magic compound back to that recipe. Or is this your first Assassin's Creed? Nice. Chicken and chili cheese fries again. Now I have to smell it till I get home. <laughs> uh, that is the worst part. That is the worst part. I I played Assassin's Creed religiously 
up until the old England one. What was that? Um, what was the old England one? It was Syndicate. Syndicate was the first one that I didn't finish. Um, and I haven't played it since then because I don't want to continue the story until I finish Syndicate, right? So I've, they've kind of just been sitting there and I haven't finished them, which is, you know, it's a thing, <laughs> but you know, it is what it is. Um, I always enjoyed the behind the scenes story. Like I always wanted to know what the what the behind the scenes story was more than I cared about the the history story, right? The history story was really interesting, but it was like finding out what was happening next in the real time was the the bit that I was like, yeah, that would like this is this is this is cool. Um but yeah, I believe they kind of cut out a lot of the present day storyline in the last few, but it's maybe it's there's parts of it are back in the new one? Question mark? I don't know. Um, an importer. But uh, yeah, it's uh, it's they're good games. I enjoyed them. I, people say that some of the more recent ones are a bit grindy. The newest one from what? Yeah, okay. Yeah, people have said that the new one is unnecessarily long. Like, it, it could have been... They could have tied the story up a lot nicer a lot sooner, right? Okay, I should now be able to craft dough. So if I wanted to make three stacks... Beautiful. Okay, I'll just let that do its thing. We will... Make baguettes. We will cook baguettes. Oh, I need to eat a raw baguette as well? Sure. We can do that. Gotta get those hearts, kids. Gotta get those hearts. Kind of a grind. Yeah, exactly. Hey. Yep. Nope. I got nothing. You're 100% correct. 100% correct. I am a sucker for punishment. Oh man, that made so... Oh, okay, they're only stacking tens. I will take that. Sweet, sweet footlong sandwiches. That was my, uh, my go-to. The, um... It got to the point where I would walk into Subway and they would start making the sandwich that I would normally order before I even got to the counter, which is a problem because then you can't ever change your order. So I stopped going to Subway. <laughs> oh man it's a thing it happened it's okay we get over it uh okay tin bog earth inferium coal and bones but like legit like yeah <laughs> bog earth inferium coal to uh no coal Two of you, please. You and Tin. Two of you. Right, that was it. That was all the bits. Yep, and then I want some pixie dust. Um, what do I need for recessive? Two mana steel as well. Grab another two of these. And we'll grab ender pearl. Okay, we can craft the rest up while we're up there. I'm pretty sure that's all the bits that we require. Okay. 
please give me that. Oh, you're going to be a stinker, aren't you? Hang on. How are we going to do this? Let's grab this. I want to... Can I set this to only work with a redstone signal? No, I can't. Okay. Well, I'm gonna have to run back and pick this up then. That's frustrating. Thank you. Okay, now we got our pixie dust. Okay, now we can make the last two recessive. And then we will automate, um, mine of steel. Mana pearls, mana diamonds, mana string, mana glass. I think that's all the things that we need to drop into mana, at least for now. There's some stuff that we can make by augmenting, but not augmenting, alchemy. Um, but I don't think we're going to get into any of that just yet. Okay, this is working pretty good. Oops, I need to be up on top. We're making earth runes. Gotta make the earth runes. Does anyone remember what the block that mana can pass through is? There was a block that like... Let mana pass through it so we could... And then we could apply a texture to it so I didn't have to look through the bottom. I don't remember what, what it was. We used it in the last... Um, in our last setup. But I don't remember... I don't remember what it was. Oh, this thing, wasn't it? Corporea? I want to say it was this. Or one of these. Maybe? It might be in the book, actually. Actually, I think it is in the book. I can look it up. Okay. And then, yeah, that was it. So them plus them plus two of them gives me my two more recessive sparks. Yeah, I think there's a, well, I think there's a block as well, right? So now you're recessive and I want oh, that one to be recessive. Okay, so these, so we're pointing all the mana spreaders into the mana splitter which fill these four pools. And then these four pools are recessive, so they're gonna fill all the other pools first. I've got, yeah, I've got the monocle. That allows me to see things, but there should be a block that things can see, that can go through, right? I wanna say the corporeal thing feels like it might be a thing. Where is blocks? Miscellaneous. Uh, no, that's not it. Balls and accessories, mystical items. No, it's not going to be mystical items. Mana manipulation. Arnold lens are like common over the way. These are a bit more ubiquitous of the uses. First off, the paints were died. The force relay will teleport to the end position of said force relay, maintaining its momentum. 
That's not what I'm looking for. There's a block. There's a block. I know there's a block because we used the block last time. Last time we did this, we used the block. And all I need to do is remember what it's called. And I don't remember what it's called. Corporeal funnel. Uses as prospects of corporeal network. Corpor Give access to a network through a corporeal spark on top of No, that's not what it is. It's not what we're after. Unless it was specific to... Unless it was specific to that mod pack. I'm not seeing anything that's standing out. Hmm. So do you know which lens it is that shoots through things? Because I don't know which lens it is that shoots through things. I was sure there was a transparent block though. That you could paint, right? With any with any thing to hide it. But it's not here. At least I don't think there is. Phantom? Mana Lens Phantom? In order to upgrade potential mana spreader, one can... No, that's not what we want. We want that. Mana Lens. 38 pages, my goodness. Phantom Lens. Phantom Lens is interesting one by utilizing the and its properties, it's possible to make a lens that allows mana burst to pass through blocks. Notice so the time it can stay without losing mana is decreased. Abstruse platform. Is that what I'm looking for? Abstruse. Drew's platform. By laying Liverwood on the very specific format, it's possible to create a platform of sorts that only has a physical body for whoever's on top of it and isn't sneaking. For anyone else, it's like it's not there. Mana Burst will always travel through it without any trouble. This is what we're looking for. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Ab abstruse. Abstruse. Okay, that's relatively easy to make. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, let's get some more mana pearls. Hey, Phantom got us there. That's the thing. Sometimes you just need a, a hint in the right direction. And and the searching can happen. I mean, I, I could go to Google. But, like, where's the fun in that? Very noisy here with all this stuff producing mana all the time. Um, okay. Nope. Nope. I didn't bring any living wood with me, but that's okay because we got living wood here that we can yank. And we'll get a one of these because I'm pretty sure you can apply a camouflage to it. So here, abstruse. Oops, these need to be those and those. Oh, and that needs. Okay, 
Hang on, hang on. Those. Plus that one needs to be like that. Plus, there we go. Okay. Oh, yeah. It's a little different in... Um, and then I think I can do this. Yes. Now it's invisible. That looks much better. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But not in stone block. Oh, okay, yeah. Okay, I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. Cool, 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 cool. Okay, so now what we want to do is we want to set up the automation for producing these mana things. Now, ideally, I would like a... Um, what's the word? I would like a infinite mana pool, but as we saw earlier, we're just a little ways off being able to do that because that recipe is bananas. Um, so for the time being, what I think we'll need to do is, um, we're going to need another collector. We're going to need another precision dropper. We're going to need another crafting interface. We'll need some cables. So let's go get all the bits that we need and then we'll hook it up. I definitely appreciate the ease of automating the living rock and living wood with refined storage because being able to filter the destruction plate to only break a certain thing is magical. Like truly magical. Okay. Uh, let's put all this stuff away. These extra bits can go in here. Cool. So I need another crafter. So grab you, grab you guys, make another 10 of them. One of you, one of you, base. Uh, no buttons. Alloy. Two of you, one of you. And then I need steel plates. and special infused plates. Grab these. And then we're gonna need an importer. One of those. There is our crafter. Crafter and importer. Let's grab cables. Okay, so then we're gonna need a precision dropper again and another range collector. So I should really teach it how to make that. Size. Oh, I've got one. Sweet. But I probably should teach it how to make those just cause I seem to make couple of them. Okay. Um, what am I making? Collector, collector. I don't know what the range is on the range collector. Does anyone know? Area of six blocks around it. That's maybe too far. But hang on, is it six blocks around on the same plane as it? Because if it's six blocks around on the same plane, then I'm okay with that. But if it's also six up and six down, does anyone know? I was around it having the power, however, to pick up items in, the, in an area of six blocks around it. Because mostly what I don't want is I don't want it to... I don't want the other 
um, range collector to pick up. No, I want. I don't want this range collector to pick up the mana items that would potentially be dropped into the portal to make the better version of the portal. I guess we'll we'll make it, and if it doesn't work, we will make a different one. I think that's probably our best bet. Stone, Inori. Uh, I need. Do I need empowered Inori or just a norm, normal Inori? Normal Inori. Grab two. Grab eight. No, twelve. Just need a twelve. And then I need some void and ender pearl. Void. One, two, three, four. Ender pearl. One of you. And a gear. Is it a copper gear? It is a copper gear. Twelve of them, one of them, beautiful collector. Boom. And then I need precision dropper. So that is uh palace. Is a dropper. Did I bookmark that one as well? I don't recall. I don't think I did. I did not. Um, coil, more copper gears. Got a coil there. No, right. Uh, I need some glass and some silicone. Oh man, do you guys remember when we crafted all this stuff by hand? Oh, that was, that was a journey. That was a journey. Glad we are no longer on that journey. <laughs> because my goodness. Um. Okay. That's all the bits. So then let's create some, uh, let's get some patterns. Create the recipes we need to take with us. And then the ingredients we need for the crafts. And it might be worth setting up um Okay, so what we want. Oh, there's a lot here we're not gonna want. Blessed vanadium. We do want. Hmm. See, there's something I didn't think of. Bless vanadium. Uh, I'm not going to worry about mana powder from this because we're going to make a centrifuge to just straight up make mana powder without putting it in mana. I'm um, not going to worry about those. I'm not going to worry about that one. Mana string. Oh. I don't want that. Was that on this one? I didn't notice that. It was. Let's go to that. Mana glass. We definitely want mana glass. Gaia shards. Oh, interesting. Tiny potatoes? Don't even know. Um, I'm not gonna worry about that. We can always make that if needed. Okay, mana diamonds. And mana pearls. And mana steel. I think these are the main things that I require. There might be a few other bits and pieces, but like these are the main ones. These three are the ones I need for creating Terra Steel. So, and these are helpful for other stuff. So let's teach it this to begin with. And we'll kind of go from there, excuse me. 
I don't have enough inventory space to bring the items for the filters, but that's fine. We'll come back to that in a second. Okay, so the way we're going to do this, we're going to set this up above this. That's going to go there. Yep. Then underneath that, we're going to put the dropper. Uh, do we want it one closer? I think we want it one closer. This is it. What happened to my crafter? I don't have... Because of the... Inferium, I don't have my... Uh, magnet turned on. Sorry, Prudentium. Okay. Yes, that's what we want. It's got to be at least one block above, because it has to fall in. If it's too close, it doesn't work. Just so you're aware. Um, okay, and then this is going to have, like, all of this in here. And then I guess we can just hook that up on the side here. Uh, actually, no, because I need to do the importer as well. So let's do this still. Oh, I just did that straight across the middle. Okay, sure. We can do that. But I am going to need to come down the side here. Because that's going to go there. And I probably should... Do that, just so we can set this to whitelist mana glass. Just so that we can make sure it doesn't pick up other stuff. Um, okay. So then cables. You're hooked up. You're online. Break that one. Uh, I won't worry about the importer just yet. Okay, so let's um, let's go grab all the bits we need to set the filter. We'll configure the filter and then we will test it. And hopefully, and then we'll also have to test the gateway again, just to make sure we haven't messed up the gateway by putting that range collector there. It might be too close. That's my only concern. Uh, so I need a diamond. Use a mana diamond. What? Jordy, no. Some is it you saying someone at your work got sick, so now you, you've got to isolate, or is it someone else in your house that has to isolate? So you're all avoiding them. Do you all have to stay home then? Because you can't... Because you can't share... Like, because you've got to isolate. So, like, you've got to use your own bathroom and all that kind of jazz. That's at least that's how it is here. So if one person in the house... To isolate in your room. Yeah, see here, if one person in the house is sick, everyone in the house has to isolate. Which is crazy. Um, but I get it because you're living in the same space. It's super easy to spread to other people that you live with. Um, okay, mana pearl. Mana glass string. Uh, let's grab a string. Uh, mana steel. And... Um, what was the other one? Blessed Vanadium? Vanadium. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep. Yeah. Okay, cool. So let's set this filter. And then we'll have the majority of Britannia automated. 
And it, like, there's some things that we could do to improve different parts. But like, as a general rule, the majority of what we are going to need for this pack um, is going to be automated. Okay, so we've got glass. Let's put you and you. And glass, mana diamonds, mana pearls, and gonna guess that the string went there. String. Okay, so then importer, and we're good to go. Now, I just don't know if this is far enough away from up there. So, let's go give this all a crack. And make sure we haven't broken anything. We may also want to put a dominant um, augment on the spark above that mana pool. Just so that that's always got mana in it. Above everything else. So let's quickly look at what that looks like as well. Okay, so if we want to make Bless Vanadium. Perfect. Mana Steel. Let's make two of those. Yep, that works. Uh, Mana Pearl. That works. Mana String. That works, mana diamond. That works, uh, and mana glass. That works, cool. Is that everything? That is everything. Okay, so then, now just to test, um, like elementium, does that still work or are we now too close and it's gonna break it? That seems to work. Okay. And like elf glass. Okay, cool. So then if I want to like 10 elf glass, it's going to have to make mana glass and then elf glass. Let's see if that works. Seems legit. It's still making still making dough such a slow process <laughs> um okay okay so yeah so let's let's uh let's make a dominant dom dominant spark rune of fire mana steel and a pixie dust don't have a rune of fire that's okay uh, Rune of Fire is... Oops, that's Earth. Uh, Basalt, Gunpowder, Netherwood, and Blaze. Basalt. Gunpowder. Netherwood. And Blaze. And then... Mana... Uh, mana powder. Okay, we still need to do mana powder. So we'll do mana powder next as well. Um, and then I need a living... Living rock. Okay, and then let's grab a pixie. And one more... Mana steel to make the dominant. Rain, go away. Terrible for compression on video. Terrible. So bad. Don't look at the rain, folks. I apologize. There's nothing I can do about it, though. Look at that pixelation. Ooh, it's terrible. Oh man. Okay.
Look at how bad the compression is with the rain. Ugh. So terrible. I'm just like, my face is just like a, a blob. Okay. So you and you and you make a dominant spark. So the dominant spark will take all of the mana from everywhere first. So that will always be full first. And then the recessive sparks will spread out the mana everywhere else. I love how when the particles hit this mana spreader, they kind of bounce off it. It does still work, right? Yeah, it does still work, but I still think it's neat. Um, I kind of want to put that velocity. Do I have any more velocity? Um, Runes? Uh, lenses? I think I do. Ugh, the rain. Crops also do terrible things. Or at least you, when you're moving through crops, they do terrible things. Okay. Um. I do. Velocity and potency. Yeah. This will make crafting, um runes faster because it will transfer more mana to the tab to the altar quicker boom okay so that is kind of all these bits automated we have an automated terror steel um in part because i don't know how I would want to automate that. And I think that's something that we will make as we need, similar to the runes. Um, and we will aim to get Terra Steel seeds so that we can produce Terra Steel with Vesicle Agriculture in the long run. Um, but stuff like, like all this stuff, we would still need to do this way. Um, and the portals, the same deal. Mana Steel, I think we can get Mana Steel Seeds, so we probably don't need to do this eventually, so we could probably pull that out of here, and maybe even... Vanadium? No. Mana Steel? Yeah, there's Mana Steel Seeds, so yeah, so we'll want to do this at some point, as well. It's kind of expensive. It's a lot of Mana Steel, uh, but we could probably do that. Uh, but what we want to do, we haven't done the Mana Powder. So let's, let's do mana powder real quick. So mana powder, I could throw crushed, um, pulverized, um, what's it called? Hang on. Let's get out of the rain. Let's get out of the rain. The rain's not fun. Oh, I'm touching all the walls. So for mana powder, um, White magic. White magic? Black magic? No. Tier 4. Centrifuge separator. So, mana powder. So, mana powder. Can do it this way. Pulverized mana infused metal in a mana pool makes mana powder. It doesn't use very much. Pretty simple. Or, you could do iron with mana quartz to get a small chance, not such a great idea. Or we can centrifugal separate the pulverized mana infused metal to get mana powder plus a chance of getting, no, plus we get Xenon and a chance of getting illuminated power. Hey Veggie, how you doing? Happy Saturday. So I think this is the route we wanna go because this is also gonna give us Xenon fluid. It's gonna give me illumination powder or a small chance of anyway. Um, but this is this is the same as doing this recipe, just without needing mana, right? So I feel like this is a good thing to make. Pixie dust. Chocolate bars. I love that pixie dust turns into chocolate bars and liquid chocolate. 
That is fantastic. <laughs> uh, so let's make a centrifuge separator because that is also quest in the stuff that helps us get to space. To space. Um, but we're going to use it specifically for mana powder for right now. So let's look at this recipe. I haven't looked at this recipe. Ah, uh, that's not terrible. Empowered diamante gear is not cheap. We're going to need some, some terra steel for that. Compressed steel. Yeah, I can do that. I can do that. Okay, okay, okay. Let's make this happen. Uh, I can put away all this stuff now because that's all done. Okay, so, uh, steel, uh, let's look at what this centrifugal separator. So what do we need? We need, ooh, enderium. Do I know how to make enderium? Oh, probably. Yeah, probably. Enderium, yep, we're good. Oh no, we haven't taught it how to make Enderium. Do I have any room left in that hollow furnace? Yes, we do. Let's teach, ooh, okay. Yeah, yeah, let's teach this how to make Enderium. Cause then we can also do resident kits, right? Oh man, we're gonna get into boosting powder, power, pow, boosting. I don't even know what's called. Boosting mixture real soon, which is gonna be great. Enderium, there we go. Okay, so how many of these do we need? I need four. I also require a hyperlinking card. That's a little expensive. Do I have enough stuff to make one of those? I do. Let's get that crafting. Um, ooh, four iridium plates. This is an expensive machine. Like, this is an expensive machine. Let's put these in here. <laughs> this is by far the most overly complicated modded Minecraft I've ever played, Veggie. So I don't blame you for not understanding what's going on. <laughs> because most of the time I just look at it and facepalm. Like, like legit pain. It's a thing. Um, but I mean, it's also part of the fun is trying to work it out. Kinda. Okay. Um, so compressed steel, I need eight compressed steel, which means I need four steel plates, which means I need 64 steel plates. Woo, that's a lot of steel plates. I've already got, uh, I guess we'll just make a whole stack anyway. So we've got our four iridium, our four enderium. Um, empowered diamante gear. I've already got an empowered diamante gear. That is awesome. An EX2000. Ooh, I used my EX2000. It's okay, I can make another one. Ooh, that's a craft. Ooh, that's a craft. Okay, let's make another one of those. I need another copper tank. I need a 60k. I need some cleaners. And I need a motor. Motor. Cleaner. I've already got a one of those. Let's make one of these. What did I say? A 60k. 60k. Craft one of those. That's expensive as well. And then how much steel have we got? We're halfway there. Get these started. And you want to be like that? Like that, yeah. 
Hope I got that right. Otherwise, I'm gonna waste new steel. But I guess I got plenty of steel, so it's not a problem. Um, I need another copper tank. Plus, that's not gonna be enough glass. And I need hardened glass as well. Oof, yeah, some of this is gonna take a little while to craft. Like, a fair while, in fact. Okay. Uh, yes. Yes, definitely going to take a fair while. We're making chrome in the blast furnace. We're probably backlogged on something that's trying to be pulverized. No worries, Veggie. You have a great afternoon. Catch you later. Yeah, we're pulverizing for the hardened glass. Okay. So hardened glass is done. Copper is done. So we should be able to make a copper tank. Okay, that bit's done. And then, let's see what else we got here. Cleaning, we got our other cleaning part. Did we get our EX2? Not yet, that's still crafting. 6K and the EX2 still crafting. Okay, what else did we have then? Oh, we need to make a filter. The hyperlinking card's done. Let's check on those steel plates. There's the other two, 32 steel plates. Let's get them in here. Thank goodness that made compressed. Oh, it makes two for each. Cool. Didn't need as many as I've just made, but whatevs. Oh, I think I did that last time, which is why I had spare ones. It's fine. It's nothing wrong with having extra. I feel like we're going to have more than one centrifugal separator. Uh, I need a filter. Sure. Can I teach you how to make a filter? I think that sounds like a really good idea. Oh, I need patterns. Always takes a, a second for it to register. Oh, you don't know how to make mesh? My goodness. I should really teach it this recipe. For right now, I will make one. I don't have any string. What shenanigans is this? One mesh. I will teach you how to make better ones later. I don't want to make another carpenter and crafter and all that jazz right now. Uh, well, I'm going to have to make them for centrifuge separator. So maybe we'll make two. Eh, we'll work it out. Um, what's it making? Filter. Please. Okay, we got our 60k. That finished crafting. Did we get our EX2? That finished crafting. Okay, so that should be all the bits. That's all the bits. Centrifugal separator basic. Quest complete. Yay! Claim all those bits. Majestic dust. Time to get more white and black magic dust. Okay. Hmm. Not what we're doing right now, but thank you for the suggestion. Uh, okay, where's this gonna live? Let's go see where we've got room. I feel like we could go in a wall in this room, maybe. Like here makes sense, I think. Sure. Q. 
cable. Uh, and then import is going to have to come up the back. Leaving room for power. Craft will go there. Cool, cool. I need some cables for power. Where is it? What, what power cables am I using here? Is this just standard hardened? Cool. Let's grab ourselves an importer. Make another 10 of those. Uh, let's get one, two, three, four. We're going to make two of these. Uh, cause you need to make another 10 of them, please. Two of you. Two of them, four of these. Sixteen. Brain stopped working for a hot second there. Sixteen of those. And special infused. Sixteen of those. Um, what else do I need? I need these destruction cores. That's it. That's all I need. Just gotta wait for things to finish crafting. Crafting too many things at once. Dang it. I need to speed up these machines more. Are oh, you making paper? Right? Making paper? What are you making? What are you making that you... Oh, you making nether quartz plates? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I wish that it... See how it says processing nether quartz? What it's actually processing is nether quartz plates. So it should say this is what's processing. And it should say this is what's stored, right? Because this is what it's making. It's actually... I get that it's processing nether quartz plates in... Sorry, nether quartz into nether quartz plates. But it's confusing if you don't know the recipe to know where something's jammed up, right? That's a thing. It's a thing. Anyway, grab some importers. Uh, let's grab some hardened flux duct. Okay, steel plates. And I need cores, right? That could be a little while. Because it's still using them for that. Oh no, it's now crafting them. I think. Yeah. Now it should be crafting them. Oh, has this not done anything? Hang on. That dough should be done by now. What is wrong with this recipe? Did I not set the recipe? That would be awkward. Oh, I didn't set the recipe, guys. <sighs> Here, let me let me do that for you. Good one, district. I reset this recipe back so that this would work, but I forgot to set the recipe on this one. Rip. It's fine. It's fine. That's only been sitting there for like the last hour trying to make dough. It's fine. It's 
Special infused. <laughs> Destruction cause. Uh, rip. Okay. Crafter. Okay, so then mana dust. Mana powder. Mana powder. If I can spell correctly. Processing. Mana powder. Centrifugal separator. So what we're going to do. I'm going to. I'm going to remove that. From the recipe. I'm going to remove the elimination powder from the recipe as well. Because those are percentage. So they're not guaranteed. It's a 4% chance. That's guaranteed. That is guaranteed. But I don't want that to be like. Hey I need Xenon. Let's make mana powder i want the main well, actually i'm going to remove the xenon as well because what i want is this is how we make mana powder how do we make xenon or is this the best way of making xenon as well so you know i feel like i feel like extracting glowstone is a better way of making xenon i feel like that's a much better way of making xenon also, because I think I've got glowstone seeds already made. So yeah, let's remove the xenon as well. We'll get xenon, but that'll be a byproduct. That's not the primary focus. And don't forget you can do that with most processing recipes. So even though they may process multiple things, you can customize it and say, hey, I know you make this, but like, that's not the main thing that I'm after here. So let's like remove that from the recipe. You'll get extra of it in your system, which is great. Oops, but you won't have to like deal with unexpected um, crafting happening to meet the, the needs of what is being created, right? So then for this tank, Probably want to do that. How do I want to do this? Do we want to store the xenon fluid in a tank? Or do we want to store the xenon fluid in the refined storage system with a fluid storage drive? Decisions. Can you hear the rain? No, it doesn't look like it. It's raining on the window and I love the sound of rain on the windows. It's my, it's one of my favorite sounds. One of my favorite sounds. Hmm, how are we gonna, how do we want to do this? I think is the correct question. So this is gonna give me power. See, I feel like, yeah, let's do this. Let's grab a Signalium Plated Fluid Duct. Just for now. Signalium Plated Fluid Duct. And... Hang on, the next question is, do I need Xenon? What does Xenon got used for? Make Cerium? Makes White Magic Essence. Oh, that seems like a useful thing. Is just to straight up convert it into white magic essence because that's all it does right and this makes serum as well so this makes serum and this just makes the same thing i don't know what transposer does and that's just a fluid transposer so i wonder if this is just a fluid transposer it like will take from one tank to another so we want to probably put it straight into a fractioning still and store the white magic essence rather than the xenon. Unless the xenon cells are used for something. No, they're not. 
Okay. Yeah, let's let's try this. Um Okay, let's grab a cell. This feels a little bit janky, but it'll be fine. So we will I'm gonna put this at the back. You're gonna go like that. And then power's gonna go there. So you, you've got power. Cool. And then I've got myself stuck. Also cool. Let's grab a tank. And we'll run some through. Let's get a retriever. I guess just like, it doesn't have to be like a crazy one. Let's grab one of those. Uh, actually, I probably just need a servo to begin with. Let's just grab that, I'll grab a tank. We'll grab the big one that we've got for now. Okay, this'll work. Um, yeah. So I guess we say here, go mana powder. Make a stack of mana powder. Perfect. And then we'll set up the processing for the Xenon. Nope. Mo with the raid. Hey Mo. Hey Raiders. How you doing? How was your stream? Tell me all about it. What did you get up to? Hey Pecking Order. How are you? Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the pack. Okay. That seems to have worked. Back with the raid. Daria, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the pack. How you doing? How was your stream, Mo? Did you have a good day? Oh, that's an that's a flu that's a gas. Brody, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Thank you for the follow, everybody. So many new faces. Okay, this Xenon's a terrible, terrible thing. A really chaotic Minecraft stream. I like it. <laughs> I like it. I've just finished setting up uh, all of my Batania automation. And we're just uh, doing mana powder in a centrifugal separator because that is easier for what we're doing than... Um, than the doing it with mana basically um the recipe is the same i just don't need mana to create mana powder so we're doing it this way because it's a little bit easier and i'm just trying to work out what to do with the byproducts here because xenon is a thing and i don't know what to do with it well i think i know what to do with it but i don't know how i'm gonna do with it this is very confusing this pack that's all i gotta say very confusing. So how's everybody else doing today? I hope you're having a good afternoon. Chiefly, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the pack. My goodness, so many peoples. Uh, we're going to want... We are going to want... Okay. That Xenon. Oops. Xenon is spelt with an X. So this Xenon is going to go in the wall. So let's chuck this up here. Then the Xenon fluid. What I want to do is a fractioning still. And we'll turn it into white magic essence. Because white magic essence gets used in a whole lot of other stuff. And it's used for making essence of the gods. Ooh, 
and a lot of recipes in Britannia by the looks of it. Oh, whoa. Okay, that's a recipe. This pack is full of shenanigans. Okay. Ah, thanks, Dariel. D Daria, sorry. Daria Luna. Totally read that wrong. I appreciate it. Solid Eye of Ender. I'm trying to think. Ooh. Oh, that's Fire Charm. Do I even need this White Magic Essence? How else can I make White Magic Essence? Oh, just by melting down White Magic Dust? Okay, we're just going to avoid this. I don't think this Xenon's going to be... Like, we're not going to get enough. Because it's 250 millibuckets to make 100 millibuckets of that. Yeah, we're just gonna we're just gonna trash this set on. It's just gonna be trashed. Uh, do I have a fluid trash can? I do. Yep, we can do that. Trash can for fluids. And do we get our retriever? Let's grab this, and we'll filter this to only retrieve the Xenon for now. I don't know what else we need to stick through this machine. Okay, we've got enough in there that I can grab that for the filter. Um, yeah, okay, let's do this. And we will put the trash can here. And we will put the retriever on that and we filter. Oh. Can Retriever not filter liquids? It can. Maybe it needs a bucket. Can I get a bucket of this? That is a good idea, Chiefly. Everyone should take a quick drink of something. Be that water. What is probably best for you? I'm drinking caffeine because that's just what I do. Maybe it's the time of day where you're going to grab a whiskey or a beer. I mean, if that's what you're into, you do you. But it's a good idea. Everyone should drink something. Keep hydrated. Um, okay, let's see if I can do this. Huh. How does that work? How does... Pulls distant items and filters to itself. Hold shift for details. How do I get this to filter a fluid? Because obviously a xenon bucket isn't what we want. We want a... We want the fluid, right? And a posture check as well. Daria, that's a good idea. Everybody should stretch. Make sure you're sitting up straight. Engage your core, so you work on those stomach muscles. Everybody. Oh, oh good stretch. That is a good idea. You got to do it too, remember. It's not just for me. It's a reminder for everyone in chat when someone redeems one of those. Can I? Is there another way of doing this? Like, I can't just drag that in there or anything. Does anybody know? Because I don't know. Do I need a the higher tier retriever? It says it retrieves fluids. Extracts fluids at 100%. Or maybe it is smart enough to know. Okay, hang on. Let's try that. So, so there's obviously Xenon in that pipe. So if I grab that and do that. Oh, it did. Oh, it is smart enough to know. 
Is it? Yes. Okay. Never mind. Cool. It's smart enough to know. We got this. Let's empty this. Should pull the Xenon from that, right? Yeah, it is. Okay, we're just gonna trash the Xenon. That's fine. A little bit slow, but that'll be okay. Uh, okay, so let's just tidy up our little mess we made around here, and then we'll fill that in once that's finished. Emptying. And is that emptying? It's not right now, it's filling. Is it going to empty? This is almost finished running. Hang on. <laughs> this isn't working. What did I do? Oh, I can turn my magnet back on. We're far enough away from mana right now. You should be emptying, not filling. Interesting. It doesn't recognize that Xenon as... Something it can retrieve. I guess it works with this one because we're pumping the Xenon straight into the pipe. Right? Maybe? But it doesn't seem to like this one. So if I grab Servo and just turn that on so it pulls it all out. That'll do. That'll do, donkey. Uh, you, you. Oh, hang on. I should turn that on. Mm hmm Yeah, it really helps if you turn on the retriever. That's why I wasn't like, folks. I swear, I've done this before. Honest. Okay, cool. So that's just going to trash the extra xenon that comes out of that. But now we have... Automated mana powder. So, I think, <laughs> yes, yes. This is correct, JC, this is correct. Um, so I think that's the main stuff we need to, to automate for Batania, right? Um, I wanna teach it real quick how to make that mesh. Just so that we've done that recipe. Um, I need a data. Uh, do I have a, a carpenter? I don't. I need a data store. I need copper plates. I need one that. I need 12. Hardened glass. And then glass in general. Um, and then I need a servo and a motor. Mental blanking on what I require. 30k coolants, a motor, servo, and powered restonia. 30k, I'll do those first because they take the longest. Uh, motor. Servo. Restonia. I need an empowered one. Cool. Uh, and then I need two circuits. Perfect. We've got the data. And then I need steel and empowered a nori. Steel. Empowered a nori. Eight of those. That everything. I just need to make the copper tank. Uh, 
Oh, I need hardened glass for that. Get copper tank. And then... This is my steel. And powder nori plates. 30k, we've only made one. I need the other one. How do I put that away? Put away that glass. How close are you to making the second one? Almost there. That's much better. Down to 65 dough left to go. And that's the second one of those. Okay, cool. And so then we can make another carpenter. Ooh, Restonia gear. You. Thank you. Carpenter. Okay, so then let's put this. I just realized I need this out again. This one's going to go on this side. We've got a, a group here of uh, things that don't have fluids in them. So... That one there. You go up and you make mesh and you need to be set to mesh. Unlike what we did with the dough. Recipe. Im nope. Oh. oh no, that's fine. I thought I broke more than I actually broke there. Okay, imported done. Okay, so now we should be able to craft mesh as well. Cool, cool. Okay, so let's go check on how everything is going up in our automated area. Let's check how much coal we've got left. Still doing good on coal. Um, essence. Let's see. We don't. Oh man, we've used a lot of essence. Yeah, we've run out of essence. Okay. Uh huh. Yeah, we got no supremium. Interesting. I mean, it does use a lot of essence to do these prudentium blocks. So we're going to need to drastically ramp up the amount of um did I turn off my I did the amount of inferium we're collecting because we have run out but it seems like okay these are almost full though so that's a positive sign so we actually have a lot of mana here how are these going okay they're not And you're almost empty. Okay, so let's me grab half of these. Put you on this side. Okay, yeah, so these are almost full. So we actually have like a stupidly large amount of mana now. So this was all worth it, <laughs> basically. I wonder if I should set these to only run if we have over a certain amount of of uh, like supremium in the system. Like maybe they only run if we're over a hundred supremium or something. And then we primarily rely on the lava just to trickle feed us. That might be a good idea just until we can get more production of inferium. Maybe. Because these are all full. These are full. These must be close to full. How close are you? Uh, no, they actually have a fair bit to go. That's keeping up. That's keeping up. That's keeping up. That's keeping up. And they just finished burning out. So yeah, so they were, so everything's keeping up. 
There's a lot of effects going on there. A lot. Okay, so yeah, I feel like maybe we should limit that to only run if we've got over a certain amount of Supremium. So let's hook that up. And then primarily it will run on lava unless we've got like an excessive amount of Supremium. Oh, what am I missing? You don't know how to make comparators? Jeez. How have I not taught it how to make comparators? How is that the thing it's been missing? <laughs> uh, okay. Two of you. And then I'm going to need some Supremium to do this. How am I going to do that? Uh, if I grab... Man, we've also used a lot of Inferium just in general. Because it's only exporting if it's over. Yeah, okay, okay. Yeah, we're going to have to really ramp up our Inferium production. Okay, so you, I'm just going to turn you off for a second. It only works the redstone signal. You, thank you. Turn you back to normal. Ignore redstone signal. Cool. So I can use that supremium for the filter. Two detectors. Let's grab some more cable in case we need to do some weirdness. And that should be fine. So the way we're going to set this up is, let's say, only run if we've got over 100 Supremium in the system. Because 100 Supremium is a fair amount of resources, right? So, what I want... Ow. Is to do this. I wonder if that will work. Output, if this is... Greater than a hundred. And set this to redstone only. That should work. Mm -hmm. No way of knowing whether or not that's offline or not. I assume that it is. We'll just do the same thing on the other side. So that way, at least we won't like. Oops. We won't completely use up all of our resources. Didn't make a lot of room for walking around here, did I? Same deal here. Detector. Supremium. is above, oops, above 100. Cool. So now we won't use, because I mean, we used 40,000 Inferium to, <laughs> ah, awkward. Yeah, we used 40,000 Inferium to fill up our mana pools, which I mean, it's not the end of the world, but like, has a lot of Inferium. But, I mean, it filled it. That's the important part, was filling it. So, I think that's Britannia automated, right? Like, there's a couple of things that aren't. Um, I mean, like, I haven't done any of this stuff. I don't know what 
mine's going to be down here. Welcome back, Podux. But I think that's like the majority of our mana production done. And eventually what we'll do is we'll replace all these um, Ender Flames with Kekamurus. Um, but that's like a late game. Um, but then eventually we'll replace it with an endless mana pool and it's and it's just done then. Then we don't have to generate mana at all. It generates mana for us. But we're a long way off being able to do that. But I mean, like, I think this is running, right? It's definitely... I mean, it seems good. I'm pretty happy with this. It's raining again. Chiefly, thank you for the bits. Appreciate it. 100 bitties. Love to see it. Yeah, I think this is all automated, folks. Like, some of it's a little janky. But, you know, that happens. But I think overall, this is pretty stable. It'll be relatively self-sufficient um especially once i have the blood altar collecting um collecting blood automatically to make the lava and i do love that little howl emote yeah i think this is good so what i need to do here still oh, the rain i need to create more Hey, where did you come from, dude? There shouldn't be any dark spots. Or did you come from over there somewhere? Maybe you came from over there somewhere. Just, hang on. Let's get rid of the rain. Hang on one second. The sun's rising. We should sleep real quickly before the sun rises. Oops, didn't get him. So the rain goes away. Clear the skies. Goodbye, rain. Goodbye, Rain. Thank you. Um, okay, so what we need to do, we need to make more destructors, but I need to do a whole lot of mining for that. Um, we need to hook up... Uh, no, everything in the basement's hooked up. So yeah, we need to do more destructors. We need to decorate. We probably want to move the... Um, the, what's his name up here? Petal Apothecary. Um, and we probably want to change out all this grey wackle and these stairs. And we'll do some, some nice decoration up here. But I think Batani is like pretty self-sufficient at this point. Yep. All the lava just kicked in. We should go check on our, on our blood supply. Make sure we're not going to start getting hungry. So I'm pretty happy with that. I'm pretty happy with that. Hey, can I please walk down the stairs? Ladder. Thank you. My goodness. What was going on there? What was going on there? Uh, we can turn on our magnet again. Let's empty our inventory of all the bits. Crash that bow because we really don't need the bows. Okay, and let's grab this and where is my there? And there. Put that away. Hmm. Yep. Definitely require a refill. Okay, so then I guess the next thing we need to work on is automating this blood altar, right? Is getting it to auto feed itself. Because at the moment, I still have to fill it, which is not the most efficient use of food or time. So, what is that something we want to tackle today? Mm, it's 10 to 4 already. I mean, we can try it. It might take us a little while. 
Actually, can we even do it? So let's work this out. So we need to make a drop of evil. Which I'm pretty sure we can make. It's going to require us to do some evil craft stuff. And get some premium, which we don't have any at the moment. Oof. Um, extra time. JC's excited. Extra time. Uh, we can make all these things. I feel like we can make a drop of evil. Essence of the gods is majestic dust. I need to make a promise of 10. I need to make one of these. Potentia sphere. It's doable. It's all doable. Norris Chiefly, you have a great evening. I hope you have a good one and we'll catch you later. Hmm. Okay, so. Maybe we need to do a little bit of black magic. Mm. Oops, meant to be self sacrificing here. Too easily distracted. Need to be putting blood in the altar. Oops, I almost cut myself again, which would have been terrible. Okay. I guess I probably need to do this because we all know that if I don't do it on stream, I'm going to do it between now and next week off stream and people are going to want to know how it was done. I screw over it. <laughs> yes! It needs to be like, like it needs to be like the face palm one, but he's maybe he's kind of like looking to one side and it's got like swoosh marks, like he's just turned his head. And then it has squirrel across the top or something. Um, it'd be hard to fit the word squirrel. That'd be the only thing I see being difficult. That's a lot of letters to fit in this tiny, tiny, tiny space. But that would be hilarious. Or maybe it's two, it's a two-parter. Like you have a squirrel with the, the first part of squirrel. And then you have the... Um, you, you have Spark kind of search, like, turn his head with the rest of Squirrel, so you have to do the two emotes together. That could work. <laughs> uh, oh, man. I need to unlock more emote slots. I need more subs to unlock more emote slots. Uh, more emote slots. I think you need... Is it... 20, um, 20 subs for the next emote slot? Maybe? Does it tell you? Have a quick look. Get unlock emote. How many do I need? Does it tell me? No. Oh, yes, it does. Um, no, that's partners. Affiliates. So, yeah, it's 15 subscribers for one more remote slot, 25 subscribers for two more remote for three more remote slots, and 50 subscribers for five. So, yeah, we got a little ways before we can unlock additional emote slots. Just a little ways. But, yeah, I want to I wanna move... So, tomorrow. Yeah, basically, tomorrow. Um... I do want to move, I would like to put the, the, the hearts and the face palm at, at the base level. So everyone gets access to those, but you know, like I said, it, they, they unlock as we go. 
we will get there eventually. It's not the priority. <laughs> Having fun is the priority. Raising some funds for Extra Life is the priority. I'd rather people do that than subscribe. But I super appreciate the subs as well. Because then we get to have more fun as a community. Okay. Um, so let's see if we can make a drop of evil. Hang on, no. Let's make sure we can make the... The ritual first. That was the first bit. So we need to make... Okay, we're going to pivot away from Britannia into... Yeah, yours doesn't, yeah, yours doesn't run out to after, after Christmas. That's okay. Are you worried about getting a bauble on the Christmas tree? Because I'm pretty sure we can arrange that, JC. <laughs> and I'm going through to the 30th. So it's like right up until before Christmas Eve. Uh, before New Year's Eve. So New Year's Eve, we won't do baubles. The tree will be gone on New Year's Eve, but we are going to do a 12 hour stream on New Year's Eve. We'll count down to midnight, at least midnight for me which is going to be 11 p.m. for you guys. Sorry. Um, so we'll do the we'll do the countdown, but the Christmas tree will be done then. Um, but don't worry, JC. We'll get you up on the tree. It'll be fine. <laughs> I think uh, I think all the VIPs get a uh, a bauble anyway. If they're not up there by Christmas, they will they will get one up there. No, I seriously, like I want to, because every year when I pull out the baubles, like they're going to, they're going to be there. And I want to be able to remember that, you know, because like, if you guys weren't here, I wouldn't be here. You know, <laughs> the fact that you're also then financially supported me, extra super generous of you all. So it's just my little way of giving back, even though, because they're, clear baubles you can't actually see them i can see them and to me that's the important part <laughs> okay let us make the ritual so ritual now we already had so the so the master ritual stone this recipe that was some crafting, by the way. Like, those were reinforced slates. So each one of those is four blank slates. There's a lot of blood. A lot of blood. Plus the ritual stones, which was even more. Um, but for the quest, I needed to make, make these. So you get two. So you get two. When you make this, you get two, which is okay. Um... How many ritual stones do I need for the Well of Suffering? Quickly check this. Well of Suffering. Quite 36 ritual stones. Okay. Uh, oh, really? Really? 36 divided by 4? So I need to do 9. Times 16 reinforced slates. Times <laughs> 16. Times 4. 576. Mm, maybe we're not going to do this right now. Unless you want to watch me make 576 blank slates. <laughs> Man. Uh, compressed stone, 576? <sighs> Maybe we set up everything else except for the ritual? No, because if I don't set up the ritual, can I make a... Okay, so, mm, so on that, there's a couple of different lines here as well. So there's this, the sanguary pedestal is the first step of infinite blood source. Find a mob, finding a mob spotter will be very useful for this. 
gold promise acceptors. Drains bloodstained blocks in the area. I don't think this works. I think this makes evil craft blood. I don't think this makes blood that can go into the life essence. I think we still need the ritual for that. Oh, that gives me 10 reinforced sleep blocks. Oh, we should just do that. Let's just do that. The quest reward, 10 reinforced slate blocks. So each one of those is four. So it's going to be 40 reinforced slate. Oh, that's not going to be enough though. 40 will give me... It's going to give me enough for eight. 16. 32. Yeah, that's going to give me enough for eight more. Plus, how many have I got already? 16, so it's only 24. So I still need another 10. I need 36. No, another 12. So I still have to make a fair few. I mean, I don't mind doing it. But do you guys want to watch it is the question. Um, let's grab, let's make the brick, the blood brick. You're on E2L right now anyway. Finally off work. Nice. Uh, okay. Let's make this blood brick. And then let's turn this into bricks because it wanted bricks. I wanted it one, four, four. Okay. I'm not going to use the bricks. Hey. Yep. Mm -hmm. Welcome. Thanks for the follow. <laughs> oh, man. Yep. Really, JC. Really. Appreciate it. I uh, hope you're having a great afternoon. Uh, I don't need those anymore. So let's go steal. How many runes do we have? I've got six already. Let's go steal them from the base. It's going to break our altar for a second, but it'll be fine. And JC, that, that is why the follower number goes up and down and up and down. Because those accounts disappear. <laughs> Real quick. Nineteen. Twenty-six. Twenty-seven. Twenty-eight. Alter four. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Get a lot of those. Get a lot of those. And that's going to put me back up to... Oh, I guess these were all blank slates, so it didn't actually affect how much blood we had in the network, which is good. Because the last time I did that, I was breaking the the capacity slates, and that was, that was terrible. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So that's going to give me a head start on that. Oh, this quest keeps going. Interesting. Master Blood Orb. Block of Dragonstone. Oh, we can do that now. Because we just automated Dragonstone with Britannia. Sweet! Let's get a better orb. See, there was a reason I was working on Britannia today. Because I knew automating things would unlock other things for me. So if I grab those. So we've got 40 reinforced slates. Okay, 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 okay. Um, dragon. Yeah, we've got enough. So to make seven more of these, I assume that I can just do that. Yeah. Seven more. Cool. That uses like 
70% of a mana pool. So that's a lot of mana. But it'll recuperate. How much blood do I need for this? 40,000. Oh, too easy. Too easy. Okay, let's pull that out. Let's pull that out. Put that in. I think we... What are we holding here at the moment? A hundred and something? Grab that back out. Grab this back out. Oh no, it only holds 34 and I need 40. Okay, we're gonna have to fill this up. Go. Red, 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 red. Why did I? Oh no, my network holds 150. The altar only holds 34. All right. Run, 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 run. I think we'll be fine. It's going really slow. Sometimes these higher tier crafts go really, really, really fast. Um, so that they, so that you like have to get it up higher before you can, can craft them. Like more capacity runes. We're at the point where we could start putting in augmented capacity runes, which will give us more return for our investment. But I think the next tier will be sacrifice runes. But that's a whole other thing. We're not up to that yet. Okay. I mean, we go through these footlongs pretty quick, but now that we've got the, um, this doesn't tell me what percentage it was through the craft. Oh no, there's another tier of this rune, isn't there? There's like a higher tier one that shows you how complete it is. Okay. This must be getting close. Because I've done... Because each self-sacrifice does about 13,000. There we go. Um, but that's also going to bump up my network to hold significantly more. I guess that can go back in the system. Um, significantly more. Like it's going to go up to 500,000, I want to say. What is it? Let's check. Uh, Master Orb. No, it goes up to a million. Ooh. Okay. Uh, we're gonna have to sit here for a second, refilling our, our life network. Uh, more than a second. A million? Ooh. Okay. It's actually gonna take a little while. I guess we don't have to fully refill our life network. Because we're not using it that quickly. Oh, man. That... Is, yeah. I guess the the higher tier orb processes it fit quicker as well. Hey, I was fully recharged. Why didn't you? Mm. Oh, because I was hungry. Can't be hungry. That was my faux pas there. Mm. Okay, so footlongs are not a good food source for when you are self-sacrificing because it's gonna eat through the saturation to regenerate your health. I guess it would be okay if I eat once the health's at full. Maybe that's the, the trick to it. No, because then it's still gonna, still gonna burn through it. Yeah, see, we're only at 200,000. This is going to take a little while. 
this is gonna take a little while okay so if i eat now when we're full but then when i do that see it's just eats through the saturation real quick until i get back down to half right uh, you know when it goes down the wrong way yep that was a thing that just happened <coughs> uh apologies just dying here. It's gonna be fine. I'm gonna be fine. <clears throat> Poor. Not fun. Not fun. We're okay. We've got tears in our eyes, but we're gonna be okay. Ah. <sighs> My goodness. Okay. Um. Yeah, we're only a quarter of the way through refilling our network. So, mate, what I'm going to do, I'm not going to worry about filling it more because it's now already double what, what it was before. Well, almost double. Um, so let's leave that for a minute. Let's look at... Oh, okay. A double battery back? Cool. I will take the two empowered emeritic plates. That's neat. Oh, here we go. This is this is the one. This is teaching us dusk rituals, which is what we need. And augment capacity rituals, which is also what we need. What's teleposition? Ooh. Using these, you can teleport certain blocks over distances. To teleport a block such as a spawner... Uh... You must have two teleposers set down. Make sure they are under the destination block and the block you want to teleport. Once you've done so, click the focus on the teleposer under the block you want to teleport, then right click the teleposer under the destination block with an empty hand and put in the focus. Then finally pull a lever. Put a lever on it, put the type of focus determines the distance. Current owner is Nerdy Spider. Guessing that was who was creating the quest. Um, am I even going to be able to hand that in then? Reinforced. Enhanced. Used to move blocks in the world. Huh. I get two majestic ingots for that. How bad's that recipe? Ooh, that recipe's not fun! At least those are normal. That's relatively okay. Tried night block. That's an expensive craft, and I actually don't have enough ancient dust to make two of those. So that's not happening. Um, but we can make demonic slate, right? 15,000. Ooh, that's expensive. But I don't actually need demonic slates to make dusk rituals. So why is it telling us to do that? Hmm. Okay. Uh, let me just do a real quick, uh, blood magic, blood magic, uh, no, well of suffering, well of suffering, suffering, blood magic. Just updating the title so that people know we're not working on Britannia right now. But instead, we're working on a little bit of blood magic. I gotta get better at doing that. Like when we kind of change the focus of what we're working on. Because like we've already finished automating the, the Britannia stuff. So, 
got to make sure that people know what's going on. Um, okay. Demonic Slate. Let's make one Demonic Slate for the quest. Which means converting those back. Uh, that's reinforced. I need imbued. So four of you. Um, sure. You can be annoying. And then we'll teach it how to make demonic slates. And then we should be able to make... Then we'll do the, the dusk ritual so we can make the well of suffering. And then we'll make a drop of evil so that we can have unlimited mob spawns. Yes, that will work nicely. And then that will also mean that our primary source of mana production for Britannia is automated because of the automation of blood to continue to produce lava. Yes, I could do it with Lava Fabricator, but that's a lot of power and we would quickly run out of uranium, I think. So I think this makes the most sense, at least for now. Something that is passive, semi-passive, I guess, because you've still got to get it started. But like something that's passive like this is better in the long run. Okay. That is quite the thunderstorm happening up there. Okay. Cool, cool. So then we teach it how to make the next one, right? So we do this, imbued slate block. So you're gonna request imbued slate blocks. Oh, that's a cool block. Oh, that's a very cool block. I mean, sure, it's got the symbol for hell on it, but that's not the point. It looks pretty sick. Huh. Are these blocks part of actual blood magic or are they... I don't think they are. I don't see them here. Oh no, there they are. Oh, Blood Arsenal. Right, 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 right. Okay, that makes sense. That thunderstorm. Oh man. Yeah, we're gonna need more. We're gonna need to turn some of these next tier into speed runes, some of them into sacrifice runes. And then the last tier will need to be augmented, capa augmented capacity. Okay. So then we teach this to retrieve demonic slates. So that will now do that and go to there. Beautiful. Thank you very much. And that gives me another two demonic slates. Cool. Ritual Tinker Tool. Okay. Yep, we want this. So I need two blocks of coal. Right? Three blocks of coal. Why do I need three dusk? I only need two. Hmm, sure. Okay. Whatever you say, quest book, whatever you say. Cool times three. Okay. 
Um, we can put the Magician Blood Orb in there now. We'll just do this manually. We don't need to automate this because once we've made these, we don't need to make them anymore. So the the cool thing about the um, the oh these are not going to stack, are they? The cool thing about the way oh it's fine. Brain, welcome Jody, welcome back. The cool thing with the 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 crafting with the diviner is it doesn't use durability once you've crafted it, right? So we can upgrade our ritual diviner to a dusk diviner. Dusk diviner. Boom. Quest? Quest. So this allows us to make the, our inventory. Why are we getting a handsaw? This laid into the pack. We have exactly zero need for a handsaw. I'm so confused. Okay. Double battery going there. Powered emeritic plate doesn't have a spot on the wall. So let's put that on the wall. So eventually we have an unlimited number of those. Um, Demonic Slate also didn't have a spot on the wall, so let's put them up there as well. So eventually we have an unlimited number of them. Oh, I forget that I've got an elevator. My goodness. Okay, I don't know why it wanted me to make an extra... Unless maybe the recipe isn't customized, because it felt like the normal recipe. Ritual. Tinker some rituals useful if you need to change certain aspects of a ritual. I don't think I would. I don't. I've never used it. Like I've never needed to to change a ritual, like ever. Nah. Uh. Okay. That can go in there, that can go in there. Um, but this does allow us to make the We'll find it. We'll find it. Well of suffering. Well of suffering. So let us go look at that real quick. So the Well of Suffering, I'm going to have not enough things. So I don't want to craft it yet. So how many do I need for the quest? What's the bet that there's a Well of Suffering quest past this? Because I can't make these. Teleposers, I don't have the resources. I don't have enough majestic ingots and enough ancient dust. And then reinforced. Enhanced. Teleportation focus. Oh, a demon blood shard? Huh, where do you get those? I've never seen a demon blood shard before. Yeah, it's there. Hmm. Is there another version of the bound sword?
No. Nope. They're all just the normal. Hmm. I mean, worst case scenario, I can break the blocks and redo it. That's fine. Let's just place them. Um, okay, so. Down here. Really? Really, game? No, I left myself room on the back. I can get it on the back side. Or here, even. So this block here is where the master ritual stone is going to go. So let's just chuck a blank slate underneath it. Let's put the master ritual stone uh, there. And then break that. So with the Well of Suffering selected, if I right click on there, or if I hover over it, it's going to show you us what it's going to make, right? And I can start placing them, but I'm going to run out. So I guess the downside of doing that is I now don't know how many I had. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. So I had sixteen out of the thirty-two. So I only had half of what I needed. Because the outside needs... How can I see this? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. No, each side needs another 5. So I still need another 20. Oh, I needed 36. Sorry, not 32. I need 36. So I need another 20 runes. Okay. That's fine. We can do that. 20 runes. How bad is that going to be? Um, okay. Uh, let's go grab all those slates back. I can't turn that demonic slate back, but that's okay. Okay. Grab those. And we grab the compressed that I've created. I don't think I need all of these now. But we'll probably use them all. So it probably doesn't hurt to craft them up. Uh, let's put away that and the blank runes. Grab some blaze to refill this bad boy. Uh, I should grab the dough. Actually, I should just make baguettes. Put those back. Grab stack baguette. Beautiful. Cook baguette. Mmm, baguette. Oops. Now I'm hungry. What did we decide we were having supper? So Potox grabbed some chicken and cheese chili fries, which delicious. JC, did you say you got Chick fil A? Chick fil A, however you want to pronounce it. Clearly, I'm not American. Jordy, what did you have for supper? And should I get pizza? <laughs> Oh, crack. That was my back. Oh, man. I need all these machines to run faster. I am too impatient. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, everything broke. That's fine. Probably should use potatoes. I don't want to waste the 
the sweet, sweet footlongs. Put them in here for now. And let's grab it out. Oh, we don't have any potatoes? Huh. Just where we're using self-sacrifice. It doesn't make sense to use the footlongs. Um, potato? Potato. Okay. Not sure what you're gonna have for tonight. What are you in the mood for? You said you were saying before steak. That could be good. I want. Mm, actually, I want tacos. Mm. Tacos would be good. Even nachos would be good. Oh man, I should not be thinking about food. I know we just made the footlongs and now we're using the potatoes, but just for efficiency of hunger use while I'm using the self-sacrifice, this actually makes more sense. Okay. Just so we're not wasting saturation. Okay, so let's put the three, the 500 and something compressed stone there. Cool story, bro. Do that. And then while we're doing this, we'll work out some math. So, um, I need 20 more ritual stones so 20 more of these so 5 times 16 80 so we need 80 reinforced slates right and I've got 24 on me so I need 56 more Cool, that's not terrible. That's not terrible. for augment hold shift plus m for augmentation information huh, i've never noticed that before i've also never noticed the description of what the the ritual is that's super useful i don't feel like that was in previous versions Okay, so how quickly is this going? Eh, not too bad. Because I mean, that's already six. So I only need 50 more. It'll be done before we know it. Right? I hope. I guess we'll find out. Oh man, and we made the the next tier thingy. Um You know what? I don't know, Potox. Probably I want to say until I've got the 
the mob farm set up so it's automating blood. But I'm a little bit worried if I say that and we hit a roadblock. I guess I can always just say, you know what, that's it. We're done. I don't want to stream too late because I still I need to go eat food. And I want to jump on the stone block server and just make sure I'm good to go for tomorrow. But yeah, don't don't feel you need to stick around if you if I'm still online when you come back then I'll see you later if not I'll catch you tomorrow adulting mm -hmm. yep adulting is sucks that's why I don't stream on Sunday afternoons because that's when I adult I socialize an adult on Sunday afternoons laundry dishes all the fun things in life. Okay, it's another six. So this is happening pretty quick. It's 12 of our 56. Um, but we got, we got the next tier blood orb, so we can actually go to a tier four tranquility. You add another two blocks. I don't know if I necessarily want to do that. Because I still have to run backwards and forwards. It doesn't make this any faster. What I need to make this faster, I think is dispersion. These ones, displacement runes, I think. No, I made displacement runes. No, speed runes. I need to make these ones to make this go faster. Hmm. Maybe it's worth doing that. Maybe it's worth investing some of these blank slates into making some speed runes. E maybe. Maybe we should do that. So yeah, let's do that. Let's grab, so I've got sink, I've got six by croons. So I make 12. Yeah. Okay, so 12 will need we need 24. So when this gets to 24. Uh, another batch. Though 12 might be a bad idea. Mm. Okay. So you, I'm just going to turn you off for a second. While I go craft up some speed runes. Right? Speed runes. Basalt sugar block? Sure. And speed upgrades. Ooh. Yeah, no, we can do that. We can do that. That's fine. That's fine. I need to make more elevators so I can get up and down those stairs faster. Um, okay, so. Um, I need bas- ooh, basalt blocks, eh? I think I converted all of those into... Can I remake them or would I have to go mine more? Where are they? Oh, I can make them from that. That's fine. Um, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Sugar block. Cool. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think I had six runes, right? Mm hmm. Um, and then I just need the speed upgrades. So to make six of these, we need six microchip T1s. 
24 alloys. Okay. Microchip T1. Six of those. Alloy. Let's make a whole stack of those, please. Um, what was that thing I needed? Dang it. Grab two of those. Uh, gold? Gold. Gold plates. So I need three plus blocks of gold for those. Okay, so let's make... Um, gold. So let's make six blocks of gold. And then... 18. These guys. Okay, there's our alloys. Six blocks of gold. Let's get these automated. Well, not automated, but turn into the plate things. Uh, yeah, that should be fine. We're making 66. Uh, 24? No, 18? 18. And then I need crystalline. Uh, what was it? How much was it for each? Half a bucket, so two crystals for each. So I need 12 crystals. Rubies. Oop. Is that right? 12? Yeah, two for each, because I'm making six. Yeah, yeah, cool, cool, cool. Okay, you melt those down, you get speed, you get that recipe please. Nope, nope, you want those and those and those. And those when they're done. faster. I don't know if that actually makes it go faster. I don't think it does. I just think it makes it more available to it, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, six of those. Oh, okay. Upgrade base. Cool. And then you guys... Where was that quest? Tier 2? Oh, it sure was. An upgrade speed. Yeah, we're going to do that right now. We're not going to do the stack upgrade. I don't know if I need those right now. Go in there. All these things. Man, I should probably put all this stuff back in the refined storage system now. Okay. Three and four. Oh, yeah, kind of stack to four, so it's gonna finish that quest as well. Upgrade mining. Hmm. Oh, okay. There's a lot in that bag. See, that common bag was better than most of the, like, legendary bags and stuff that we've got. Shenanigans. Okay. 
That is all those. Let's make some speed runes. Make this process just a wee bit better. Oops, this is a normal craft. Crazy. Cool. Okay, going this way. Okay, so let's uh let's chuck these down here. Let's see on the back. Can't remember what I think the displacement runes was a quest. You had to make one and then you got another one as a reward. And I like my symmetry on my blood altar. Don't ask me why, just do. Okay, so this should now run significantly faster. Like significantly, y yes, like instant fast. Uh-huh, uh-huh, much better. Now the question is can I keep up? Probably still a yes, but maybe not. Oh yeah, easy. Yeah, it, it's... It sends too many at once. It's only meant to send one, but it sends one. Yeah, I don't know. It bounces back, it's fine. So one thing I don't like about those, well, it's one of the things I don't like about those um, pipes is they're not super smart. At least, yeah, I don't think they're super smart. Okay, it's still slow, but it's still, but this is definitely faster than what it was. I think it's that little wait time in the middle that makes it slow. Cause like not doing anything, processed. Not doing anything, processed. Not doing anything, like you see what I mean? It's like that weird, like hitching where it stops, thinks, and then starts again. And I know why that is. That's so that if you have automation set up, you don't have time to, pick up the item that has finished crafting before it like quickly gets to the next level kind of thing. So it's actually pretty smart. Um, but I wish there was a way of it knowing that, hey, I'm making the same thing again. Like I don't have to wait so long or maybe when it's empty, it would automatically like start, like kill the cooldown or something. I don't know. Cause I'm assuming there's like a built-in cooldown. Okay. Yeah, this is this is definitely going faster. Definitely going faster. Twenty one. Only 35 to go. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, we're not going to need to do all these. What do we need to do? For 35? Like, really only, like, two more stacks of these? I mean, it's still gonna take a little bit of time, but not nearly as long as it 
would I be if I'd had to have done all of them? I wonder if I've got enough, um... Oh, actually, no, I shouldn't use them, because I need them to make the drop of evil. Never mind. Oh, yeah, folks, I just got real hungry. I just got real hungry. But you all know, if we don't do this on stream, I'm going to finish this before next week and you're all going to miss out. That's okay, JC. It's so good. The, uh, as someone who is well into the middle of their life, um, I understand that people have got stuff that's got to be done that isn't playing video games. Uh, <laughs> Uh, wouldn't it be nice if we could all just play video games all day, every day? I really do find this to be the ultimate form of entertainment. Because it's not just, like... I mean, it's not always re relaxing. Sometimes it's really quite stressful. Which it shouldn't be, because it's a video game. But I guess it depends on what you're doing. Um... But, yeah. It's nice to, like... You know... I don't know. I don't know what I'm trying to say. I like this because it stimulates my brain, but also relaxes my brain at the same time. So I do enjoy being able to kind of find that balance. Hey, Gabrielle, how you doing? Happy Saturday. How is life treating you? What's for supper? I'm looking for suggestions. And thank you for the follow. Welcome to the pack. So we're gonna swing six tomorrow. I mean, if people are around, I'm up for swinging sticks. I don't know how well we'll do. Oh, we only have English here. I'm sorry, Gabrielle. I think you said, is this a server? Um, but no, this is just me. You guys will be fine. I mean, <laughs> yeah, we'll, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll give it a crack. We'll give it a crack. Maybe like 11 o'clock my time. Um, We'll see how, we'll see how uh, invested we get into, we need knockback. Ooh, I don't, can, but you can't enchant sticks. Or is there a way of getting a knockback stick? Hmm? I don't know, we'll have to, we'll have to look at our options. 35. Maybe, yeah, it may have to be wooden swords. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll, yeah, we'll, we'll have a look and, uh, we'll see what, see what there is as options. But I think, I think it'll be like, wear whatever armor you want to wear, plus bring a chicken stick, plus some form of blunt weapon. I would say it'll be sticks, but we'll see what we can, we can do. Cause yeah, I think, I think. Uh, knockback would be useful. I think even something like, um, uh, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Sharpness would really help. Um, but yeah, it might, it, we may say like wooden swords is, is the option. So you can enchant it, but like it's a wooden sword. Um, cause I don't think you can enchant sticks. <laughs> And let's be realistic, if we do sticks, we are going to be there for two hours hitting this chicken. Um, because it had a lot of health. Like, you gotta remember, I used an infinity laser. Infinity laser! And it still took a hot second to take him down. So... 
That chicken's got a lot of health. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I do recommend uh, people wear their crazy armor because chaos chicken. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, it'll be no projectile weapons for sure. And we'll we'll have a look, see what our options are. But worst case scenario, it'll be like wooden swords. But you can enchant them. Enchantments are allowed. I'm not an absolute beast. My goodness, can you imagine? Okay, let's see how close we are. Well, yeah, and that's true as well. Oops, do not want that. I want that. 42. We only need another 14. A wood cleaver? Would that be... Are you talking about Tinker's tools? Is it Tinker's, but is it, but a Tinker's sword. So if you made like a wooden Tinker's sword, is that still gonna make? I just don't know if it's gonna do more damage. Right? <laughs> so what? So we get cooked chicken when it dies? <laughs> Uh, would be, uh, <laughs> would the, um, yeah, I just don't know if, like, would enchanting a wooden sword versus making, like, a wooden cleaver and, like, putting sharp, like, I guess you'd have to level it up enough that you could put sharpness on it. So it does more damage. I don't know. But not if we're limiting it to wood, or are you saying like we go, hey, you can use Tinker's tools, but you can only make a frying pan, you know? And you can't make anything, any late game tools. Or something. Like I don't, I, like I don't think a wooden frying pan is gonna do much damage. <laughs> <laughs> After I eat some supper, I'll jump on the server as well and and have a look at a fry. So you, you can you can like you can take like a steel frying pan and a wooden spoon. I know there's no spoons, but like a wooden sword. I guess that's as close as you can get. Steel frying pan and a wooden sword. Uh, <laughs> what is even going on? Uh, explore the options. Yeah, yeah, good idea. Yeah, and I'll have a look after I eat some supper as well. Uh, but yeah, I think I think that'll be the plan. We probably won't do it like first thing. Maybe a little bit later. Um, like before, we would normally do base tours and stuff. So it's not like too late, and we'll probably do it. A little bit earlier than normal so that there is um time just in case the fight does take us a little while <laughs> and just to confirm does the chaos chicken repair itself repair itself repair itself it doesn't repair heal heal is the word i'm looking for does the chaos chicken heal itself because if it does then we need to make sure we're at least doing enough damage to stop it from fully healing itself someone might need to go spawn in a chaos chicken and test it the sword of the cosmos will heal it really it doesn't one shot kill it you'll bring that if it gets boring <laughs> Why does it not kill it? Is it because it's already using chaos energy or something? I don't know how that works. Oh, they nerfed it so that you couldn't just one shot it? Right. I mean, that makes sense. I'm on board with that. Yeah. No, 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 I get that.
Okay, how close are we? One more. So we get an even number, so we can do this, so we can do that. Is that it? Is that our, is that our number? 56, okay. Stop, do those, please. Take these out. Oh, normally, yeah. It makes that fight a whole lot easier. Oh, wow. This goes real fast with these speed runes. Okay. I gotta move a little quicker. Gotta move a little quicker. Come on, health. You can do it. Get up there. There we go. Boom. Okay. We're almost there, folks. Almost there. Oh, they do, don't they? All these mod packs take forever to load. Like, generally speaking, in the morning, I will, um, get up, have a shower, load up the pack, and then go downstairs and eat breakfast, just so it's loaded by the time that I finished eating. Oh my goodness. When we finish making this Well of Suffering, we won't ever have to do this again. I mean, we may, but we probably won't ever have to do this again. Running backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards. What will we do with all of our free time? I'm sure there'll be some other crazy recipe we need to worry about. We must be getting close to the end of our 56 stack, right? Right? Not even close. Come on! Craft faster. Oh, dang. And I will need to upgrade this to the next tier garden because... I mean, well, actually, I won't. It's going to be purely decorative now because we are not going to use self-sacrifice. Going to run out of time. There we go. Boom. And yeah, bet I, I would almost guarantee that this will link back to a Well of Suffering or similar type quest. Just saying. But that's fine. Well, if we get to that point, we'll... I guess I'll just light up the... I guess I'll light up the Cursed Earth and then... Get in there and break the ritual and then start it again after we complete the quest. If it comes to that. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on. Finish making all of these runes. Slates, these are not runes, these are slates. Oh man, yeah, I'm gonna get pizza. 
it's going to be a pizza night. I'm probably going to eat too much pizza, which made me feel sick. But you know, these are the things that we've got to do to satisfy the cravings. Oh, it finished? Oh, it did. Because I'd already done a whole lot. Okay, sweet. Okay, so let us go make the ritual stones that we need. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay, I need, let's put these back in here for a second. They can go in there, they can go in there. Okay, so for ritual stones, I'm gonna need, I say 56, what about 16? No, I already had some. 64 plus 16, Six, 64 plus 16, 80. Divided by four, 20, I need 20, 20, so I need 80. Okay, brain is caught up. So I need 80 compressed obelstone, obelstone, obsidian, <laughs> and 80 compressed cobblestone. What's obelstone? Oh my goodness. Okay, 80 of you. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear. Hang on. Obsidian. Yeah, thank you. Okay, cool. Panicked for a second. I was like, no, 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 no. We have obsidian. We should have lots of obsidian. Um, and cobblestone. Compressed. Oh my goodness. Compressed cobblestone. I said I needed 80. So another compressed cobblestone. And 80 of you. There we go. Oh, that is going to use most of my obsidian, though. I need to make more seeds. Um, and then while that's happening, lava, fire, what's it called? Fire. Where's my stone? Oh, here, lava crystal. Man. Almost there, almost there. And stack. Well of suffering just needs a lesser stone, yeah? Uh well, suffering is... Weak activation crystal, yep. Requires 50,000 LP to start. Okay. That's fine. These are doable things. We can do this. Okay, so ritual, ritual stones times mint, uh, one at a time. Sure. Damn you non-stackable item in the middle of the freaking craft. 20. Did I math really, really bad? I mathed really, really bad. I wasn't, yeah, cool. Cool story, bro. <laughs> Let's just get these in place. Your reactors lasted a week, nice. So how much buffer was left? I guess by the time it logged in, it was probably refilled, so.
Okay. Finish crafting. Okay. That is the well of suffering. Right? How do I know if it's complete or not? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six. I think that's correct. I think that's everything. So now we need to set up the bottom room here. Uh, now, six blocks, right? Where are you? You're at this height. So, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so I intended this to be... Okay, so let's go get some dirt. Let's go get some... Stone bricks. Um... Yep. Yep. Let's do these things. Uh, dirt. Stone brick. Let's make more than that. Um, I've never used the exchanger before. I don't know how it works, but I know I got one from a quest reward. So let's see, let's see how it works. Golden exchanger? Sure. Five by five? Maximum harvest level iron, current mode plain. Silk touch is enabled. Okay. Sure, let's see how this works. Um, and then I probably want, I normally do iron bars, just so that things can't shoot me. Ooh, we don't have many iron bars. I still want to be able to see in, I just don't want things shooting me, or exploding. Shooting and exploding, bad things. Bad things. <laughs> right hands will be fun. But we still have to limit it. Otherwise, you just make... Like, we can just make infinity iron pants. Frying pants. Iron pants. What am I even saying? Okay. So, how's this way? Do I do... Right click? That works. Okay. This is neat. I've never used this before. I guess it's just like an exchanger gadget. But... Just with more sound effects. Cool. In there is where I'm going to automate this, but for right now that can be blocked off and we probably should put a little entrance in over here. Right? There. Um... Well, I mean, technically, a, a wooden frying pan wouldn't work. So, because, like, it would just burn in the fire, right? So, what if we say, like, steel frying pans and wooden swords? You can use tinkers. But you can, like, take a steel frying pan and a wooden sword into, into battle. And whatever you do with those things is up to you. 
Could that work? Or is that a bit weird? Yeah, like steel and wood. Not metal, no. Yeah, so we'd like specifically say you can use steel and wood, yeah. I mean, if you wanted to use iron, you could use iron. But like, I'm thinking like a cast, oh, like, yeah, like a cast iron frying pan, right? I guess to me, that would be like steel frying pan. I don't know. I'm just throwing stuff out there. Yeah. I think steel. Is there a difference? I don't know what the difference is in that pack. Like, like how bad's the damage difference between a steel? What's the attack difference between a steel um, head versus an iron head? We want it to be entertaining. We don't want it to be, oh my goodness, kick me in the butt, you know? We don't have enough. It's enough. Uh... I don't know. I haven't had a chance to look. I think steel's okay. JC, do you have an opinion? I think steel. I want to say steel. Steel and wood. They're your choices. And of course you need a chicken stick. Gotta have your chicken stick. Otherwise it's gonna be a very bad time. I need some more dirt. Vanilla steel. Immersive engineering steel. That is your choice. Why is this not recharging? Or is it taking durability damage? Oh, it's taking durability damage. Interesting. Hey, Daria. What do you think we should fight the Chaos Chicken with, Daria? <laughs> Tomorrow morning, we're gonna get back in there. Okay, so then I'm gonna do... Oh, I got rid of my... <laughs> nope, Terra Steel. That's a little too far. That's a little too far. <laughs> Terra Steel. <laughs> my goodness. Iron bars. But dad. But dad. Podoc said I could use Terra Steel. <laughs> uh, what a day. You can tell I'm getting delusional. Delusional? I didn't even say that correctly. Yep. <sighs> yep. <laughs> she said steel. Yep. Just plain old-fashioned steel. <laughs> you do have to stretch a little. Uh, okay. Yeah, let's do this. I'm gonna need more... Hmm, I want stuff to go in the corners there, yeah, yeah. Oh, that didn't connect. Gotta be careful that those creepers can't see us. Because when the creepers spawn and they go kaboom boom, it's gonna be a bad day. Uh, we need more? Man, okay, and we're also gonna need more dark bricks. Can I make, um... Can I make dark glass that I can walk through? I can. How bad's this recipe, folks? Normal recipe. Normal recipe. Normal res- What? I mean, I'm not gonna say no. 
Um, cool. Let's make a stack of sandy glass. One stack, please. Uh, so how much do I need? The dark glass? So it's two makes two. Eight makes eight. That's normal recipe. That's normal recipe. Beautiful, beautiful times. Okay, uh, let's get some uh, lapis. Oh, uh, I want more than eight. I need 16. What am I doing? Okay, 16. Uh, sandy glass. We want 16 sandy glass as well. We'll cook that over here because we're going to do over here. You make that. Oop. You give me the food. You do that. I guess I can go back to real food again now that we're not going to be self-sacrificing anymore. Uh, maybe just in case we don't know yet. I don't know if I'm completely finished with self-sacrificing. Okay. I want to get some more stone bricks. Just to fill in those corners that we had down there. Don't think I need the dirt anymore. Don't need the exchanger anymore. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Think... That's everything. And then I just need these to happen faster, but it'll happen when it happens. Um, let's take that diamond. We'll get another diamond because I need two of them. Let's make some dark glass. So. Do that. Oh, I didn't have, hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Ink sacks. Craft me a stack of those, please. I was like, what is going on? Why do I not have enough? I do have enough. Didn't have enough ink sacks. Uh, and then, oh, these are still going, okay. Oof. All steel, even tool rod. Is that the best option? And then what? Are you going to go... You're going to have to go level it up so you can put uh, enough uh, upgrades on it. Oh, yeah. That's your plan? What, you're going to put sharpness on it, you're going to put, um, what would, what's the Chaos Chicken, like, mob type? Is there, is there a, is there a, a Tinkers that does extra damage to boss mobs? Unbreaking? Yeah, unbreaking is probably a real good idea. Mending mobs might be a good idea too. Although, no, you're not getting any experience during the fight, so that's probably not going to help. Yeah, actually, that's probably that. That could be our limiting factor is everyone's gear breaking. So you like you might have to like run back to your base to um to repair <laughs> and get back before it despawns or something. <laughs> that's why you have the wooden sword too <laughs> as a backup. <laughs> oh man, it's gonna be shenanigans. <sighs> okay, this is too slow. I want this to be faster, but I'm not going to make more speed upgrades. So we can do this. Ineffable glass, that's what we're after. Oh my goodness, it's like watching paint dry.
Okay. Um, so then the thing we need is the drop of evil. Uh, we probably also want to make a collector so we can collect the mob drops. So we don't have a whole lot of mob drops choking up our base. Man, 400 hours in, 399 hours in, and we're making a mob farm, folks. Making a mob farm at 399 hours. What is going on? Shenanigans. Two more. Come on, Lapis. You can do it. One more. Now it's one more. Okay. Um, so, okay. Let's have a look at this. So, it's a premium. We should be able to make that. Evil Infuse. This Rune of Pride is going to take a little bit of finagling. But doable. Uh, with a skill and skill, I'm pretty sure I've got Serum Ingus. I've got Diamond Promises. We're going to have to make a Promise of Tenacity 3 or uh, 2 first. Mm, which should be doable. Oh, we do need to make some more reinforced slates for that. Okay, 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 okay. So then this is going to make another one of these, which is going to make another one of these. Okay, so there's this. Dark Steel. No! Dark Steel is OP! Steel! We're cooking up a chicken! So you got your fry pan, and you got your sword! <laughs> That's how this is gonna work! <laughs> oh, I needed to make more iron bars. Dang it. Need to stretch? Oh, yes. Post check. That is a good idea. Everybody should stretch. Ah! Oh, my back. I've been sitting all day. All day. Well, not all day. We did take a short break for lunch. And normally I would be eating supper right now. We're in overtime. We are in overtime. Uh, Red Bull does give you wings. I generally drink Monster, though. I do, I don't know, I spent, I grew up on Red Bull, and then when I, when I was older, because like you shouldn't drink caffeine when you're younger, but anyway, when I was older, uh, I drank a lot of, uh, what's his name, what's it called? I'm having a mental breakdown, what is the word I'm looking for? Uh, v, which is not a, not a drink that you can get in North America. Um, still no wings? Ah. Uh, well, you probably just shouldn't drink any more. You know, just in case. It's, uh... It's not the best for us. Especially on those cans where it says limit one per day. It's like, really? One can a day? Really? <laughs> Ugh. Oh. Okay, I need some more iron bars. And then we need to make a drop of evil. It's happening. I need to make a collector as well. Um, iron bars. What's the recipe for this? Oh, really? Rude. Okay, iron rods. Okay, we got a lot. And that's with me collecting all the iron rods I find in the dungeons. Oh, nope, 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 nope. How was it? Iron bar? That's what I did. 
right? Oh, wrong tools, wrong tools. That instead of that, right. Don't worry, sugar free, you'll be fine. Oh God. It's not the sugar that's the problem. <laughs> Uh, don't worry, I, I drink a lot of Monster. I'm uh, very aware of the side effects. Okay, let's get this done like this so that the mobs can't see me. Cool. So then I just need some more dark bricks to do the top of this. Okay. Ouch, ouch. Get some more dark bricks, so that area is dark. And then the drop of evil. Okay, put those away. So dark bricks require dark gems. Turn into blocks. Ooh, this is gonna be expensive. Seal pan attack eight. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. This is correct. Uh, oops, no, it needs like this. Yes. Let's not use up all of our dark gems. 24, Let's see if that's enough, at least for right now. Body's shaking. Ooh, that doesn't sound good. That doesn't sound good. Just be careful. Be careful, you don't want to have a bad time. Okay, a second and a half. Oh, I'm sorry, Daria. I didn't mean that. I just didn't know what you were referring to. But now I understood. Oops, falling in the ground. You'll stop for the day. Good, good, good. Okay, so this will be our roof. Oops. Everything is filled up. Okay. So, what are we making? We are setting up a mob farm underneath our blood altar here so that we can use the well of suffering to automatically produce blood for our altar so now if i break these we should have darkness in here because the right yes darkness that is what we're after pretty much mm, blood indeed okay so let's just light this up for right now so we don't have mob spawn so what we've got to do is, okay, so we're going to want to start the ritual first and then put down the drop of evil and then GTFO because you don't want to be in there once drop of evil starts because the mobs in this pack, I can only imagine how dangerous they are when they come out of a drop of evil mob farm. Oh, there's darkness up there too. I mean, that's okay. Just gotta be careful when I go in there. Okay, so let's make a drop of evil and activate the ritual and make it all happen. Uh, drop of evil is gonna take a hot second though. So, and I think I can do it. Pretty sure we can do it. I'm pretty sure we got all the stuff. We just may be a little bit short on a couple of components. Um, so let's do this. Drop of evil. Okay, so first we need evil infused plates. Evil. Okay, we've got not enough. How many do I need? Oh, I've got four. How many do I need? I need eight. So I need another three evil infused. Evil infused. We've got two powder. Does powder turn into ingots? With enchanted ingots it does. So I just need one more. Enchanted ingots, we've got them. Um, how do I get evil 
infused. How do I get these? Centrifuging dark magic dust. That's only a 7% chance. Okay, how else can I make evil infused? I realize that we already had that typed in. Ancient dust. Ooh, I'm not using ancient dust. That's that's terrible. That's a terrible, terrible, terrible idea. Nope. Nope, but that's that's what it wants me to do. Oh, a saber? Okay. Um, how much dark magic dust do we have? I've got three. I can make more. If I want to make a stack, I can make a stack. Sure, let's make a stack. I needed to make 12 for a quest anyway. So it's a 7% chance. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. I played... I spent a whole evening just creating different spawns. Um, and in the end, I was like, stuff it. I haven't found anything that's good. Um, I'll just make whatever the server generates. And then I started up the server and it, it spawned me on, on the edge of this lake. It was over here. Uh, I had forest, I had a lake, I had a big mountain. This is all a huge mountain range because I wanted to build my base inside of a mountain range because it was going to be quite tall. And I knew that building outside was a terrible, 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 terrible idea in this pack because you get overrun by mobs. Um, I did want to be on a plains, like maybe over here would have been a better spot to build, um, in the mountainside with some forest and some plains and some water, but you know, I'm pretty happy with what, with how we've, we've kind of worked out. Um, there's definitely, uh, what have I got here? There you go. If there was a way for me to copy and paste that, I would. But I don't believe that there is. No. There you go. Negative eight, six, six, five, six, five, six, five, six, nine, six, eight, eight, three, four, zero, seven, one, four. It seemed to do me okay. It's ha it's it's been a good spawn for me. So maybe that'll help. It's a hard pack though. I've definitely um had my money's worth on this one. Like I said, we're we're about to break 400 hours. We may have even already broken 400 hours. How close are we? Uh time played. 400 hours. We are 400 hours into this pack. My goodness. Oh, uh. Six, eight, eight, three, four, zero, seven, one, four. You're close. Yeah. Eight, six, six, five. Six five six five six nine six eight eight three four zero seven one four. Have a look. Maybe it will be a seed that is good for you. May also be terrible. Oh, what kind of fluids is this gonna make? No fluid? Oh, it made a honeycomb? Does this make honeycomb? Dark. What is this stuff called? Dark magic. No uh, This is making dark magic essence, which I assume is going nowhere. Yeah, it's going nowhere. Um, 
I think I just... Dark Master's ma Magic Essence could be useful. Because it gets used in a couple of things. Oh, in fact, it gets used in what I've got to make. Okay, let's put this in a tank. Let's not let that get thrown out. Tank! I need a tank! And that is why I put a filter on that trash can. Just in case I needed it. My goodness. Tank. Okay. So I actually needed to do this and I just didn't know that I needed to do this. So that's a good thing. Okay, so let that run. See if we get some more evil infused. Evil. Yes, we did. Okay. So that's enough to make the plates. Uh, induction smelter? U plus U. And then... U? Oh, I'm going to have to go... <sighs> Dang. Come back here and pick those up. Evil infused. Oh, we're getting a fair amount actually. A fair amount of evil infused returned. <laughs> We've created monsters. <laughs> Welcome back, no no. Uh how much damage does your uh pan do, Potox? Okay, so there's our evil infused. Okay, what's next? It's our eight. I need four void stone. Got two. I need another two. This is normal. Yeah, but like you've upgraded it with like beheading and stuff, yeah? Like, you've... Like, you've gone and leveled it, right? <laughs> okay, uh, Void Stone, you do need to chisel these, just so you're in, just so you know. Um... Go in front breaking first? Oh, that's a good idea. Void Stone Rune is what we're after. Where is this? Where am I crafting this? Drop of Evil is being crafted in a major's workshop. I made a spot to upgrade. Um, that's also the major workshop. So we need to make the Promise of Tenacity 2 before we can make this. So let's make that. Okay, Promise of Tenacity 2. So I need two ender pearls, four, I need a bowl of promises, I need two reinforced slates. Okay, I'm going to need to make just a couple more. Apologies, one, two, three, four, five. Um, uh, around 18? Any, any any wood tree, I would say. You're going to say 20, JC? I mean, maybe it's a 20. I don't know why I jumped down here. This, it, it... Yeah, anything that's like a wood log, right? I think that that's appropriate. So, like, I don't... Th I, I'm trying to think of what woods you can use. It's a trolley pack. Yeah, yeah. All the recipes are, are changed. Like, like even like this. Like, the drop of evil recipe we're trying to make here. Like, that's some next level 
shenanigans for a drop of evil because they don't drop from wither skeletons you have to craft it um yeah this is this is like this is the hardest expert mode pack i've played mainly because there's so much you can't automate because it's in like crazy crafting tables like this yeah it's definitely a challenge uh especially early on like i would i don't even remember what stage we got automation in place i want to say it was like around the the 300 hour mark maybe 250 hours before we got like proper automation in place we had machines before then but everything was manual crafting um because we didn't have a, a storage system until we had the we had the we had the drawers but we didn't have like a um like a a, a refined storage or a or applied logistics system to be able to do anything with it before that stage so yeah, it's a, it, it'll keep you on your toes. There's no denying that. And from what I tell, from what I've seen, a lot of people don't make it. <laughs> a lot of people give up. I mean, like I said, we're 400 hours in and I think we're about halfway through the back. Yeah, it's a, yeah. It's, it's definitely, it's very trolly. The number of times you go to do something and you'll be like, oh no, that recipe's changed. Never mind then. I can't do that. Um, like that happens a lot. Um, but as you start to automate things, it becomes a lot more manageable, right? There's still a lot of manual processes in place but overall, it becomes more manageable. Uh, proxy Solarium. Let's do these. Proxy. Two Proxy. Solarium. Solarium. Uh, solarium ingots. Is that just cooking Solarium dust? It is. No, that's Sol dust. I need Solarium dust, which is that which I don't have any redentium. Hydrate's a good idea. Drink some water, kids. Or it's after five o'clock. If you're legal, you can do alcohol. You do you. Um, I need, okay. So let's take some of this soul stone. I'm ahead of you. Uh, I just did normal world gen. Oh, what is name gen for? Oh, um, so in our last pack, and it's something I really haven't done so much in this pack because I don't, I don't have anywhere to do it. Um, we had a jail where like you could name mobs so that you could have a character in the world named after you. Um, I've had people... Someone named our sword the butter knife because it was terrible, terrible sword. Um, it's one of those things that I hold. I reserve the right to not name <laughs> what what you want to what what you want to call it. But uh, oh oh, I didn't know I could refund. Okay, I can refund points. Ah, okay. So yeah, if, if it's a terrible, terrible idea that you're suggesting, then I can just refund the points. If it's appropriate and it's something that I want to name, I will name it. Um, but yeah, like I said, in the in the previous like in a previous playthrough, in our Stone Block Two world, we've got um, um, auto sifters, and I've been naming them after people's minecraft characters so that that it gets their skin um so yeah little things like that if you've got an idea maybe ask if it would be okay and then i'll let you know um I need eight prudentium eight no i need 12 prudentium cool we have enough to do that Three, 
And then we'll cook these up to get our solarium ingots. Name anything that's not useful to you, but you will keep. And they didn't know no, they did too junior. <laughs> that we can do. That we can do. The question is, what do we name? Hmm. What do we name? Let's think about that one. Let's think about that one. Okay, and then we've got a Wither Skeleton Skull. What else do we need for this? Okay, so I need the Supremium. Um, I need Inferium. It's enough to make one. Okay, this is going to be a bit of a process. There aren't inventory pets. No, that would be very helpful if there was inventory pets. Like, very helpful. Uh, that is for the promise of tenacity, right? Yeah. Okay, let me grab enough here. Can I name these? I don't suppose I can. No, because I can't target them. Or would they lose their name when I place them? We could do a test. Do I have any trophies? We do. Spider trophy. Let's let's do a quick name test on a spider trophy. And see if it keeps the name when I place it. Or if I can even name it. I need, I need more room. I need more room on my trophy wall. No, it loses it. Okay, so that doesn't work. That doesn't work, but was worth trying. I should put, still put these trophies up on my wall. There's not enough room here. Oh, I can't put, put them there? Okay. Oh, and the roof is there? Uh-huh. We're running out of room on our trophy wall, kids. We need to make a trophy room. Mm. We could do that. We could make a trophy room and put nameplates on the trophies. That way we could still name them. That could work. Uh, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Hello? Game. Oh, no. What happened? Hello? 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 It says I'm logging back in. Are we going to reconnect? It says we're live. 
Hello? Everyone's saying hello in chat. Just waiting for my chat to catch up. Connecting to chat. Welcome back. There we go. And we back. I have this weird problem where the Wi-Fi will drop out for like just one computer in the house. And it happens to be the one I'm streaming from. Don't know why. It's a thing that happens. But we're back. Okay. Yep, we're back. Okay, cool. Um, okay, and that was all the Inferium that I needed. And then we're just going to turn this into Superium. I really need to um, get on to... No, this is not what I want. That one, I want all the... No, I'm just, I stream just all from the one computer. I don't, I don't have the luxury of multiple computers. Well, I run, I run the game on another computer, the server, sorry, on another computer, just on an old laptop, but I only have the one. Hello? Three. Did I math that wrong? I guess I math that wrong. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm running the, a local server on an old computer. Um, and then, oh no, I don't. It's just like, it's running on a computer. It's just running from the command line. Old school. Oh man, I need another stack. Um, just so that I, it can run backups and stuff. I find that runs better than, uh. Better than trying to have it all run on the one computer. And it also means that I can give like 10 gigs just to the server and so, sorry, 10 gigs of RAM, just the server and then still have 10 gigs of RAM for me to play with. Okay, that's back on. No, no, cause I'm not logged in on, so I'm running it just from the command line. So the pack has a like a, a server command line version that it runs. So no one's actually logged in on the server. Um, it's just running on another computer and then I connect to that computer from this computer. And this computer does all the streaming and stuff. So it's just so that like, it just runs better. Okay. So the only things I need to do now is the Rune of Pride, the Diamond Promise Acceptors and the Essence of the Gods. Now to do these, we need to make the promise of tenacity two. Uh, I don't know. It would use the same processor and mana pool for both world gen and running the game and then also streaming if it was all on the one computer. That's the main reason I've separated them. Um, but like I do server maintenance and stuff, so I'm very comfortable doing that as well. Uh, it's something that I do on the regular. Um, so yeah, two ender pearls, I need two dark gems. I need a golden apple. Uh, but yeah, it, it works for, for what I'm doing. Um, bowl of promises. Cool, I got a bowl of promises. One iron, I need another two iron promise acceptors. Another three, sorry. Iron. Iron block. Another three iron blocks. I don't know if I'm going to have enough blood for this. I hope I'm going to have enough blood for this. Oh dear. And then I need the dark magic essence. How much did I, did I need? Two? Two buckets. Did we get two buckets of dark magic essence? How close are we? 
It also means that when there are problems, three and a little bit, cool. It also means when there are problems, like I've got the server log like on the screen next to me. So I can see like, if I get kicked, was there an error? Or if there's lag, like it'll tell me, hey, the server's lagging and that kind of stuff, which is really useful. Uh, book, and that, and that. Oh, I also need a potentia sphere. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Let's get those crafting. Potentia sphere. Potentia sphere. Let's teach you how to make that. Green slime block. Green slime block. Whoop. Catch up. Catch up, game. You got time for your shenanigans. Potentia. Oh, I've got a potential sphere? How did I get one of those? I mean, I'll take it. Infuse with blood to make an ender pearl. Why would you? Oh, okay. No worries, Jody. We'll catch you tomorrow. Uh, do you need a good second computer? Uh, I mean, you have to have enough computer. Uh, you've, got to, you've got to have enough RAM. I guess that's the thing. I don't know if it needs to be like super, super like, Powerful. Um. Oh, I need two gold and two iron. That is terrible. So I'm running 10 gig of RAM dedicated just to Java on the server. Gold promise acceptors. Gold. I've got one. So I still need to make one more. Yeah, so I've got 10... 10 gig of RAM dedicated to the server. And then on this computer, I've got 10 gig of RAM recommend uh, on the, on the client. Uh, I think it says it needs at least six, but I find six is not enough. Like I think eight would be the minimum uh, I would go with. Why is that not running? Do I not have enough blood? Gold promise acceptor, 40,000 blood. Promise of tenacity one. I do not have enough blood. That is a problem. Um, sweet. It's okay. We should have plenty of um, rotten flesh. Yep, plenty of rotten flesh. Really? We've collected 2,000 rotten flesh? Huh. I mean, I'll take it. 40's a lot, though. Forty is a lot. Hmm. Yeah, see, I don't think your laptop would run it. I think it would... It would top out before it, before it hits, before it hits. Yeah. So you're probably better in that case just to run it locally. Give it as much RAM as you can. And then you'll probably be fine. It also depends like on how much, um, like exploration you do and that kind of stuff like I don't do heaps of world exploring so we don't have to do a lot of world gen um but the advantage of running on the server does mean that if I want to do other things on my computer it can run on the other computer and not like not take up resources um I haven't spent any AFK time though um but yeah 
you just play the single player. I just mean the single player. It'll it'll start its own local server when you do a single player game. Yeah. I don't remember how many buckets I needed. I guess we'll fill this and that should be enough. Mm. Yeah, that's how single player works now. It didn't used to. Um, but but yeah, single player for modded Minecraft now starts up like a local server. But it still uses that same RAM pool. Running pad is now unbreaking. Sweet. Oh yeah, that should be yeah, you're right. That is the first thing we should do. Unbreaking flying flying frying pans. Then probably sharpness. Then I don't know what the chicken would count as. Would it count as, um, if you've got, if you've got 10 gig that you can give it, I would give it 10 gig. I think the recommended is eight. Forty running. Okay, so that's running now. Let's grab some more blood. Cause we still have to make the tenacity. And then we should be able to make our drop of evil and get this party started. I'm terrified. Yeah, twelve would be fine then. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Cause I only run it with ten. Um and it seems to handle everything okay. Okay. Let's go check on this. Oh man. I'm getting hungry, kids. I'm getting hungry. But I must persevere. So this allows us to hold four times. Oh man, how much blood do I need for this? Oh, this is, this could be terrible. How much blood do I need for diamond promise acceptors? 160 buckets for each one and I need two of them? <sighs> this is our roadblock kids. I need 320 buckets of blood. Can I turn life essence into blood? Yeah, I'd need to fill up my blood extractor like, what, three times? Yeah. Huh. Okay. Gold promise acceptor. Now we should be able to make this guy. And I need to put the dark magic in there. Promise Tennessee 2. And that emptied that. Cool. So now this goes in here. Oh. You can't mix them. They have to be the one. So how much blood does this hold? Okay. Interesting. So let's see how much blood that holds then. I assume it's going to hold 160, right? I reckon it's going to be a full. It makes a ding. <laughs> Is it going to be the whole stream? Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> oh. Okay, yeah, so it's going to be a full tank. Uh huh. Cool story, bro. Uh, yeah. And I need two to make two diamond promise acceptors. Cause that is the only thing I need. Yeah. And the, the rune of, oh no, all the things. Uh, yeah. 
did I did um yeah I just did default world gen I just left everything default yeah these are the things I'm missing okay okay um that's a lot of blood Yeah, I think I think when you spawn, where's the Yeah, spawn is is here. Right in the middle of this lake. At least that's where I spawned. So there's some forests and some So like you've got a lot of access to a lot of stuff. And with the mountain here, you've got a village over here, which isn't far away, which is pretty neat. And there's a couple of structures around where you can get some resources from. But I don't want to spoil it for you. It's it's a decent it's a decent spawn spot. I was I was pleasantly surprised. Okay. How are we gonna do this? Uh, let's put this into another tank. So that we're not using our big tank for this. Okay. That up there. Put you... Oops. Put you like that. Okay. Take back our good tank. Okay, let's just real quick check how much... Yeah, we're fine. I really should refill the bowl of empty promises, but I'll worry about that later. Stone tank. Okay, so we need... A lot of blood. Okay. Okay. Um... Cool. I guess, I guess we go beat on some monsters. It's really all we can do. Uh, I guess somewhere where mobs spawn is going to be best. So we probably should go to the roguelite dungeon. And knock out the torches in the boss room. It's probably our best option. Mob farm working out. We haven't built it yet. We're still trying to get the um the drop of evil. I saw you there, Mr. Creeper. Still trying to get the drop of evil crafted. But I need 320 buckets of blood <laughs> to make it. Uh, uh, where am I going? Where am I going? This way. I went the wrong direction. But once we get that drop of evil, then we'll have unlimited blood. Well, at least we'll have unlimited life essence. I don't think... Well, there's another quest chain for making unlimited blood. Should have gone the other way. Should have gone over the mountain. Ow, 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 ow. I know. I have feather falling though, dude. Like, why are you going to do me like that? Oh... I didn't bring enough power to do this. That's annoying. Let me grab my power supply. Charge that. Grab that. Poor decisions were made. We'll go up to the roof. We'll go from there. It'll be faster. Okay, try again. 
Should I repair this before we go as well? Maybe I should. Oz, go glass. Please craft one. Also, but yeah, that's that's a good point, Paytox. That is a good point. Getting tools ready. My goodness, why is this Oscar Glass taking so long to craft? Did we run out of? Str I think we ran out of things again. There we go. Uh. Does it already have Optifine? It may already have Optifine. I can't remember. Let's go glass. Repair that. Thank you. Both unbreaking now. Nice. Oh, he doesn't. It's not there. Okay. Then I guess it doesn't. Yeah, you probably want Optifine. <laughs> that's, that's probably well recommended. Okay. Let's try this again. Let's go across the mountain this time. It'll be faster. Just as ankle breaking though. Haste before sharpness. Uh, I don't know. Because I, I don't know. Like, is it going to move a lot? Like, is it going to knock you back? Is it, like, is it a thing that, like, you're going to get, like, one hit on and then you're going to have to, like, run to chase after it? Or are you going to be able to get, like, six hits on it? Like, I don't know. That's... Oh, dear. Thank goodness for multi-jump. I mean, like, if you can get haste and sharpness... Peak PvP. <laughs> I think PvP is off. Cause I know Potox uh, not Potox, I know um I know Uni's killed me. Cake. So Oh, can we turn it off? Ah I mean maybe. You can put a put a note in the channel and see if Jordy or Flying Leprechaun can turn off PvP for tomorrow. Uh, we're going to the basement. We're going to the basement. <laughs> that well, I don't know. Jordy's been Jordy's been grinding stuff out. I don't know where his armor's at though. Yes, true. I did make armor last week, so we're good. Um, maybe, maybe Jody should make a, uh, a ring of regen and like a ring of protection just in case. I mean, that wouldn't be a bad idea. Uh, I don't want that mob spawner. I want this mob spawner down here. Ding, ding, ding. Is that because I keep breaking and falling? That noise? I apologize. Nothing I can do about it. Oh, the front. <laughs> uh, where's the mob farm? This one. Okay. I figure this is probably going to be our best bet for getting blood quickly. No, not this one. Yes, this one. Next room. In here, taking the torches out on the spawners. Hey, shenanigans. Oh, hang on. If there was blazers, oh no, there's those guys. Where 
I done them all? No, that. Hey, I'm still trying to free you guys. Just patience is a virtue. I think that's all the spawners. Um, I should really put my region ring on. Oh, I've got my region ring on. Okay, that's a problem. Should have brought better food with me. Not being able to shoot through the particles is very annoying. Okay, my syringe holds 120 buckets worth. So far, we've only got 23. This is going to take a while. Oh, he set me on fire. Because I can send back all the stuff. Hey, hey. None of that. Rude. Oh. <laughs> I don't fully understand either, to be perfectly honest. But I'll take it. Ow! I see you. Hang on. Clearing out my inventory. Just just be patient. Almost half a tank. Getting there. Yeah, this is definitely the best place because this is four spawners at once at least. There is Tinkers in this pack. Yep. That is what I'm using. Tinkers lasers. Best, well, one of the best tools in the game. Just from a... Yeah, no! I need that. Thank you. Please come again. Hey, no, I'm stuck in. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on. Just one second, folks. I need to turn that back on again. I need to eat. Shenanigans. I was trying to empty my inventory. Of all this stuff. Oh. Sneaky, sneaky. Don't have a sword. You suck. Let me break this, please. I mean, I do have a sword. It's in my inventory, but I have to go get it. Damn it. Here's my sword. Butter knife. Please get rid of the spider webs. Thank you, butter knife. Nope. Oh, really? Really? The trolliness of this pack never ceases to amaze me. Not today, spider bro. Not today. Ow, he set me on fire. I should probably leave my butter knife there. 
and this one there just so I can break the spider webs as needed and we'll get rid of all this stuff oh we got a skeleton trophy nope ah! quicker I clear out the mobs more mobs will spawn the sooner we'll fill up our our blood, the sooner we can teleport home, and the sooner we can come back here again and do it a second and a third time. me into the lava dude that's just rude okay come on this is gonna happen fast Ooh. who exploded oh that was a creeper where did you come from that's rude i do not approve you've caused damage You didn't blow up any spawners, so it's not the end of the world. But you've definitely caused damage. Let me get rid of this lava, please. You're magical. Oh, lots of babies. And you're throwing poison at me? And you're invisible. Invisible babies. Invisible baby zombies. Death knock. Death lock the nightmare. What even shenanigans? I do not approve. Oh man, how long is this poison? Okay, it's almost. Mm-hmm. Oh, there's another block there? Okay, I should probably get rid of that. Anyway, let me deal with the lava, please. I don't need the lava. Shenanigans be gone. Okay, the lava's gone. I still hear someone. Oh, there's folks everywhere. Everyone's having a party. How oh, you were magical. Where is the... One thousand and four. Sorry, one hundred and four buckets so far. He set me on fire, which means he was magical. 109 buckets. We're a third of the way there, folks. Third of the way there. So we're reclaiming some of the levels we used. Making the uh, unbreaking books. It's not all bad. Ooh. rid of some more stuff <laughs> yeah some epic boss mob uh boss fight music would would go well this hole please hey rude i'm busy here fixing the mistakes that the creeper made mistakes 
Okay, we're full. Let's go home. We'll come back here. Empty. Recharge. Oh man. Yeah, we. I'm glad I brought the energy battery with us because we, we used up a whole lot of power. Okay, let's empty our inventory of all this stuff. Let's get some better food on us because we can totally do that. Sandwiches for days. Okay. Grab that back. Oops, that was not what I wanted. That is what I wanted. Power back. My blood back. Oh man, that holds so much blood now. Okay. We're gonna make two diamond blocks. Two diamond promise except is what we're working on here. Which that's not enough blood because it needs the full thing. Okay. Back to the spawning room. Oh man. Okay, so there is a quest to collect blood. <laughs> but that also requires making a mob farm. So I think the idea is they want you to transport the the spawner and then use that but then you'd also need either a drop of evil to make it constantly spawn stuff to make it a resplendent mob spawner is that right i think that's right um or you would need to <gasps> um or you would need to do, what's the other one? Um, the pressurized frame from Pneumaticraft, which we haven't even got into Pneumaticraft yet. Man. Oh man, there is so much still in this pack that we have not touched. So much. Basically need to fill this syringe two more times, folks. I'm sorry. I know, not the most amazingness, but... This is what is necessary to make this drop of evil. Hot tip, when you... Marking out these dungeons, use some form of marker so you know which direction to go in to find the next floor down. Or, you know, you can just dig straight through, but like, where's the fun in that? Okay, round two. Mobs? Mobs, where are you? Spawn! How did he poison me? He must have been magical. Oh, baby. This is helping us recoup our um, experience that we lost or that we used. So it's... Oh, I thought I heard another creeper. Oh, in this room? Uh, I mean, I'm not taking any damage, right? So, 
because I've got the regen ring. So like, I'm not really in any danger. Um, but I definitely could do something to make this room like more efficient, right? Like not have it all on different planes, make it so they can always see me. So they run towards me, set up a kill chamber, like that kind of stuff. We could definitely do that. And that is what they recommend that you do is turn a room like this into a mob spawner. Um, but it, it's not a passive mob spawner, right? It's active. I have to be here for it to run. Um, so I mean, this also works. But I think if we got to the point where like we had to use this on the regular, then yeah, I would, I would definitely look at how do we improve it. But I think for right now we're okay. Because, like, ideally, like, we'd have everything fall onto wooden spikes, so it's only half a hit and that kind of stuff. That would save us a whole lot of power and stuff. Maybe there's something we can do once we've got the the blood farm set up. Because we could chunk load this area and and eventually make enough drops of evil that all of these spawn constantly. I mean that is an option as well. Haste on the frying pan looks pretty cool. Oh really? Like the the visual effect on the on it? That is one of the things I like about Tinker's tools as well, how they like evolve as you upgrade them. I mean, some of them are a little bit bananas, but overall I think it looks really neat. Okay, the skeleton spider, not nearly as cool as the spider cow. Spider cow still wins. Was it spider cow or was it witch cow? No, it was spider cow. Rude, rude, all of you rude. Ow. And I would remove all of the magma blocks from the floor so I don't take damage when I stand on them. <laughs> oh, I got torches here. Get rid of the torches, dude. I want this room to be dark. Or at least as dark as it can be. No artificial light ups. More spawning spaces. Okay, we're half full again, so we're getting there. Oh, there's another torch. I think I need three fill-ups. Because I need... Because I can carry 206... 120, and I need 360. Yeah, so I need three full ones. So we will still need to come back here for a third round. Ah. Ah. Rude. I call shenanigans. Slowness. I forgot that spiders also slow you in this pack. Not only do they web you, they also slow you when they hit you. No, just to keep it interesting. He set me on fire. Miss me.
Okay. Getting there, getting there, getting there. Oh. Oh. Not today, brother. Not today. Okay. We're almost there. Well, we're almost through our second one. Still one more to go. And then I need to make the... Um... The, what's the... I need to make a room as well. What's the room we need to make? Pride. We need to make a pride room. Burgers out of the oven? Nice. Oh, now I want nuggets! Oh man, I love nuggets. Nuggets is one of those foods that I will cook. Cook. When I say cook, I mean put in the oven. But nuggets is like popular with the nephews, right? So we get nuggets and taters. Ugh, oh, so good. Hey, you gotta make sure they work, JC. Chocolate bars, I will take chocolate bars. Okay, we are almost full again. Ow, why am I stuck? Rude. Magic guys getting me stuck. Was that a zombie on a on a spider? So many levels of shenanigans. Okay, we must be close to full. Oh, 103 still. Must have missed that. Missed miss what? Yeah. Oh yeah, Protoss, you wouldn't have been around. Yeah. Um, yeah, anyone who resubs or gifts a sub or subs for the first time. Um, I'm putting their name on a bauble and hanging on the tree behind me. Um, is this like my little way of saying thank you? The seed didn't work? That sucks. Ooh. I don't know enough about how seeds work to know how they vary from person to person and stuff. Nope. Rude. Okay, are we full? Almost full. One more. Are we full? We're full. Oh! One more batch. Okay, let's uh, refill all the things again because my goodness that uses up a lot of power. Whoa! And there's Protox gifting a sub, sub to not nope. And unlocking some emotes in the chat. Loves it. And while we're here, let's put Potox up on the Christmas tree. Okay. Make sure I get my capitalizations right.
It's a little hard for you guys to see because the ball is clear and there's a reflection from the... But it's there. Po oh, there we go. That There we go. Potux deal! Then you go up on... Then you go up on the tree! Let's grab the name. There we go. Oh, that's probably a good idea, actually. Hmm. I might have a like a notebook or something that has a a a um that has like a black background. I, I got the clear bobbles because they were the cheapest ones. <laughs> like, surprisingly expensive to buy baubles. <laughs> um, at least ones that you can like ride on and stuff. Um, but, uh, but yeah, no, it's just, you know, just little, little, little thing, little thing. I like it. Okay, that and that and that, and we're making our first one. We gotta let that extract the blood while that's happening. Let's empty our inventory. Again. What was you the seventh modifier? Can you, you can't get creative modifiers in this pack, can you? Uh, let's get some blaze powder to repair this. Cool, so then last thing I need is I should repair my sword my laser actually. Man, it's still going. Oh okay, yeah yeah. That makes sense. I guess if we really wanted to, we could like prepare and like have sets of armor and stuff for everybody. But like, I think it's more fun if people can do their own thing. It's going to be a shit show, right? Oh man, these crafts take forever. Come on, you can do it! Go? Hello? Are you finished? Game? There it is! Okay. Okay, so there's one diamond promise acceptor. Make a normal unbreaking pan and sword for everyone, but it's... Yeah, well, that's the thing, like, like if, yeah, if we planned ahead, there you go, you see me without glasses, because I totally sponged my glasses. Um, if we plan, if I planned ahead, then, and yes, I had all the week, I could have planned ahead, I didn't. Um, could have organized something like that, like, got everyone to have, like, like, get Flying Leprechaun or Geordie to, like, make uber enchanted sticks for everyone. You know, that kind of thing, but yeah. You would add all the modifiers on this. Well, I didn't think to plan ahead. I didn't even think about Tinker's tools, but it only makes sense. We're trying to cook up a, a chicken. So like taking a fry pan and a, and a knife to, to, to battle seems like a much more appropriate thing than a stick.
Yeah, that's true. So there will be some variety. You're correct. You're correct. It's raining. Why is it raining? We don't have time for rain. I did grab everything again, didn't I? Yep, everything's here. Yeah, I would need to get crafting started. That's why I'm trying to get this done so that I can go get some food because it's already coming up to seven o'clock. My goodness, how long we've been streaming for. 10 hours. What is even going on? Um, yeah, <laughs> little wooden long sword. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like I either want to go, I want something that's got good range, right? So you don't have to get like right up in its face. Like is, is the rapier long range? You went with the cleaver, cleaver's extra damage. It's a good idea, it's a good idea. And it gives you the double blade thing. Yeah, I'm going to have to mess around with it. But it's not going to be till after I eat supper. Which is going to be after we set up this mob farm. But I'm not going to do that on stream. I mean, I'll finish setting up the mob farm on stream. But we're not doing... Um, yeah. You know what I'm trying to say. I've been online for too long. I can't talk. Things are breaking in my head. <laughs> okay. I got itchy nose. We're down here. One more round, folks. One more round. We need to fill up this this syringe one more time. I mean, technically, we probably only need to half fill it, but we'll fill it up. So we've got some extra just in case we need it for something. Where are the mops? Come at me, bro. Too slow. Faster. Not too fast. <laughs> Best of both worlds. <laughs> uh. Zombie babies. Nope. Nope. Stay away. Stay away. What have you got an enchanted cookie for? I'm very confused why that zombie baby had an enchanted cookie. Like, what was he gonna try and do? Hey, 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 hey. Yoink, yoink. I would like to take out those bats as well. That's extra blood. Give me the bats. Nope. Don't run away. Ow, standing on the badness. Ow, who's hitting me from behind? Rude. Shenanigans. It will even take you spawning outside of the battle arena. Hey, 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 hey. None of that, none of that. My armor's doing okay as well. Like, I'm not taking heaps of damage on the armor front either. Which is kind of nice. Ooh, you're running really fast. Ultra vampire zomb... Okay, that's a problem. Hang on, hang on. Buddy, pal. Ultra vampire something or other? Nope. Ultra vamp I guess ultra vampire zombie dude passed away. Excuse us. We are busy eating. Cleaning out our inventories. Still poisoned. Not cool, dude. Not cool. What's with all the enchanted magical guys? Unnecessary shenanigans okay get in there get in there
The noise the husks make is so weird. Nope. 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 Hey. Hey. Rude. Do another empty inventory. 17. Ow. Okay, come on. We're almost there. We're about halfway. 50,000, yeah. We're almost halfway. Oh, he had a derpy face. Sorry, I took him out too quick. You didn't see it. But that's not the point. Ow. Mops. Spawn. Quicker. Hello? Mops? Why you no spawn? You forget I was here? Silly mobs. That was so strange. They kind of like just stop spawning for a hot second and now they're back to spawning again. Take out the bat. The bat is worth blood too. Yeah, see, everything stops spawning. Why is that? I wonder if there's nearby we're hitting a mob cap maybe or something. There are a lot of mobs over here. Where are they? Up there. Mm, maybe not. Are they below me? No? I don't know where they are on the map. Oh, thunderstorm. Oh, it's night time. That's why it slowed down. There are mobs spawning in the overworld. Ah! Pretty close. I mean, we've got 75 there, so I probably need... I probably don't need, like, a full one. But it's probably better to get the full one just in case I need some more blood for something. So we, we're almost there. It won't be, it won't be long. And then I've just got to make the the pride rune, and then we'll be good to start up. Uh, I probably should make a collector as well, just to collect the mob drops, because they will drop mob. Uh, they will drop items uh, from the well of suffering. So I don't just don't want them. The, the stuff to pile up on the ground and cause lag. So we probably want to create like a a cyclic collector or something. Vacuum chest so that I can pick everything up. Uh, but other than that, like, yeah. We're almost there. Which is good, because man, am I hungry. Hey, rude. Only six, we're almost there. Almost, almost there. Far away from breaking, yeah. But you gotta remember, Potox has like this. He's got mob spawners set up so that he can just farm mobs constantly. I need to, we need to get on his level, essentially. <laughs> oh man, how long is it gonna take me to do it? Uh... I don't know if I'm gonna get to go to bed tonight. I blame Potox. <laughs> I think I need at least unbreaking. 
I kind of use it for the. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Yeah, I think I need at least unbreaking if I can get haste and sharpness as well. I think that'd be bonus. And then, like, anything beyond that. Oh, I would probably want to get looting as well. I don't know if it necessarily matters with the. with the mob drops. Okay, I think this is it. I think we're almost there. Seven more. Seven more buckets of blood. <sighs> Rude. Okay. And we're done. Oh, zombie pigment hunter. Slash home. <sighs> that was exhausting. Okay. So now we make the other blood, the other diamond promise acceptor. Yeah, let's deal with our shenanigans inventory. Let's put all this stuff away. Recharge that. Let's grab that while we're here. Oh man, I'm gonna have to like seriously clean out my inventory. Okay. Well, not my inventory, the storage system. There must be so much junk in there right now. Mm, we were starting to take a little bit of damage by the end of the third round. Our diamond boots and helm were starting to take a bit of a beating. Okay, so that should now be crafting. Make a second spawn off the sword. Okay, so that is crafting. So, while that is happening, what do I need for the... Uh, rune of Pride. I need a Rune of Fire and a Rune of Summer. And I need two mana diamonds, some white magic dust, two supremium, and a Prometheum ingot. Ooh. Prometheum ingot. We can do. Uh, do I have any runes? have spring I do not have fire or summer okay um then we need superium let's craft two of these oh I don't have any okay um do this enough for one. I need two. Hey, cat. Oh. Well, that's not good. Hopefully, they are just engrossed in what they're talking about. And it'll be okay. Okay, so now we've got the superium that we needed. Need two of those. I need two mana diamonds and a white magic dust. One white magic dust. Two mana diamonds. It's so nice having all this stuff just working. Um, and then... Rune of Summer and Rune of Fire. So Rune of Fire, so we're gonna need two of you. Two of you. So Basalt. Gunpowder. Um... Blaze. And what goes into Rune of Summer? Fire. Netherwart, Netherwart, Netherwart. Netherwart. And we need some Living Rock. Oops. 
Oh, wow. Our little, um, automation's been doing well. We're up to 400 of each. And that's just off one, one thing. And then Runa Summer needs air and earth. Dang it. Okay, we gotta make a whole lot of runes. Okay, fine. Um, air and earth. Cool. Do that. Let's get a... Air, earth. Yes. Okay, string mesh. Feather. What else goes into air? Dilithium and a snowball. Snowball. Dilithium. And then for earth, I need infirm coal, bog, bone, and tin. Tin, bone, I'm not have enough inventory space. Put that away for a second. Uh, bog, tin, bone, Bog. What was the last bit? Oh, Inferium Coal. Inferium Coal. Okay, we'll have to come back down to collect the items we need for the Summer Rune, but that's okay. Okay. U plus U plus U plus U plus U plus U. I need a wand. Make this pride rune. Well, we'll get to the pride rune in a second. Oh my goodness. Can you believe we're finally making a drop of evil, folks? 400 hours later. One drop of evil. <gasps> uh, okay, fire rune. Oh, I still need to make Essence of the Gods as well. Hopefully that's not painful. I don't think it is. I think I just centrifuge Magic Essence. Okay, Earth, Fire, and then I need Wind. Then you create Captain Planet. Man, that makes me old. If you don't know what Captain Planet is... You missed out. There's some fun times. Okay. So then I need... What do I need for the summer? Summer needs... Time to pollution down to zero. Yep. Uh, I need hay bale, sapling, some luminescence, and some aquamarine. Hay bale... I have no wheat. As soon as I craft hay, it gets used. Hay bale. Exactly. Mm hmm. That's great. I loved it. Ooh. Okay. Uh, a sapling. I need aquamarines. I need two of those. And what was the last part of the summer? Uh, luminescence. Luminescence. Craft one of those. So, we, hey, hey, the heart ring, the heart ring. I don't know. I got nothing. That kid had a lot of heart. Right? Right? Okay. 
Earth, Air, Luminescence, Aquamarine, Hay, Sapling. So this will give us the summer. I was making summer, wasn't I? Yes, summer and fire. Okay, cool, cool, cool. And now we make the rune of pride. So fire, summer, mana diamond, superium, white magic, and promethea. Rune of pride. Here we go. Voice crack, my goodness. Run out of drinks. Oh, and I'm getting tired because it's 10 past seven and we've been streaming for 10 hours. Oh man, this requires a lot of mana. I can't, cat. I got no drinks left. It's empty. I can do a pasta check. Stretch. Ah, take a nap. Ugh. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Living rock, wand. There is our rune of pride. Let's put all this together, folks. This is exciting. Okay. Now, let's think about this. Um, that goes away. Those go away. So let's grab all of this stuff plus that. And let's put all these things into here. Boom. So then I need three buckets of essence of the gods, which is majestic dust in a magma crucible. Cool. Okay, we can do that. Three majestic dust. One, two, three. Yep. We got all those bits. Essence of the gods. That's one. That's two. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm yawning. And that's three. Let us turn this into Essence of the Gods. Essence OTG. Missing a translation there. Drop of evil. My goodness, the shenanigans. Okay, um, let's make a collector real quick. I'm gonna make one of these item collectors. Yeah, that should be fine. Don't place it wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I've, and I've got to start the ritual before we place down the drop of evil. Otherwise, I won't be able to get in there to start the ritual. Right? I think that's going to be a thing. Uh, okay, so let's do this real quick. Lapis gears. How do I make those? Sure. Just going to do it that way because I can. Uh, hopper. I need two hoppers. Oh, I don't know, cat. Draw a doggo or a cat. Play a cat, a kitten playing with a ball of yarn with butterflies on a blanket. 
I really overthought that. <laughs> Get a collector. Bookmark this so I can work out what I'm crafting here. So I need... Uh, okay, I need chest. <laughs> and then I need a circuit. I want a U. And then I need two basic components. Okay. Basic components. Sure, that should be relatively easy. Uh, what else do I need? I also need eight bronze plates and iron, eight iron plates. Oops, palette plate. Eight bronze and... Do I have any iron plates? I guess I craft them. Eight iron plates. Need to sort out and recycle all this stuff. I need to find out if I can recycle the diamond chest, can I? Yep, pulverize diamond chest into, ooh, or it's used, I should probably keep one. Oh, those are expensive. Rude. Okay, got that, got that, got that. I need a motor, the circuit, and the components. Two components, a motor, and the circuit. Okay, collector? Item collector. That'll cover us for a fairly large range. And it goes up. Yeah, perfect. That's exactly what I want. Okay. Um, I should bring cable power, uh, hardened, black stuff. Yep. Okay. Let's do this. Uh, weak, weak activation crystal. Whoa. Noisy cars outside. Okay. Well of suffering. Here we go. So then this is going to go here. Nope. It's going to go like so. So it's now facing the right way. Yep. And then it needs to go 13 by 13. I guess we go 15 by 15 just to cover everything. That's going to cover everything in here. Mob drops, perfect. Uh, let's get it some power from somewhere. Does it need power? Oh, this item collector doesn't need power. Really? Nope, does not. Sweet. One less thing to worry about. Um, okay, so what I probably want to do before I do this... Let's put the orb back in the here, just so that we don't, because it's going gonna, it's gonna to use 50,000 power just to start up, right? How much we got in our network? Oh yeah, we got plenty. Okay. Um, it's going to like absorb this as quickly as we make it to begin with, but that's okay. So I'm going to start the ritual. I guess I'll break the torches first. Man, everything gets picked up straight away. I don't even get to pick it up. Okay, so it's dark in here. No light, everything dark. Cool. We are sealed in. Just make sure we're completely sealed in. We are. Okay. Start ritual. 
Uh, it might. Rush of energy throws through the ritual. Drop of evil. Run! It works! It's alive! Sucks to be you guys! Oh, that's noisy. I mean, I need to get sacrifice runes and stuff to make it more efficient. Because it's like, it's using all of the power. It's like, it's as soon as it creates it, it's putting into the network. Because we're at 190, but we're positive. We're, we're, we're life points positive. So that's a good thing, which means we're using less than we're making to generate. We did it! We did it. Okay, okay. So, like, as, uh, oh, there's a lot of mobs down there. Um, so yeah, we'll probably need to, like, create a muffler or something, because that is annoyingly no noisy. Yep, we can make mufflers. Cool. We'll probably make some mufflers. Um, we'll probably swap out some of these blank runes for sacrifice runes. And then we'll start working on the fifth level, which will be augmented capacity so it can hold more. But for now, after 10 and a half hours of streaming, we've achieved two great things today. We've automated Britannia and we've automated blood collection for the blood altar, which further automates Britannia because we're using the life points to generate lava to make mana. Full circle complete and I'm exhausted. So I'm gonna love yous and leave yous. We'll be back in 13 and a half hours for stone block two on the community server where tomorrow we're gonna take on the chaos chicken with fry pans and wooden swords <laughs> so <laughs> that is gonna be crazy um i'm also going to work on emc which i've never played with before so that'll be fun um, but for now, I'm gonna go sleep. No, I'm not gonna sleep. I need to eat food. I'm starving. I'm going to get a dirty great big pizza and eat the entire thing and have no regrets and probably watch some anime. So for now, thanks for hanging out. Thanks for the subs. Thanks for the follows. Thanks for the love. And we'll be back tomorrow. Bye for now.